Hey guys. Yeah, still got another few minutes before we can show anything. This is early access to the Empire Changes, yep. Welcome, welcome everybody. Pretty pumped. I've been waiting, I've been waiting for proper Empire for a few years now. And I think we finally have it. Any notable highlights I can share? I can share all of it in four minutes. And before that, I can share nothing. This is, um, yeah, this is the free LC update. So this is everything that you guys will be getting when the, when once the update drops, um, if you didn't buy the DLC. For the Empire, I can show, I, I can show Empire, Dwarfs, I can show whatever, anything, I can show anything, just no DLC. Yeah, so I've actually got, um, I've actually got a version of the game. Hey, Bad Miracles. Bad Miracles getting in early. Stream hasn't even started. It's already donating stuff. Thanks, Bad Miracles. You're a legend, buddy. Um, nah, well, nah, I checked. I quickly, uh, I can't say. For another four minutes, three minutes. <laughs> it's tricked me. You nearly tricked me, Daniel. Um, yeah, so, um,. Yeah, so I've got a version of the game that's got the DLC not installed, but it, but is you know is the new update. So yeah, so I've got so basically it'll be everything except for the DLC. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Like, I mean, Empire might not be the most you know the most sexiest faction, you know the most super powerful crazy faction or whatever but i don't know they're like my favorite and i just i feel like yeah this is gonna be you know the ultimate version of the empire for me and uh, yeah it's pretty cool i'm excited it's it is good um i'm actually gonna play more today than i've actually played myself because i've only played um i haven't got to play that much um really like because i had to like kind of check out various different things plus streaming and everything so yeah so i'll probably play further today than i have actually played in my other empire campaign um yeah i have um I did, um, I did play a bit of Dwarfs. I played a bit of Dwarfs, a bit of Empire, and a bit of other Empire. I haven't looked at the um, Nurgle stuff at all. Um, but yeah, the Nurgle, the, the Empire and the Dwarfs, I'm both really excited about. Yeah, I have, I do have it, Scott, but I haven't checked it out. One minute. Yeah, the electors, the um, Karl Franz's campaign is just so good. Like, just the pacing of it, the way that all the enemies are surrounding him, and it's just, you know, like, there's, yeah, it's just it's sort of just right, I feel like. Maybe there's a little bit too much at the start, but but I like how when, you know, once you defeat your first enemies, then you got to worry about Vlad. Then once you deal with Vlad, then you got to deal with the next thing. You know, it's sort of, yeah, it's quite good pacing, I reckon. Hey, Provatorio, thanks so much for subscribing, buddy. Appreciate it. Elspeth cosplay win? Yeah. I look like the Portuguese dude in Shogun. Isn't he? He's English. He's British, isn't he? Or is it you mean a different guy? You mean the priest? Hey Ben, welcome. Oh, the old guy, the um, the the pilot, the other pilot. Hey Anthony Caputo, welcome, buddy. Thank you. You're a legend. Really appreciate it. Anthony Caputo just gifted five most of my memberships on YouTube. Oh. I think it's time, as Bruce, Bruce Buffer would say. 
All right. 19 Wizard Army, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I dropped a couple of videos as well um, uh, with just as much stuff, information as I could jam in there with um, on the Empire, on, on Reichland and on um, and on um, Gelt. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys will check out those videos, but um, hopefully you'll also watch the stream somehow at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, apologies in advance for the editing on those videos. I just, I just ch stuck as much stuff as I could in there. Anyway. All right, let's play Belts. Let's play uh, not Belts. I I want to play Belts. I as well. It's also really cool. Um, but um, but yeah, we're gonna be playing um, Reichland today. Um, I'm not sure if anything's changed on this page. It has access to elected counts, powerful state troops and ancillaries, immune to diplomatic penalties from trespassing in Empire regions. Oh, that's interesting. So he can go in any Empire region, even if he's not, even if he doesn't have military access. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, allegiance points plus twenty five percent. Campaign movement range plus ten percent, growth plus five percent per allied faction. So every every faction I'm allied with get an extra growth. So we can potentially get like heaps of um, heaps of growth out of that. <laughs> um, can replenish in neutral territory. That's just for Carl Franz only. Upkeep minus twenty percent for elected count state troops. Oh yeah, the elected count state troops got um, cheap uh, cheaper. They got reduced, um, they got their upkeep reduced, so they're actually really good to use now. Um, plus five. Oh, what? Addition I didn't even notice this. But additional 5% weapon strength and missile damage per experience rank for all elected count state troops. Well, that's crazy. He gets, once we get to the game, hey, Fade Crowley, for the glory of the Emperor. Have a good campaign. Thanks, buddy. You're a legend. Um, yeah, so. The upkeep, um, well, yes, yeah, so I didn't even know about that one. So what's that? So rank nine is 45% increased weapon strength and missile damage. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. <laughs> and he also gets he also gets um, unique um, unique skill that buffs um, the buffs some, and he's also got red line for him as well. So it'd be pretty crazy. Oh, one pitch man um, did a raid. Thanks so much, one pitch man. Does that work? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get into it. Um, oh yeah, so we're just doing a uh, uh, normal end game scenario, normal end game, whatever. I don't, I'm not really, uh, I, I want that to kind of happen after I complete the long campaign victory. So I'm just going to leave it on 100 to 50, just a random faction, 200%. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, that's right, Carl Arke on Franz. Oh, I have not seen the new Godzilla movie. I don't know what you're talking about, actually. It must have been a coincidence. Hey, John. Cheers, yeah. I I suspect it's a, more to do with the uh, subject matter than the performer. But, um, yeah. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to Fuck, unite. yes it is. Fuck, yes it is, Franz. All right. So, um, yeah, so I've, I've, I dropped a video that kind of goes through everything that I've picked up pretty much about the changes, um, except for, yeah, except for you mentioned that the man. elect account units are cheaper now. So these guys are only 193. I think they used to be like 270 gold or something before. Um, but yeah, but apart from that, it's pretty cool. But um, the, the main thing I love is um, that we can do diplomacy with all the elect accounts now. We can get be defensive allies, military sure. allies. We can get allied recruitment, um, you know, but but the um, but yeah, and we've also got all these really powerful electoral machinations where we can basically do like sort of like changing of the ways, but not too, but not um, but but not as crazy. But um, but yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I've, as I said, I've got a video that I put out that goes through it all, but um, I'll, um, I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna like play the game basically, but I'll explain things as I go along. But I'm not gonna sit here and talk for an, you know, an hour and a half. <laughs> then I'll actually play I the game as well. Um, all right, so turn one, we're gonna hit our first battle. See so, yeah, how we go. Do we get a noble arch lector? No. When I'm on my test run, I got a noble arch lector on turn one. Um, oh yeah, the Empire's got new, the Emperor Generals have got new, um, Emperor Generals have got new, um, traits and this skills. So yeah, so we've got, now I've got either this, um, sort of army buffing 
skill line, or you can go for like more of a jeweler skill line. Ready. Right, let's get into this battle. Attack. Let's wet our uh, wet our claws. Sixty-six Imperial Authority. Yeah, the new the Imperial Authority is totally different now. It's just you basically just have two in, you get two Imperial Authority for every settlement that is um, owned by um, Empire factions. So if I think if like every single territory in the Empire is owned by an Empire faction, you, you end up with a hundred. Um, excuse me, you end up with a hundred um, authority. But if like yeah, if they keep getting taken, you kind of lose a couple of points every time you lose a settlement. Oh yeah, I like this new battle. It's like this is a slightly different battle to the old, the old one, I think. So we're gonna like double guns on the left side of this rock, so we can try and feed them into there. We'll put some swordsmen on this side just in case they try to flank us. Go over here, and uh, of course, now it's time for the Reichsguard to be uh, the superstars that they always are. Gelt is going to Cathay, yep, he sure is. Split their army, very nice. And now our other stack only has to deal with half of this, half their uh, troops. The the Quick, I wanted to I wanted to get their um, archers with the cavalry though. I could, um... For the war we could go for a charge into this. this. We're probably going to take a bit of damage, but we'll probably do a bit of damage as well. Gelt is not an elect account. No, he is the um, patriarch of the College of Wizards. And um, he was weirdly for a while there, we were pretending he was an elect account or something, but now he's um, back fully as a patriarch of the elect of the uh, College of Wizards. And I think it's much cooler. Like, the, yeah, the start for, the new start for Geld I think is really cool. It's like he's on a secret mission to Cathay. And um, yeah, he can still, he can still go back to the Empire if he wants. Hey, you trust this? Welcome. Balthazar Gelt is starts in Cathay. Yeah, he gets dilemmas. So basically, every, you, like the like Xiao Ming's talking to you basically, and he's telling you to help him put down these rebels, and you know he'll be your best friend forever. And then you, um, yeah, you take out the rebels, and then you get these dilemmas as you go along. I, actually, we should do a probably maybe tomorrow. I might play some gout, and we can do like an analysis of the dilemmas to see if there's some cheese that we can do with them. But um, but yeah, basically you get but every time you do one, you get sort of like buffs or free money or whatever. And then once you get to the last one, once you wipe out the start of the enemy faction completely, then he gives you an opportunity to basically teleport back to the empire. But um, but hey, old fart, thanks for the thanks for the free membership, man. You're a legend. He does not have a starting settlement in the empire, no. So he yeah, it's actually really cool, like. If you choose to go back after you finish the mission for um you have to finish the mission for Xiao Ming, otherwise you don't get the dilemma. But um but yeah, once you um once you finish the hey Wolves Paul, this was gifted five minutes of man memberships, thanks buddy. Um Yeah, once you finish the mission, basically Xiao Ming will give you the opportunity to go back to the Empire. And if you take it, basically all the settlements that you conquered in Cathay instantly become um, Xiao Ming's. You lose all of them. And all of your armies and all of your heroes teleport to to Altdorf. Um, and, but you get this cool buff that basically makes it so that you, you don't take no army attrition. You're immune to trespassing penalties. You get like 
uh, anytime you set, take a settlement, it starts off with one population surplus immediately. And um, yeah, and basically, so basically you're like a horde faction. You don't have a settlement or anything. And you can just cruise around in the empire, like, you know, having adventures and stuff. Um, but it also just gives you a big economic and kind of diplomatic boost, I guess, to get started, to start a new place in the empire. And you can do that by turn eight. So basically, if you do want to play in the Empire, which I think I definitely will want to, um, at least most of the time, then um, then uh, yeah, you can just um, do the mission, do the missions for Xiaoming. It only takes you eight turns, and then you can start in the Empire in turn eight with all these buffs and stuff. Well, I think that was about as perfect the start as we've done for a while. One one handgun fell and one knight. Pretty good. Um, oh, another huge change for the Empire is that they get um, post-battle replenishment everywhere now. But, and dwarfs do as well. So the whole, like, uh, dwindling population thing with the dwarfs, they've just forgot, they just gave up on that. Dwarfs now get full, like, heaps of replenishment. And they get post-battle replenishment after every battle as well, regardless of who the enemy is. Even if the dwarfs are fighting greenskins or whatever, they can get replenishment from them. Um, yeah, I was trying to th figure out some way that we can get like more prestige because prestige is the, is the juice that you use to power your, um, empire changing of the ways. Uh, we're probably capped out. Um, but yeah, basically prestige just works the same way as gold, you know, the more, um, the bigger the army, the more valuable the army or whatever, the more, um, more gold you get and the more prestige you get. So I don't think there's anything really tricky that you can do with that. It's just fight more battles, I guess. It wasn't a good feature of the dwarves. Yeah, I... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and I think it's maybe it's a good sign that CA were able to, like, let go of that original sort of design choice that they had for the dwarves of being bad replenishment and just, just forget about it and be like, you know, it didn't work. We'll just forget about it. Go a different way. Um, yeah, I feel like the dwarves feel, the dwarves feel a lot more like adventurous and, um, and like fun now and not so, not so, yeah, hard, I guess. Any of the units have reload animations? Hey, Dog Cat Dog, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, I, I have not even noticed then. We'll have to zoom in and have a look. Oh, you mean the DLC units? Yeah, no, I can't show that stuff yet. Um, uh, don't think we really care about any of these options, do we? Does the rework make it more engaging for the dwarfs or for the empire? You mean? I'm really um, no. There is there is hero regen for the well, you know, not in the rework. No. Um, oh, nice. We got an apprentice wizard straight off. Eighteen plus eighteen wins of magic. There's only a four percent chance for that that follower to drop when your um, when your general fights a battle. So yeah, we might not see another one of those for a while. Pretty lucky to get it on first turn. Um, as is my right by Sigmar's crown. All right, yeah, we'll take Grumberg as well. Bring me to my men. Have you heard Legend has sworn off Total War to be a full-time Mana Lord streamer? No, I haven't. So that's funny. Like the other day, he was saying he was not that into it. Is he like super I into it now? With you. The state troops um, are the same. You basically confederate them. Um, I made a video um, with uh, a bunch of stuff. Maybe I should um, link that video. Calfrons and right. Jesus. Um, yeah, if I'm if I'm there's, uh, if I'm not answering your questions um, fast enough, 
I did make a video with pretty much everything that I could think of about the Empire rework in it. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just pin that as well to make it a bit easier for people. Um, and then there's also the, the, that's everything, everything about the Empire except for Wizards and except for Balthazar Gelt is in that one. And then the other one is the Balthazar Gelt one. The new Empire DLC is literally everything I hoped for. I feel exactly the same way, Dash Dash. I feel exactly the same way. It's, yeah, it's like, fuck, yeah, pretty much literally everything I hoped for. They fixed the, um, they fixed the, the elect account state troops by making them not so ridiculously expensive that you couldn't actually use them. Now they're actually, like, now you actually use them. Um, and you can also, like, refresh them as well. Like, you can use your, um, decrees to refresh the pool. So you could, like, wait 10 turns, recruit some Karibu Great Swords, then use a, use a decree to refresh it, and then you can recruit, recruit a second unit of them again, you know? Um, and yeah, just, I don't know, just everything, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Knights are more are melee cavalry and not shock cavalry. That is true. They've got pretty good melee stats, eh? Do they actually have maces or no? Wait, do you mean... you mean the Knights of more or the new Knights, the DLC ones? Sorry guys, I'm trying to eat... I'm trying to eat off screen a little bit. I, um... Yeah, so my plan was to not stream so much so that I could be really well rested so we can just go really hard on the streaming for the next few days now that we've got access to the early to the early access but instead of doing that I couldn't sleep so I only got like four hours sleep and then I was doing videos all day and so I didn't have any dinner and so yeah so instead of being well rested I've had no dinner or sleep <laughs> so I'm giving you the best possible version of myself that's what I'm all that's what I'm all about it's one of my core values Always give the best possible version of myself. Right, let's get these superstar Reichsguard in here again. That's the version that you come for. The new flag for the handgunners looks like um great sword flag. Nah, it doesn't. It looks like a guns. It's like I so say you gotta get closer maybe. Oh you can't. Oh, we just took a few arrows to the face. But no one went down. Is they spears or no they're spears, shit. Yeah, these guys aren't going to enjoy those spears. Oh, look at that. Pull out. Pull out. No problem. Glory. I'm not sure these guns are going to actually... Um... Still haven't lost a knight yet. But yeah, I mean, I like, yeah, I've been waiting. I mean, like, yeah, I'm really happy about this campaign being updated. This is my favorite, probably my favorite campaign, I'd say for sure. And now it's, um, I think it's much improved. I'm really, oh yeah. So the other thing about Empire is like the, the way they designed Empire initially is that you're supposed to basically wipe out all of the other elect accounts and confederate, either confederate them or, um, yeah, either confederate them or wipe them out and take over all their territory. And that's how you're meant to sort of win the game. That's how you're meant to play Empire. But um, in the, in the like, Warhammer universe, the Warhammer Fantasy universe, like, the Empire is not, like, one unified state. It's a, um, it's a, like, a confederation of semi-independent states, you know? And the, the Emperor can, like, call on them, but he doesn't, like, rule them exactly, you know? And, um, yeah, so that's the way I like to play the Empire, where I keep all of the Empire factions as, um, oops, <laughs> I keep all the Empire factions as allies. Um, and yeah, but previously we couldn't do that because we literally weren't able to do diplomacy at all with Empire factions, which was weird. But now, now that's fixed. So that's like, I'm so happy with that. You know, I like to recruit the new units. 
No, I don't have access to the new units. So this version that I'm playing now is has not got the DLC installed. So I'm I'm playing basically what you guys will be playing if you don't buy the DLC. Um, yeah, it's so good. Like, because for me, that's the way. That's the only way the Empire should be played. Really, you know, like I I don't want to confederate and wipe out all the other elect accounts. I want to rule them as the you know as Karl Franz, master statesman, you know. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to fully test out today is no confederation style, no, no, no confederation style, which is what I consider to be the proper empire campaign. Um, and, um, yeah, I, it's, it is, I mean, you could do it before as well, but it's now there's a lot more tools that actually assist you to play without confederation, you know? Um, and it's, and it just make, it sort of makes sense more now and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And if you actually keep the electors alive, but not um, not confederated, then you actually get free um, you get free uh, prestige every turn from them. So if they've got ten, if a, like if an elector's got 10, 10 fealty, then they give you ten prestige every turn. So if you can have like if you can have like eight or ten electors or loyal to you, then you could be getting a hundred prestige per turn for free, which is not that much really in the late game, but you know it's still like kind of an incentive to um try and manage the empire well but it's yeah for me it's just a role-playing thing like i just that's the way i think it should be done but i'd say it's probably still easier to play the empire when you do conquer it and do confederate it but if you just want to if you just don't want to play that way then at least now it allows you to do that you know Yes, the rule. Yeah, it's, he's. I feel like his faction is a lot more themed towards alliance now. Alliance and um, yeah, alliance and friend and, and um, elect account state troops as well. The only thing that um, they didn't do that I wanted them to do is make it so that you can get elect account state troops from fealty um, without having to confederate the um, without having to confederate the faction. They didn't fix that, but um, I was talking to the devs about it, and it was sort of like like it they they it might be a possibility. Like they said, you know, if they get time or whatever, they might fix it. They might fix it. So if that gets fixed, then literally Empire will be everything I want it to be, basically. Yeah, so I want to get, like, allied with all of the Empire factions so that I can ally, I can do allied recruitment and get, you know, Empire or Empire swordsmen from all over the Empire. Just instantly raise a massive army of, um, of allied troops. I want to get. I want to get these great swords. Get some blood, blood on their blades. I don't think they're too slow. Yeah, that's the problem with the great swords. They're a little bit too slow. They never. They can never get into combat. Yeah, that's what I think. Either either alliance or um, either alliance or fealty. I reckon that either of those options would be fine for me. Oh, the great swords just took a mortar shot to the face, but. I don't care. Buff the great swords. Knights are gonna have to go and run down some of these miscreants. Let none of them escape. The Sigma statue map is it? That's the, that doesn't exist anymore, does it? But they got they got rid of that, didn't they? No, oh, this handgun is how satisfying is that handgun of fire? All right, I think, we, I think we've done God's work here. Yeah, they should just have like one one hex on the map that if you go to that exact hex then you get the old um you get the old statue map. That'd be cool. In settlement battles, none of them escape. There's no need to run them down. Oh yeah, you still get experience though.
I'd like it if you could go recruit Elector units in a manner similar to Ogre Camps. So you don't need the Elector. Yeah, that'd be cool. But, but I think you should still have to have either Fealty or a Military Alliance. Because at various times, different states of the Empire didn't get along with each other, or they mistrusted each other, or, or whatever. Or the Emperor, you know, like, called the Elector of Avalan to send troops, and he kind of dilly-dallied and made excuses and didn't send his troops and stuff. So I feel like there's kind of like a precedent there for... You know, if you have bad relations, maybe the electors wouldn't let you have their troops. Summon the elector counts. Yeah, un unfortunately, we weren't lucky enough to get a noble lord. If you had a noble lord on turn one, then you can you can build this in two turns instead of three, which is really nice. Oh yeah, this building, I think... Is this building changed? Or maybe it changed a while ago and I just didn't notice. Yeah, actually, no, I think it did change a while ago. Oh yeah, the buildings have all changed now. You get all your hero capacity at tier 2 now. Um, for for these ones, anyway. And um, they split um, they split uh, gunpowder troops from artillery. They're two separate things. Um, and um, the Witch Hunter is now tied to the gunpowder troops line. Um, he's not tied to the um, tavern anymore. The tavern also gives minus upkeep for local um, local uh, troops. So that's pretty cool. Um, and um, Gotrig and Felix are not tied to the taverns anymore either. Gotrig and Felix are just like legendary lords, where you just you just have to rank up to rank seventeen, and then it unlocks a, a quest battle that you have to fight. Tier two handgunners, yeah. The only thing I don't like about the buildings is that the free company militia, you have to build a separate building to the um, training field. Um, whereas before the free company used to be in the training field as well. I reckon free company, like law wise, I reckon free company should be moved to the settlement. They should be, free company should be tier zero. Maybe they should nerf them a little bit or something or, or lower their, their um, you know, lower their leadership or something. But but yeah, they're like free company are basically like lower than state troops. Like, so it sort of doesn't really make sense that Empire Spearmen can be recruited anywhere, but you can't get you can't get free company. Anything new for Volkmar? No, I didn't notice anything new for Volkmar. Yeah, you get to keep Gotrek and Felix permanently now. Yep. command here um i don't normally like archers i mean i don't like mass archers but i kind of like the idea of having a couple of units of archers in my uh, in my army I'll grab a couple of those yeah car has got a new skill tree now as well oh yeah so he gets um yeah so this is combined into one thing now so he gets Plus eight Reich's Guard melee attack, plus ten bonus versus infantry great swords, plus ten bonus versus large Reich's Guard, plus five charge bonus for Reich's Guard. Um, but this one, yeah, the elector count state troops get plus ten armor, fifteen percent vigor loss, five leadership, and five percent missile strength. And that's as on top of that, he's got his special trait. Where is his special trait? Oh, there. Five percent weapon strength for elector count state troops. Yeah, so we need to get as many Elector Count State Troops as we can <laughs> and have nothing else but Elector Count State Troops. And oh yeah, and his army's going to be cool because we're going to have all these different like unique crazy units and stuff. Hmm. Alright. Um, what else should I do on turn two? Turn one, I mean. Yeah, we can actually, yeah, I forgot to do this last campaign, but um, yeah, we can recruit. Um, we can recruit another Lord here. And start recruiting. Well, we'll recruit one unit there. You can't recruit electric count troops if you don't confederate. Oh yeah, I covered that in the video. Yeah, you can, there's an exploit where you can you can get around that. So you can't actually, you can't actually get the electric count troops without confederating. But just you have to use a bit of an exploit. 
Uh, oh yeah, the tech tree is different now as well. So yeah, I was going to say with the, yeah, as I say in the video, like you kind of want to save up 7,500 prestige to unlock this because once you get Emperor of the Empire, it basically doubles the effects of a lot of your decrees or makes your decrees better in some way. Um, but, you know, if you're saving up 7,500, that means you're not going to be using any decrees to make, you know, to enhance your campaign until then. So yeah, it's a bit of a, I, I don't know, there's an argument to be made for either one, but yeah, I would, I probably, like I try to save a bit to get more prestige, but to get this faster, but I'm not going to like not spend any because, you know, they are pretty powerful, so we can get a good advantage out of them. Um, What do we want? I think I want to go for one of these three first, either extra witch hunters, um, extra warrior priests, or extra empire captains, or extra research rate has no other things on it relating to any heroes. <laughs> um, and there's this whole separate part for mages over here. Is there a prestige cheese? I don't know. Um, yeah, not not that I've um, not that I know of. I was I want there to be. I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But I haven't really thought of anything. Um, Five percent movement range over here is pretty excess, pretty exciting as well. Um, but yeah, the whole, the whole tech tree's kind of got a bit of a make lift, a face over, face, facelift, makeover. Yeah. Is it worth it to trade Grumberg to Talibek land to quickly get to 10 fealty? Nah, there's not really, and there's, for me, there's no real reason to get fealty because I'm not going to confederate any factions. Basically, all that, can, all that fealty does is give you the confederation. Um, oh, and it gives you, it passively gives you a little bit of um, prestige per turn, but it's not very much, so it's not really a worth worrying about too much. Um, anyways, uh, um, what are we going to go for? We could go for a couple of Empire Captains. The Empire Captain's got a new skill tree as well. Hey Liz, how you going? Oh yeah, I could Confederate Wolfheart and, um, uh, I could Confederate Wolfheart and, um, and also um, Volmar, if we run into them, because they're not they're not elected counts. No, the tech tree is different. It's um, it's the same vibe. That's basically what I would say about this. Like everything is like the same vibe, but just everything is like fixed and better, and like more powerful. In the name of Magnus. Um Valiant Lord. Yes. Welcome, my countrymen. Yes. Get some relations going with Talibak land. Sigma's whip or Honor before glory. Um, yeah, I might just do no aggression with these guys. Do you know who I am? The laws of Shiva. I will. Yes. Right, there's a new court of the night now. So because Balthazar Gelb doesn't start here anymore, and um, they wanted to weaken Wissen Land a bit because there's going to be a new start there. Um, there's uh, yeah, there's the court of the night here now. Some extra vampire faction. I wonder if they'll actually make a vampire faction there as well, like another vampire faction. I feel like that'd be too many vampires for the empire. The yes. Uh, I'll probably, I might just, I'll sell some wars probably later, but I might just wait a turn to do that. Yeah, Gal was never really an elect account. Province effect. Battle wizard. Uh, uh, uh. 
Um, growth plus all oh, right. Imperial authority gives us plus five growth and plus one control local province. So as long as we can keep this above 51, then we get plus five growth and plus one control. If we can push it up a little bit further, we can get plus two control and plus 10 growth. Plus our um, uh, cooldown on electric camp state troops goes up. If we lose more than 50%, which I don't think we're going to see in this campaign, hopefully, um, then we get we get this. And uh, yeah, if you go under 25, then you get this. This is really pretty bad. Be interesting to see. Um, oh, we got a free wizard. Nice. I think that I think that happened in my last campaign as well. So it might be just you automatically always get a free wizard. Where is the free wizard? Oh, he's up here. I got a beast wizard. Did he even? No, he didn't even get a good trait. Oh, he kind of did. Actually, if I put him on a griffin later on, actually, I guess having ten percent extra charge bonus might actually be not too bad. Yeah, Gelt has purple items for every slot now, yeah. Plus he's got um, other purple items for his um, for his wizards and stuff. Yeah, I covered that in my video as well. If you give up the entirety of the Empire, do you lose the Imperial Authority as a mechanic? No, you just have you have this. I mean, it won't do anything because you won't own, you won't own any. Um, the only thing it'll do is make it so your state troops don't replenish as fast. Yeah, Gelt, I was a toss up between Gelt and um I am Prince and Emperor. Oh, this is cool. So you can actually take Uber's Reich on turn two now. Cause they've because yeah, oh yeah, start off with Helmgart as well, like in case you didn't notice that. We didn't have to conquer it, we started off with Helmgart. So yeah, so you can actually take Uber's Reich on turn two now. Summon the electric which is pretty cool. Which way's closer? Oh, this way. On March! Gel went to Cathay. I put. A, I've um, got a video on my channel about um, all about his start and going through all of his um, new stuff. The blog said that Empire Lords not in the Empire will not gain immortal em uh, in Imperial authority until they own regions in the Empire. Yeah, it says here it only applies to regions in the Empire. Vigilant. For the I don't think they changed Wolfhard anyway. No, I haven't checked him though. Who disturbs me? Yeah, you might have to like go into exile or something like that if you um What? Wild I might put him in I might put him in Franz's army just so that um there's a new landmark at Karaberg, I didn't notice. The 100 authority, um, just it's like, yeah, it's just buffs, growth buff. It, the um, extra thing it gives you is 10% um, increased income from everything in the Empire, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Dwarf's got a really good um, really good rework as well. My video settings. Yeah, that's my video settings. If you want to pause it, but you can check it out in detail. All right, so. Your yeah, the dwarfs, um, the dwarfs grudges system is totally different now. It's way more involved and there's like, they have this like age of reckoning. Yeah, no worries, buddy. They have this like age of reckoning situation where basically you've got a certain amount of turns and you've got to like solve as many grudges as you can within that turn. Basically all like all kind of bad guys have like a little grudge meter on top of them. Um, and you go around and when you kill enemies and take over enemy settlements and stuff, every time you do it, you'll have like solved a certain amount of grudges and you get like points. And then, um, and yeah, basically you get rewards when the age of reckoning ends or whatever, then you get rewards based on how many grudges you solved during that time. Um, and, um, and yeah, and you have like special, like electors, kind of like elect count state troops, like red mercenary units that you get called, um, grudge, what are they called? Grudge bringers? 
grudge keepers. Um, yeah, they, anyway, there's these new new kind of like elect accounts for the dwarfs, elect account state troops for the dwarfs. They're like red red um, red mercenary type guys that you get that have got a few. I think they got a little bit of special traits to them. I wonder if they um, put as much effort into like redoing, reskinning them and stuff as they did with the elect account state troops. Because the elect account state troops are kind of quite distinct visually. Kind of like a reverse wah. <laughs> I guess so. Alright, let's get a nice bit of hill. I think this is perfect. Perfect spot for a bit of gunplay. Yes, sir. We'll get some archers Moving in there down. as well. Formation. March. Take the Swordsman. No lingering. We yeah, superstar Reichsguard out there doing the thing. Yeah, yeah, we've got a fair while before the game comes out, so yeah. I think we've got about a week or more before, um, I think on the 23rd is when we can show the DLC units. Um, so basically until the 23rd, it'll just be all for showing free LC stuff. Um, I, I, yeah, maybe I'll play Dwarfs tomorrow, actually, I don't know. I, I, I was most excited about Gelt and, and, um, and Franz, so I was kind of thinking I'll play Franz today and play Gelt tomorrow, but... I don't know, maybe I'll play, yeah, maybe I'll mix in some dwarfs as well. Well, these beers are doing a good job of keeping me off. I know if the guns have got line of sight. Oh. Hey Frank, I linked a video there um, uh, in the chat there that basically covers everything I could think of to say about the Empire rework. Um, I'm going to be talking about it continuously through the stream, but if you want a quick information dump about like everything, then um, yeah. They fix the greatsword animations. It's interesting. What's what does the what's what? How does it work? I don't know. Where are where are my greatswords? There we go. They didn't get to make it in combat. They're too slow. They can't actually catch anybody, ever catch anybody to actually get into combat, so we never get to find out whether their animations are any good, unfortunately. Yes, oh, they do. Oh, yeah, when they swing, they, they take a bunch of steps forward. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to Dash Dash about this uh, ages ago, yeah. Um, he was telling me about some other units, so same problem. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want you want units that have like that attack animation where they kind of take one step forward, attack a little bit, and they step back into their formation again. Whereas you know stuff where they like go deep into the enemy formation, then they die. The Empire endures. I wonder if it's um, I wonder if it's because they consider greatswords to be flankers and not um, not mainline. Like, yeah, like, because maybe that sort of works well for flanking units, just to get in there and do as much damage as possible, but it's, like, not great if you're, um, yeah, not great if you're trying to, like, trade. I love great swords.
These are proper Empire men. The f Emperor's finest. Oh, we're getting a few kills. Uh, yeah, obviously we're not going to see the proper animations here because they're... Um, because they're chasing the... Yeah, El Elspeth starts in Nome. I think, didn't, yeah. I think there's a blog up that they just released about Elspeth. A lot of stuff in Warhammer 1 was extremely leapy. I wonder if their leapiness just sort of no is just still lungs. carrying over from one by one. Onwards. Hey, Radiant Ashton, have you just have just joined? Away. Hello, hello, everybody. Move. Marcus forgotten. Oh fuck, fuck Marcus. He's a he's a hunter. He's basically a member of the servant class. His job is just to just go and get us some food. Praise be to Sigma. Oh, it's just the Knights Chapter Panther House. Oh yeah, they moved. So the Knights Chapter Panther House used to be in Wiseman, didn't it? I thought it used to be around here somewhere. In the air, and that, yeah. Yeah, the, the Knights Panther Chapter House didn't used to be in Karaburg, did it? Oh, it was always in Karaburg? Oh, okay. Oh, missile blocked. Oh. Oh, 15% missile block chance for Empire Knights in all armies. That's cool. Yeah, global missile block chance. The Huntsman are cool. I don't I don't like I don't really like Huntsman. I've never been a Huntsman Huntsman guy. Uh, I might just get some I might just get some solid Empire Spearmen. Um, yeah, I'm sort of tempted to, um, I'm tempted to pump growth to go for tier four in Altdorf. Um, I was going to say, we can also give a commendation to trans to like level him up faster. Pop, pop, give him this every three turns, um, which will make him level up quite a bit. But yeah, maybe it would be good to just save it as well. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Do, is growth that important anymore, though? I mean, it kind of is, but. Hmm. I'll save it anyway, because at the moment, it's only two turns to get one growth. So if we get the first growth and then we pop growth to get the, get the second growth, then we'll be able to get it up quick. Sigma. Um. Are you getting tough or cunning? I don't know. I guess cunning. It's more role play appropriate. Huntsman General. They got rid of the annoying upkeep penalty on the elector count state troops, if that's even, yeah. Friends got mostly quality of life features. I don't know, friends got fixed basically in my mind. 
Friends was broken before, and now he's awesome. Here to serve. But it's not like he's really been changed. He's just been... He's the same, but just better, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. The new tech tree has got the same vibe as the old one, but it's just better. They are what? Sigmas, all right? I don't know where Epidemia starts. I haven't checked him out at all. Yeah, friend starts with home guy, yeah. Um Yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go after either either Marienberg or or um Kemler first. Or both. I am Prince and Emperor. The nation calls. All right, I might, um, I'll initiate with Franz. Raise your weapons. So that he can be the one that gets the experience points. Champion of the faith. In his name. Praise Sigma by Sigma's right. On march. Ulrich's will. What does the Emperor bid? On the trail. Not a chance. Keep the pace. Into battle. We could, um, we could temporarily, uh, we could actually catch this. Uh, yeah, so I saw it. Sorry, Dash Dash. I just didn't want to cover it because I wanted to play. Um, yeah. I, um, yeah, um, so yeah, there's a, um. Oh, it's got the, oh, the Empire changes are in there as well? Oh, all right. Fuck it. We'll do it. Let's do it. Yeah, no, that's all right. I'll, I can, I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick, um. I'll do a quick chat about it real quick um yeah so um dash dash just uh linked the new blog um for creative assembly the creative assembly have dropped for the empire um Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through it all. I'll let you guys just read it yourself. But um, yeah, was there anything about the free LC update? Theodore Bruckner, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm keen to get him. Master Engineer. It's a nice screenshot. I love the known, I love the known colors. The black and red looks really nice. Hey, you're at Poison. Hey, you main, out well, main, main output. Yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for subscribing, buddy. I appreciate it. the engineer on the mechanical steed null the iron sides um oh yeah the null iron sides they you might have seen some previous um stuff with them having um repeater rifles but they've actually given them handguns which is more correct in the law um long Hockland long rifles apparently they're pretty lethal but i haven't actually used them yet knights of the black rose oh man they look good they look sexy I thought they had, um, I thought they had maces. They look cool though, don't they? Look, just look badass. Um, steam tanks, Marienburg landship, Empire Legacy updates. Here we go. 
Um, right, what's changing? Uh, Imperial authority has been reworked. Elected count systems not appropriate for other empire lords as they aren't elected in the law. Yeah, imperial authority I think applies to um, some of the other lords as well. Stay out of their sights. Yeah, elected counts is exclusive to Carl. Yeah, some of the elect accounts actually lets you teleport the elect accounts to Carl. Which is pretty cool, like, because a lot of factions have those, like, crazy teleport things, like Mother Estankia's um, teleport that she can do. Um, so he's nowhere near as powerful as Mother Estankia's, but, um, but still, it's pretty cool that the Empire has a teleport now. Um, So you can use it to teleport armies, you know, you could like dispatch, so you could like respect Karl Franz out, so he's out for three turns, recruit, re-recruit Karl Franz on the other side of your empire after you've given your, um, given all your army to somebody else. And then, um, yeah, then, then like replace the other army's general with one of your elect accounts and then summon the army to Franz. So you can basically teleport, teleport your whole army instead of just your lords. Yeah, cool. Um, well, yeah, as I said, I, I, um, I pretty much already made videos on, on all that stuff about the, up the Empire update. And so I've already covered it pretty thoroughly in there. Um, but if there's anything I've missed, then yeah, call it out for me or put a comment on the video or whatever. Um, but yeah, check out the blog. Let me know if you find anything interesting in there. Fight for our nation. I feel like this battle is going to be kind of rough. I don't know if I like the idea of... I mean, I like that when we have knights and they just have, like, filthy peasants that get ridden down, ridden into the dirt. And we have artillery and they just don't understand technology. I don't like this whole we both have weapons thing. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah. Yeah, Geld has landmark buildings in Cathay. Yeah, someone in the elect account's definitely going to be open for some, for some um, exploitation. Hmm. Somebody at the armory is getting fired. Exactly. I don't know if I like this whole uh, situation. I might, um, I might just sit way back. Where's their, uh, where's their mortar reach to? Yeah, we'll wait for our reinforcements. The Lords, I might use the Lords because the Lords are immune to uh, artillery pretty much. Confederate Elspeth, yeah, you can Confederate Elspeth, yeah. I mean, I assume you, I assume you can. My subjects call the Amber Order. Ready for the Emperor. Rip Bell's like, out. nah, he's not Rip. He's still, he's still good. We are ready. Yeah, like I, I like I explained in the video, you can either, you can either, you get like a, a series of dilemmas, and you get to choose between different bonuses and stuff, and yeah. You can basically either, um, at the end of it, you can either get Zhao Ming to teleport all your armies back to the Empire, but in return you have to give him all of your land, or you can stay there and be his ally, um, uh, and get, I think, yeah, or, yeah, there's two different options for staying there, I think. One's where you don't, he doesn't like you very much, the other one's where he does. Um, 
But uh, but yeah, you basically just start. You basically, he, he wants you to put down this rebellion. So the the storyline is that if you want to stay there, it's like you put down the rebellion, but now you're going to stay and like administer the lands to make sure the rebels don't come back, like on behalf of Xiaoming. But um, but yeah, but if you want to um, oh yeah, like Balthazar Gelt's ridiculously powerful. Balthazar Gelt is like the cheese faction now. He has like infinite infinite wizards. You just keep recruiting wizards constantly. Like I had my um yeah, I was thinking about playing Gelt tomorrow, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not started yet. Yeah, I think I had 20 I think I had over 20 wizards by um by turn like 20 or something. Um but yeah, I I've, I've got a video up on my channel goes for like 20 minutes covering like pretty much everything I could think of to say about Gelt and showcasing his 20 wizard army destroying everything it's like his his army has like in the video his army's got 20 wizards including gelt they've got 200 percent spell intensity so all their spells do twice as much damage they have maximum wins of magic of like 455 or some shit so they can just never run out of magic they've got um i think they're rocking like five or six different cataclysm spells you know the cataclysm spells that you get from the realm of chaos they've got those and, uh, yeah, it's just... <laughs> but yeah, so Gelt's, um, so I feel like Gelt's kind of cool because he's like, I don't know, like if you've watched, um, if you're into like Mar the Marvel, you know, like the Marvel Avengers TV series and stuff, uh, movies and stuff, like if you watch the Marvel movies and you watch like Captain America or Thor or whatever, then that's like one type of situation. But then if you go and watch the, um, the Doctor Strange, the Doctor Strange movies, you know, where he's like going through different dimensions and everything. Like, I feel like that's like what Balthazar Gelt's campaign is like now. Like, he's not like bound to the rules of mortal men. Like, he's just doing his own crazy magical stuff. Onway. With pleasure. With haste. So I'm thinking. I think maybe we put the heroes in here. At speed. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Um... But yeah, like if you if you want to have like a crazy cheesy overpowered type campaign, I think Gelt would definitely be the one to go for. Um, if you want to have like you know classic Empire, like sort of strategic more strategic campaign but with a bunch of new tools and stuff then then Franz is the guy hmm yeah I don't know maybe I didn't maybe I made a mistake You can't actually throw this, can he? Like, you can target it, but it won't. Oh, no, it works. It doesn't really do any damage, though, hey? Split their army pretty well. If we can get these, oh shit! If these Rex guy can get around, and take out that artillery, then we are good to go. YouTuber exclusive beta, yeah. It's one way of it's one way of saying it. These guns gonna be able to get line of sight. Yeah, they should be good. I might put them here though. It's a little bit more flat. Oh, actually, yeah. If we go here, that might be good. Oh, well, the mortars are off there. After all that, we didn't even need to get them.
did a pretty good job of splitting their army. Hopefully this is going to be a bit, um... Say he stepped forward, then he stepped back. Step forward, then he stepped back. No, they're doing it. They're pretty good. That's, those animations aren't too bad. They sort of step forward, then they step back. That's pretty much what you want. So you're still there, Spanner? That's good, isn't it? Or is that is that still bad? Oh, shit. Oh man, this free company, I mean, these handgunners are not having a good time. I might have, uh, no, they're, that's, they're, they're gone now. Great swords is driving those guys into the sea. They'll throw these madmen from the top of your rock. Do another four damage. Underway finally made official. Yeah, that's right. There's, um, there's, um, the underway now you can actually tell like use the underway to fast travel around and stuff it's pretty cool They buffed up all the heroes and lords with new traits to make them stronger. Yeah, a lot of the new, um, a lot of the heroes are a lot better now. Um, even witch hunters are pretty cool now. I wonder if witch hunters are actually like viable to use in army, armies now. No, I haven't played any of the DLC lords. No, I've been, I haven't had time. I've been trying to just actually play the free LC stuff so I could make some content on the free LC. I haven't had time to play any of the DLC lords yet. I'm not even sure if I'm which DLC lords I'm really that the most interested in. It's I mean honestly the the update for Carl Franz is the thing I was most pumped for. Um, although after having tried out the um, after having tried out Balthazar Gelt, I really like his campaign. I really like how um, I really like how um, I really like how they made Balthazar Gelt like totally different from um, from Carl Franz now. Like his campaign's like totally different. Um, hey, Crunch Slam Chest, thanks so much for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, like before they were kind of like the same, but this, the characters were a bit different or whatever, you know. Whereas now it's like they're actually like completely different types of different campaigns. Give him a volley in the face. Uh, see if he's man. Merkin Bros. When does the update go live? Uh, oh, no, the update's not out for a couple of weeks then. You're not missing out on anything. Oh, thanks, Fizz, man. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. You're a legend. Appreciate it. 
swiftly. Oh man, it feels so good to be able to actually show you guys this now. Like, I like, yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I know it's a privilege to have early access and everything, but I honestly don't really enjoy having early access that much. Like, uh, I enjoy I enjoy streaming. Like, I enjoy streaming to you guys and playing the game and chatting with you while I'm playing. You know, like, yeah, just yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as good <laughs> when um, just trying. To, and also, it's like you know, it's not really fun because you're not trying to like have fun. You're trying to like figure out stuff so that you can make videos about it. You know, so it's just like yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna. I wasn't trying. Sorry, I'm not trying to winch. I'm. I'm very happy. But I was less happy yesterday. But I'm much more happy now. <laughs> Life is good. Here's to Thrones and to you showcasing. Cheers. Oh, thanks, Shadow Slap. Thanks so much, man. You're always so generous. I appreciate it, man. You're awesome. All right, I finished my dinner now. Oh no, I haven't. I got one more bit. All right, now I'll finish my dinner. Hey, hey, Gaia. Thanks, um, thanks for the super chat, man. You're awesome. Dinner is um, some skinless hot dogs with no bread. Just the hot dogs. Because I didn't want to drink, I didn't want to eat any carbohydrates because I feel like carbohydrates make you sleepy. And since I only got four hours sleep, and that was quite a while ago, I figured I'll uh, try to maximize my wakefulness by not eating any carbs. <clears throat> and um, Mrs. Mercy's asleep at the moment. She's got to work and get up and work in you know nine hours or something. But she might be working from home, so I sent her a message telling her to buy me some biscuits. Biscuits, get me like some sugar snacks. If I'm still going in nine hours from now, then I'm gonna need some, in some, uh, gonna need some stimulant. Yeah, I still get an XP. It's so weird the way this XP thing works. I don't know. I, I, feel, I swear it must be buggy or something. Sometimes you don't get any XP after the battle ends. Sometimes you do. Sometimes it seems like you do for a while and then they cap out or something. Superstar Rocks Guard. This guy's gonna be like rank nine by the time our other guys are rank three or rank four. He had lamb chops. Oh, nice. Red Bull plus coffee plus whiskey. No, I don't. I don't like drinking alcohol unless I'm, like, if I'm doing anything else really. So alcohol makes you sleepy as well. Yeah, I found like yeah, eating 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 food or eating any food really, but especially food with lots of carbohydrates, any alcohol, and any exercise. Those are the three things. Those are the three things that that uh, kill your ability to do fourteen hour no life gaming sessions. You have to give up. You have to give up food, alcohol, and exercise. Otherwise, you can't you can't um you can't no life properly. I've got, I've got three, I've got my three black coffees here lined up. My thermos. Really enjoyed your video explaining the new Empire update. Thank you for that. Oh, thanks a lot, Navi V. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad it was, um, I'm glad it was informative. I, I, yeah, apologies. I didn't have time to edit them properly. So the way that I normally would. Um, so I, I just tried to jam as much information into them as I could. So hopefully they, hopefully they're good. Oh shit, I wanted to sack it. Crap. I am Prince and Emperor. True servant of Sigma. As is my right by Sigma's crown. Praise Sigma. A successful foray. I will go. I like all the I like all the characters like just when you see them all around the place. Um, also, the 
with the new with the dwarfs as well with the new dwarf characters that they've got in the dlc and stuff it's just like it's cool seeing them all just on the map it's like there's a little uh little you know empire society going on i will marshal the bed what orders i'm gonna stream non-stop until the dlc drops just with non-stop black coffees yeah that's right That is the spirit. Alright, we've got some magic damage now. Fuck a, fuck a doom. Which is good. Command here. Not sure what to do. I mean, we're probably going to respec him, so it's only temporary. But yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with my early... Oh yeah, character experience gain. 15%. I noticed that as uh, interesting and irrepressible. Um, I don't know, is that worthwhile going for? Because we can always respec later. And that way you just get more XP faster. Unfortunately, there's nothing really that you want in the blue line. Make a great sword doom stack. Yeah, I'm gonna have a full um, I'm gonna have a full army of um Caribou great swords. <laughs> That's my plan. I don't think I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how that works. Actually, it wouldn't be particularly efficient, but um, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Probably um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because it's kind of cool with this because you can get the you can get the um, elect account bonuses, and then you can also get the Imperial Special Forces bonus versus infantry on great swords. So it'll both apply to the Caribou great swords, so we can have like super great swords, but they'll still be really slow. They'll just do lots of damage in melee, in melee. Um, I might just. Might just boost my Rikes Guard because I want them to run around fast. Hey, Mum Chill, how you going, buddy? Ty Laughingfall is a minor noble from Hockland, both foolish and brave beyond reason. He dreamed to be a hero and spent all his fortune on fencing lessons. He, gen he then joined the Imperial Army. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not really like going out of my way to do na na renames today because I feel like it's going to be too, too uh, you know, it's going to slow down the gameplay too much. But uh, but that was a good story. I can't uh, can't go past that one. Uh, yeah, so I've got a new tradition on the channel that if you wanna if you wanna rename, then you have to um, make it, you have to write a piece of original fiction <laughs> explaining the, your background of your character, and it has to all be law has to be law friendly and stuff. So yeah, this guy's name is Ty Laughingfall. Minor noble from Hockland, now risen to the mighty ranks of Empire General. <laughs> All right. Awaiting orders. Bring me to my men. <laughs> Summon the Elector Counts. Huntsman General! Huntsman General! Alrighty then. Um, yeah, I don't know if we should take out Marienburg Mr. first or... I am Prince and Emperor. I might have to get some more archers for temporarily. Yeah, it really makes such a huge difference if you get a no if you're lucky enough to get a noble um, noble lord on turn one. Maybe we should have um, restarted until we got one. <clears throat> I 
Um, I, t I covered all the witch hunter skills in the in the um, Carl Franz video, the one that I've linked in the chat there. Um, but yeah, they they um, grim resolve. The one the the one that used to be like anti large or whatever. Now it's like they get plus ten melee attack and melee defense whenever they're in the radius of a terror causing unit, which I think is a cool new skill they've got. A few new a few characters have got the same skill actually, um, which I think is really cool. Like the, yeah, it's only when they go up against a terror causing unit that they become like. You know, they rise above. So yeah, so we've brought um we've brought Reichland back to life. Um Kazrak's already taken out Middenheim. So we're we start off on fifty six, we're at fifty eight now, so we've got slightly more Empire factions and Empire regions than we started off with. The Empire. Hmm. All right. I might. I see no other option. I might pop a. On march. Pop a sweet trespass across Marienburg's lands here. They don't like it. They can what? eat a dick. What does the emperor bid? If they wanted to have a say in how the emperor empire was run, they shouldn't have seceded from the empire. Oh uh, yeah, so we aren't going to be. We aren't going to be recruiting any more troops. I go where I am needed, sir. Um, unless. Oh no! Should I grab some more? We could go to there. On the trail. Yeah, I guess that's all right. All right, we'll get a couple more. Um, get some more spearmen, maybe. <clears throat> Eventually, we'll get some better troops. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, we still don't have any nobles, so we have to just take the, um... Have we got any Cathay? As soon as you get vision on Cathay, like as soon as the Cathayan um, caravans get here, I think they get here about turn 8 or something, turn 10, then we can, um... Then we can, you know, get some money from them. Um, I think I'm just going to go for money, maybe, first. Ah, oh, man, I would love to get some... It's only cheap, 1,500. It used to be, like, 3,000 for the first, um, for the level 3 priest. Now, you can go, yeah, get tier 2 flagellants now, too, which is a lot better, I think. Um, and are they cheaper as well? 150 for flagellants? I think that's cheaper than they used to be, isn't it? Oh, that's cool, actually, if they are cheaper. Yeah, didn't they used to be, like, 200? I think they might be cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. I uh, probably it's probably 200 because I had them on. Um, probably 200 because I had um, supply lines. All right, we're trying to get our economy going a bit. Get some uh, crossbows. 150 sounds like a bargain. Yeah, and I think pretty sure that you get a discount on them if you play as Voltmar, right? So I was just thinking, I wonder if Voltmar could actually go for like a really cheap. I wanted to play a Voltmar army where he has like just lots of free company, but like heaps, just heaps of flagellants, like hordes of them, like they're zombies. Uh, I might go for the plus two recruit rank for infantry units actually, because that way when we do our next round of recruiting, it'll be a little bit better, a bit higher level. I command here. Oh, uh, where do you reckon? Hmm. To the provinces. Servant of the faith. Huntsman general. Get a move on. All right, actually, let's uh, let's get some let's get some movement cheese going on. It's been a, it's been a, we haven't done any cheese this turn, this uh, campaign yet, so we gotta get it. We gotta get our cheese on. 
We're there! Advancing! Huntsman General! Huntsman General! Uh, let's go for... I do like perceptive. Get more draw, but I think we'll go for strong, a mighty arch lector. Hard work beats Mercy, that's cheese. I know Your it is cheese. My command. But I announced, I announced it. I was honest. I was honest about it. Sigmarite arch lector. Can't. Careful now. Can't sell the water anybody. We're just gonna have to Here do to it on sell. our own. Oh wow, the war the um three heroes can take out this army by themselves. Solid. Ah! The nation calls. On march! I serve the Heldenhammer. What? Is Marienburg going to be an easy target if it starts with its land ships? Uh, I don't think they start with land ships, do they? The well, they still got two two units of Knights of the Blazing Sun. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, by the time I get there, they'll have gone off to invade something else and they'll have no armies in their settlement. So we'll try and like ninja it when they're not there. Purge the heretics. No, I, this is not... I haven't got the DLC on uh, Ruby. I'm not allowed to show any DLC stuff. So this is just the same... It's just the same as what you guys were playing once the update comes out if you didn't buy the DLC. So there's no new units or anything. Not all, I don't have them, but the, the enemies will have them. No auto resolve? Um, not on this battle, no. I don't tend to really auto resolve too much. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like, I really enjoy the battles in this game, um, and um, it just gives me some sort of low level satisfaction just setting up my troops and stuff, just lining, lining up my ranks and everything, you know, figuring out my ranges so I get everything like just, just right. Uh, even like the the easiest battles, I tend to, I tend to enjoy. Yeah, I've got the new Imperial Authority and the new fealty and everything, yeah. So it's basically, yeah, when you guys get the update, when you guys get the, the patch on the 30th, I think it might be around then, um, then um, the, then yeah, if you like don't buy the DLC, basically that's the version I'm playing right now. So it's got all the DLC, fa it's got all the DLC in it, um, but I can't use it myself because I don't have the DLC installed. Actually, this is a nice little hill here, kind of. Oh, actually, no, I think here's better. Yeah, this is pretty nice. You want, like, a bit of a dip in front of your, in front of your guns so that they can definitely have, like, an unimpeded, unimpeded uh, firing. Any landmark buildings? Uh, yeah, we, we we showed up on before. There's a new Knights Panther, um, Knights pa Knights Panther chapter house that's um, buffed. Got a bit of a buff. It's my artillery. I forgot to move it. Yeah, the Knights Panther chapter house has got a level two now. And level two gives you 15% missile block chance for all Empire Knights. Pretty cool. So that should be good for Voltmar. Um, no one got a burning flaming rod or anything, did they? No. You didn't have a horse? No. 
Um, all right, maybe we'll go. We'll send him in. We'll try and annoy them with spells. Once the bats come out, we'll get the heroes to kill the bats, and then that should pull the dogs and everything. The captain get a demigriff mount? No, not as far as I know. No, you still get leg biter. Yeah, I assume so. Yeah, I don't think they would have changed anything like that. Um, yeah, basically how I like to play the empire, the empire, because I don't, I'm not playing with confederations, so there's, we're not going to do any confederations. Um, but what I do is like I try to defend all the provinces of the empire, and then if like one of the pro in front of the um, elector counts gets wiped out, then I retake their capital, temporarily install one of my generals as the elector count. That means I get their um, rune fang and I get their um, elector count state troops and all that. And then I give them, and then I sell them back the region, and that way, and then then you get to keep the um, you get to keep all the stuff for being the elect account, but you also get to have them alive. Yeah, there's a white there's a white arm um, regeneration item that you can get as well. We're lucky, but. I'm not going to, um, yeah, I wouldn't like go out of my way to like intentionally wipe them out or anything just for roleplay reasons. But, um, but yeah, Midland have already lost their capital. So once we go up and to retake Midland's capital from Kazrak, then we can claim, um, the Midland Runefang and get regeneration and stuff. Thanks, Viking. Cheers, buddy. Great swords! To battle! We are ready! By Ulrich's wrath! Formation march! For the Emperor! Formation march! By Sigmar's will! At speed! Quick march! Go! Sir, for the Emperor! Finding rain, sir. Oh, they got no. Oh, yeah, they got no. Man, I love handgunners. I think I think having like just like two units of handgunners is kind of perfect because it allows you to try to put them in the like the best places, you know, rather than trying to stick them everywhere. Yeah, we might be able to get it fixed so that we can get the elect accounts legit, elect account troops um, legit. But at least for the moment now, we've got um, we've got like a yeah a workaround. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure I put that out there for anybody who's not you know, who's not a already a professional cheeser. So that we can um, so that yeah, because I like that's like for me that's the highlight of this update is like being able to play like um, you know law friendly. Carl Franz, where you don't conquer everybody. Um, don't don't get me wrong. Like it's probably still easier to co just conquer or, or conquer slash confederate all the factions. But um, but yeah, there's a lot more support now. I think for if you want to play it without um, without conquering all the factions. I haven't even looked at the the iron sides uh, stats. I don't know. But I, I don't think I'm allowed to talk Protector about it anyway, unless. 
Unless um, Creative Assembly already released the stats. Did they show them off in the known stuff or whatever? To the provinces. In the name of Magnus. Um. There's probably ah. Oh. Where's where's his army? Oh yeah, this is what I mean. Like, check this out. Check this dude. He's a he's a slayer. New slayer lords for the dwarfs. This is what I mean, just seeing, like, see, when you see the dwarfs, like, if there's a few lords around and a few heroes and stuff, there's, you know, there's, like, engineers, slayers, you know, thanes. It just looks like a little dwarf colony of, like, when you see it, when there's a lot of characters on the map together, you see this is like, cool little cartoon dwarf colony, you know? I don't know, it's really cool. Careful now Strength rank 89. Little. Did you say shot? I don't know whether Grumbrindle or Thorgrim is going to be more classic for my dwarf playthrough. The nation calls. Onwards! Yes, my lord. We march! Praise be to Sigma. What does the Emperor bid? Moving off! On march! By the comet, pick up the pace! Never! Alright, looks like whichever way they attack, they're gonna get, um... Protector of the weak. Whichever way they attack, they're gonna get Carl Franz. Um... Now! He's got another army somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'm a bit worried. The Empire. Oh, there is Wayne. Have a good one, buddy. How many cities Vlad got? Uh, I don't know if we've got vision on him, have we? Oh, yeah. Five. He's got one more region to take before he's finished taking all the vampire lands. Um, hmm. Yes. What if I should um go military allies with these guys? I mean, I guess she won't like it much. Um Yeah, I don't know. Should I save my I could pop I could pop the growth here, but then we don't have the money anyway. Um How's she going? She's taken one. She's taken. Oh, she's taken three regions, yeah? No, she's taken two. She missed one. But yeah, I imagine she's probably going to be pretty strong, right? Yeah, Wissenland's pretty strong. Alright, maybe I'll, um. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of influence. This is what I was saying. I think like it is a good idea to... Oh, yeah, sorry. Somebody wanted to look at this before. I don't know what you wanted to see on here. It's just this is basically exactly the same as it was before. Um, the only different... Well, I haven't gone through every single thing, but I assume it's all pretty much the same. Um, but, um, yeah, the only difference is with the fealty. Like, 10 fealty means once they get 10 fealty, you can use a decree to confederate them. But the when you confederate them, it reduces the fealty of all the other lords by two. So it's actually a bit more tricky now to try to confederate all of the um, the factions, which I think is actually cool as well, because I can imagine Karl Franz trying to do all like political machinations and stuff, you know, and he might like do all these maneuvers and stuff to be able to confederate Elspeth von Draken, say, um, because he wants to get, you know, the powerful, um, the powerful, um, powerful units and what a powerful lord you know but then but by doing that you drop or you drops all of the other factions um fealty by two yeah so yeah um unless you have the tech oh yeah so um the decrees all of the decrees have like a more powerful version um so yeah these the the upgraded version of unify doesn't have the minus two um fealty on it does it I 
Did they change Reviving Lords? No, why would they change Reviving Lords? They better not have changed Reviving Lords. No, I don't, I don't think they would. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If anyone's no, yeah knows anything about Reviving Lords, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about maybe... Maybe dropping a few points into her. So I've got to put it at plus 80. Yeah, that's probably enough for now, hey? Yeah, rushing those texts, I think, is definitely a good idea. But I think that you also get quite a good advantage out of using using your fealty, using your prestige in the early game as well. What's the three? Number available. Oh, they're the things that are available, yeah. I'm a bit worried I'm going to get... His army's going to come out of nowhere and beat the living crap out of me here, but... It is what it is. Yeah, Elspeth's got her own unique faction mechanics here. Yeah, Elspeth seems a bit like... Um, she's kind of like the Empire version of... Um, yeah, Elspeth's like the Empire version of um, Ikaclaw or something. Like Ikaclaw combined with um, Oxyodal or something, I don't know. Alright, um... Who calls? Yes, to unite the provinces. Ulrich's will! To war! Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so my plan is I'm going to take out Kemmler first, then I'm going to take the, uh, probably going to take the elector seat of Marienburg, unless it looks too hot, in which case I'll just leave him there. And then I'm going to go after, um, Kazrak so he can bring Middenland back to life. I'm sort of thinking I should raise a lord, maybe raise a lord in Altdorf in case Azurak comes down here. I wonder what Kazrak just took then. Did he just take Weissman or did he just take Middenstag? Because if he just took Weissman, he might be going to attack Altdorf like next turn. Oh, no, he'll take Karaberg first, won't he? I will marshal the men. The nation calls. What orders? It is time. I live to serve the Emperor. Guided by Sigmar. Following Sigmar's path. Oh yeah, these por these portraits in here, they look like they've got better shadows on them now and they look heaps cooler, I reckon. A lot of these used to look kind of a bit like overly bloom and shiny and a bit crap, whereas now they all look pretty pretty badass, I think. Raise Sigma. Yes. Uh, we'll get all these guys in here so that they can um they can all sup at the XP fountain. Uh, yeah, I think there are some new mountain landmarks, Jotot, but I haven't gone through every location on the map check-in for them. Of the faith. There was one that we noticed in Karaburg. Ever vigilant. Was there any, yeah, was there anywhere in particular you were... Any particular areas you were looking at? <clears throat> mm, 
Yeah, no, I don't think they would have added any music. And the Marcus Rebellion's always at his capital. You, rebellions, or you mean the Lizard Man? You mean the Lizard Man incursion things? I don't think they're always at his at his capital. I think they're at different. They randomly clo chosen locations, but I think it tells you where they're going to be a couple of turns before they pop, or maybe it's one turn before. Hey, Mercy, do you know the exact prices for the DLC? Uh, oh, only what they said in the blog when they released that blog the other day. Yeah, what do you mean by exact? They they said what the prices are. But no, I don't. I don't remember them off the top of my head. But yeah, if you if you um yeah, you look up the blog from a couple of days a few days ago. I think it was on there. <clears throat> Oh, did they update the green skins a while ago? I didn't even know, know about that. Um, yeah, I don't mind attacking from here actually. Uh, yeah, I used to like this spot over here, but I, I don't. I'm over that now. Like, I like I like how you can just get in here without them being able to shoot you from the walls. But I just I hate going through this area. I feel like it's not fun. Whereas this area, I feel like is way more controllable. Basic orc boys and savage orcs got better models and textures. Oh, nice. Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know know about that. Um, I haven't really known. I mean, let's have a let's re let's do a review of the troops. I mean, I feel like the Empire troops always look pretty good. Hey, wait up! How come they've got golden armor? That's weird. Uh, uh, I think there's some sort of weird lighting going on. Yeah, I think there's like a weird red light in here and it's making all our armor look gold. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it is a bit updated. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe Balthazar Gelt like outfitted him for me. Damn right. A little bit of a pre-battle speech there, just to get the boys pumped up. Well, Franz is an inspiring, inspiring, inspiring war leader. Shall I bring the mortar up so it's accurate, so it'll be more accurate? Yeah, that fade effect is annoying a lot of times, isn't it? Got a pretty pretty hard general squad. General squad there. Um, I do not fear 
Enough, I want to take this guy on. I wouldn't mind getting some gunners in the doorway and just shooting the living crap out of anybody that stands in front of it. Try and shoot through the floor. It's annoying. Uh, I missed him. It's, you, sometimes we forget that these are these are real men, real soldiers facing up against these uh, eldritch horrors. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the in the. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Nemesis crowd. Is that supposed to be coming now or? Shoot guns. You get him? Oh, yeah, he's nearly down. Hey, Michael Braddock, how you going, buddy? I think he's dead, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Put those grave guard to flight. Yeah, the Empire captains seem pretty cool now. Um, I think the the Empire the Empire captains' abilities stack, yeah. So you could put a shitload of them in with some cavalry and have like a cool cavalry bonus stack or something. I probably I don't know how much whether it'd be worthwhile, but 
I suppose it would be more worthwhile if the Empire, if they had a demigriffs and you could put them in demigriffs. Oh, we're nearly out of ammo. All right, might be time for uh, time for the the real men of the empire to do some honest work. Oh yeah, yeah, if you had disciplined captains plus the captain skills. If the captain skills stack, I'm not sure if they do. I bet they sort of look like they might. master skill stack okay cool yeah i thought they would because they look the same as like the you know the, like the sisters uh the handmaidens and stuff like that like resistant and that kind of thing i want to get these caribou greatswords in and get them to do some work they just sit they just sit around resting on their laurels too much these caribou greatswords they're not earning their pay This is not a dockable. I don't know, sometimes you can. Oh, yeah, no, they can shoot over there. Cool. Oh, these guys are getting fucked up by the tower. Internet or something. I'll just put on my mobile. See if that fixes it. Ah, it's back now, I think. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't know if I, I don't know if you guys had a problem on your end, but yeah, my um, thing go my internet. Yeah, yeah, seems like it's fine again now, though. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we're back. I did. I set up my mobile hotspot on my uh, my mobile phone, 
to switch it over, but uh, I think it was just a it was just a hiccup. A second. Ugh. So yeah, so you get about forty whatever, however much treasury that you get from your instant gold, you get about forty percent of that in terms of prestige. So basically, every two point five gold that you get, you get one prestige. But yeah, I don't really know if there's, if there's any way of cheesing that, you know. Um, I think that they, I think this gold awarded is for units destroyed, so you can only destroy them once, basically. Um, I think you, even if you fight it twice, I think you can't really kill them twice. You can't really get the ex, you know, the money twice. Um, so I'm really not sure how we can cheese prestige, but I want to try to figure it out. Um, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah. Um, like also like I noticed lords tend to give you more gold and more prestige than other units um even above what you would think relative to their strength you know um I think high level lords especially give you a lot so yeah I don't know that's I guess that's the only thing I can think of is just fighting high level lords um maybe saxities um if you get last settlements like last settlement saxities they can um spawn they spawn their lord every turn and you can get pretty good um get pretty good gold out of that. Summon the elector counts. Oh, I forgot to sack it again. I was gonna sack it and then occupy it with a different lord so I could maintain Franz's movement, I but I uh, I forgot again. Emperor. Yeah I've, yeah I'm definitely tired. You disappoint me. Yeah that's a bummer. We lost another turn there. I could have forced Match Franz back to here, probably. And then we could have attacked Castle Artois next turn. Now it's going to be a two-turn two operation. But that's all right. Praise be to Sigma. What does the Emperor bid? Ty Laughingall. Laughingful. Pretty good name. By Sigma. I command here. Um, I kind of like this curse of Anna here now. Anna, Anna here. Um, it's a pretty good curse. Minus 24 melee defense, melee attack, and speed. Um, 35 meter radius. Um, and it lasts for 21 seconds. So it's pretty good. It is pretty expensive though, but yeah. Oh yeah, the mage tree is different as well. I did cover this in the Gelt video if you it's on my channel. Um that I released today. But yeah, they've got they get Kettle's Call. They get a two two giant hawk summons each. So if you the Doomstack, uh the like Imperial Griffin riding um beast mage doomstack is kind of in better now because each you have like 18 or 19 um, wizards on griffins, and each of them could summon two hawks as well. So you'd have potentially 60 units in a single stack kind of thing. Um, plus, if you did do this stack, um, Curse of Anra here would be really good because even though the like even though these guys don't have that good of combat stats, even though they're on Gritten Griffins, if you put them all in a blob, anything that tries to attack them, you cast Curse of Anra here on it, so they got minus twenty four melee attack, which means they can't hit shit even though they've got low melee defense. Um, you know, so yeah, and plus you know, and you can buff them with Pan's Pelt. Um, yeah, that's the AOE. Yeah, this one's the AOE one, so that gives them twenty four physical resistance and another plus twenty four melee attack melee defense. So basically, twenty four melee defense there. Plus minus 24 melee attack for enemies there. So it's like effectively plus 48 melee defense. So yeah, it's pretty expensive if you wanted to keep try and keep that up constantly, but still it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little so buff combo. Um Protector of the weak. What? Um, I think I'm going to sell this to 
Bretonia, maybe? I will marshal we'll see the how we go. Let us move. What orders? Going forth. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Still no nobles. Any mounts for other wizards other than Amber? Um Bring me to my men. No, I don't think so. They all just have horses. Pretty sure. What do the gold wizards get? Can for hand Carfrans can use the new handgunner units. Uh, yeah, if you got the DLC, but I don't have the DLC installed on this because we're not allowed to, not allowed to show the DLC stuff yet. The pale side. Oh, here we go. Wisdom Land's coming around because we dumped all of that um, prestige on making them, making them love us. Also, the ice court. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be good, law friendly, and cool to have Katarin and uh, Wisdom Land as our as our bro hammers. What? Yes. Born to rule. Uh, so these guys are all with the best thing. The best thing and minor faction are going to get wiped out pretty early. We're not going to My see them, so we may as well get some free money to attack them. You have been no, to join the war against them, I mean. Uh, I am the blood of... And that? What? That... So... Oh, no, but... Who calls? Yeah. Sigma's will... But... So... Who calls? Champion of the dark. All right. Huh? Old sword. I'm thinking about declaring war on for, what? on. I will listen. Bestus. But my time is short. Fourteen hundred gold. Yeah. Uh, Hawkland's only got one region left. So if we want that fourteen hundred gold, we've got to get it before they get wiped out. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons right, of we'll Sigma? declare our. The crew of friendship for Hockland. Oh, look how look nice his green and red looks. That looks nice with that dark red. Did they change that? Did it used to be more bright red before? Right. Oh, maybe it was always like that, actually. Yeah, the um the free DLC update is definitely awesome. The DLC, I don't know. I'm uh yeah, I'm not really allowed to talk about the DLC, but I, just, I I love reworks, man. I'm so happy we got a, we got some good reworks with this one. Um, I was so yeah, I was so really just just I don't know, disappointed. Doesn't even really sum it up. I was I was really disheartened that the, that we didn't get solid reworks with the last couple of DLCs. Um, it just felt really bad to me. Like it was a bad omen. And it was bad for the game. Everything was bad, you know. And just yeah, getting these really solid reworks for Empire and um, Dwarfs um, and probably for Nurgle as well. I haven't checked it out. It's just, it's really uh, restores my faith in humanity. I feel like we're back. I hope they keep it up. All right, Kemla's coming in. Taking my settlement. That's all right. Little does he know. It was a trap designed to trap him in that settlement so that I could come back and wipe him out which is exactly what I'm going to do so it actually worked out kind of well because now we could wipe him out in this settlement rather than having to fight him in the siege yeah a quest has been issued mighty lord a great adventure beckons be wary though hey For very say the potential everybody. rewards are great so too are the perils Mm. okay yeah so these we still have these dilemmas but they're a little bit different now because like there's no um like there's no imperial authority now so you know you before you would always demand flensburg's return because that would give you as well as the listed things here it would also give you plus one imperial authority but now it doesn't give you plus one imperial authority it doesn't do anything and also 
excuse me, it doesn't matter which Empire faction owns it, you still have the same amount of Imperial authority. If if it was an enemy, fa if it was a non-Empire faction that took it, then we'd lose two Imperial authority when they took Flensburg. But since these are both Empire factions, it doesn't make any difference. Um, but yeah, we, we could do this option, um, pay, pay 3,500 gold, um, and Avalon would keep Flensburg. Um, but both both sides would get plus one fealty. So yeah, if you wanted to get your fealty up quick, that would be the way to go. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if this would trigger again. Because I, I thought that this could trigger even if they'd taken the settlement more than one turn ago. But I'm not 100% I'm not sure about that. So I wonder if you could like... If you had the money, you could do this, get in both plus one fealty on both of them, and then next turn, if you, you know, potentially this same dilemma would come up again and try and force um, Avaland to give it back again. And yeah, you know, you could just do it again and do it again and do it again. Um, that'd be interesting to see if, yeah, if that's actually how it is or not. All right, Midland's got destroyed. I'm not sure if raised settlements count as... Yeah, I'm not sure if raised settlements count as being owned by enemies or owned by empire. I think they maybe they don't count... Maybe they don't count as lost if they're raised. It only counts as lost if an enemy faction actually occupies it, maybe. I'm not sure. Because I feel like it sometimes it goes like... You think it should go down more, but it doesn't. Like, yeah, there's, there's a settlement lost there. There's one lost there, there. But yeah, maybe because maybe because they're raised, it doesn't count. You know, oh, it may. It also so it's a new mechanic, so it might be you know a bit buggy or whatever. Summon the elector counts. All right, I'm gonna initiate with Carl Franz so we can get the magic resistance trait on his army. Um, I've got to try to remember. I've got to try to remember to sack it though this time. I calls his back. Uh, his um. That calls his uh, cape. It's pretty, pretty detailed. Servant of the faith. My journey begins. One day, three hundred viewers will be the average for Messi's view account. Uh, I hope so. I'll be um. Mrs. Mercy would probably be a lot less worried about my dubious career choices if that was the if that was the case. Raise your weapons. Alrighty. Should we do an auto resolve? I haven't done one yet. We're gonna lose some of our brave swordsmen. But I can deal with that. <clears throat> that wasn't too, too bad. Ah, had him on fast movement. Physical resistance is nice. Oh, you saw you saw the um, animation when I was um, fighting that battle before. They look pretty good, like because they do they do charge forward, but then they step right back into line no. again. So I thought they looked pretty good actually. Yes, my lord. But maybe you reckon maybe they step too far forward. Ready to serve. The nation calls. Hi, laughing walls. To war. Who calls? Pulling so behind a little bit. Where's Bretonia? I don't even can't even see Bretonia. I was hoping to trade them for um. Champion, welcome. How fares the emperor? Now. Onward.
onwards! To war! Awaiting orders. Forward in his name. Warrior of Sigma. Following Sigma's path. Guided by Sigma. No. I am Prince and yeah, Emperor. Good. He's got his mount now because he's rank seven. Um, we've still got the we've still got the cheese where you can um, dismount and remount to heal your uh, heal your guys. It's pretty nice. Oh, that's another thing that makes Geltz, um hero stack overpowered because he can just um, yes. heal all of his guys every turn by Top moving them in and out in and out of his army if you can be bothered doing it. Um, also, because um, mate, although I think Gelt lost his, I think in in the old patch, um, Gelt had he had fifty percent upkeep reduction on his wizards. I don't think he's got that anymore though. But um, but still, he's still got all these wizards that can um, increase province upkeep so if you have um so the cool thing about Gelt's army is like you know you can have like all these armies just of 100 percent wizards and then when you if you're not using them you can just sit them all in a settlement and that and each wizard will give you like plus 15 percent um settlement income or whatever so they could probably they probably make more money just having an army just sitting there you know um or you could just dismount dismount them all out of the army so they don't get supply lines but yeah, I think Gelt's army's Gelt's faction is definitely going to be cheesy as hell, By the comet. and I love it. But I kind of want to play in. I kind of want to play in the Empire though. So yeah, I'm, but I'm not sure whether I'm not sure. I, I talk about it a bit at the end of the video. Like I'm not sure whether it's better to keep the lands, like keep the. I'm not sure it's better to like I keep the Cathay you. lands and then try to migrate via confederation Ever after vision. you do a quest, like get a quest Stick battle so you get vision on the empire better. and then try to migrate back to the empire via confederation. Or if it's better to use the mechanic to teleport all your armies back to the empire and then use diplomacy to um, borrow an army from yes. Xiaoming and get him to, and get him to, um, Bring me to my men. We could um Do not mistake me for a fool. Could bring him forward yes, more. To unite the provinces. Let's go. True servant of Sigma. Uh yeah, so there's sort of like a couple yes. options, I guess. What does the Emperor bid? I'd with her first. What? Oh, this brick could go uh no, he could he could go right around us. Such a thing is impossible. And, uh, unless I spread. Of the faith. Actually, yeah, no, if we spread. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. I go where I Yeah, yeah. If we spread these guys like that, then he won't Jeez. be able to get through. Is that That's not like Praise be nah, to it's still it's still a river, even though it's got that weird wire thing there. What is that thing? What the hell is that? It's like a ogre moor thing. What? Why is that there? Is it? Oh, maybe it's a green skin fire pit or something like that. He starts in between um, Xiao Ming and uh, Go and Gorst, kind of. Lecture. Yeah, I could have used the growth boost to get that up faster, but praise be to Sigma. Arch Lecter. And didn't really get very lucky. Um, speed's pretty cool, I guess, if you're going to take one of those. 
The nation calls. Oh, uh, Gelt. Gelt starts in between Xiaoming and Gorst. Where those red, um, red, red, um, tribe are, red tribe of Cathay people. Raise Sigma. Yeah, yeah, they moved him, but yeah, basically he's on a mission to help um, Xiaoming, but you, after you do it, you can get a dilemma to transport you back to the Empire. Yeah, it seems like if you just build a Lord here, it's enough to be able to get the auto resolve on Kazrak on, on Legendary, so yeah. Oh, he lost his bestigors. He can't replace those. Sucked in. I don't know if I want to take the replenishment. How many captures we got? Oh, we got zero cap so yeah. So if your main lord is a single lord, then it'll say zero replenishment because he can't be replenished by um by this. But um but you will actually still get full replenishment on all the other armies. However, um, the replenishment is based on the captives. So we're only getting a total of 120 hit points of health. So it's only going to heal like two guys. So don't take the replenishment, obviously. Because the auto resolve. Oh man, minus 20 Ostermark to diplomatic relations. It seemed uncalled for. Um, all right. Who Let's, calls? um. I am Franz. They will abet. I'll initiate with and Franz. Um, so you can get the XP. The Empire. But we'll sack it. We'll the remember man. to sack it this Into time. Battle. Protector of the weak. Ah. I live to serve the Emperor. And. My journey begins. True servant of Sigma. Very and well. then this guy shall occupy it. Men, we must attack. Yeah, we could auto resolve it, but it's pretty costly, so I think we'll fight this one. Oh, episode nine's out now. Awesome. <clears throat> no, that's all right, Spanner. I was I, would be, I was waiting for the last half an hour for you to answer me when I asked you whether you thought that it was better. If you notice, they get stunned mid leap and they stay inside the formation. Oh, if the oh okay no I didn't I watched about three or four of them and none of them got stunned. They all just stepped forward, killed a dude, and then stepped back, so they worked fine. But maybe if I had watched a bit longer, I would have seen what you're talking about. But um, yeah. I still, I'm still keen to make some great swords happen, because um, I, lo I love great swords, so I want to make them work. Oh, you watched both videos? Oh, thanks a lot, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just, I put the, I've put a link up there to the Empire rework video with Carl Franz's faction, and there's another new video on my channel today with um, Gelt's, the Gelt rework. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. If anyone wants to watch those, um, if you got any feedback or anything, let me know. Um, And um, and um, if you if you've picked up anything that I didn't pick up from watching somebody else's video or whatever, um, and you want to let me know about that too, that would also be awesome. Um, I might put the Amber Wizard over here. Uh, oh, actually, no, we can't really. Oh, we could, I guess. Ah, uh, nah. I was gonna. 
I was gonna stealth, like, do the stealth thing, but... Actually, maybe we should do the stealth thing. Where do you reckon the midpoint is? Thing is, if we do it, we're gonna have no mortar for the whole time. No, that's alright, fuck it. Whatever. It'll be fine. So yeah, so we're gonna pretend that we're gonna come in the other side, but we're actually gonna come in this side. Um, it's sort of good sometimes because it just lets you it lets you just deal with the walls without the hopefully without the AI being there but we don't have any wall killing units so we probably won't really do that well anyway So obviously you're really enjoying Shogun. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm like, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it, but I I feel like it's moving a bit slow sometimes. But I don't know. I did say, I said that after last, before last episode, and then after I watched last episode, I thought it was, I was pretty, I did, I did dig it. But yeah, I feel like, sometimes I feel like, like not enough happens in the episode sometimes or something, but I don't know, it is pretty good, pretty good quality show. Pretty entertaining. It relies very heavily on the samurais are cool, <laughs> you know, vibe to carry it a lot. But um, but that's cool because I dig I dig it. I I do I agree that samurais are cool. I was trying to take this door down. Yeah, no, maybe I shouldn't have started with Kalfranz because this is like... This is the campaign that I kind of want to play, but then I feel like because there's so much new stuff, I should like, you know, tomorrow I should play a different faction to show off different stuff. And you know. now we'll see how we go. I could always do like one stream, one, like one episode of each, one episode of like each faction and then kind of like come back and do then come back to them and do the episode twos well this got the door open Amber wizard! 
I might stop shooting for a bit it's until we get this. Get this show on the road. Um, actually, if we just jam a massive infantry blob through the door, then we should be able to get them to um, get them to make a massive inf a massive infantry blob. And then um, Block of Doom will actually start being a bit more efficient. Like it'll start doing more damage. Oh crap, why are they getting smashed so hard? Oh yeah, motors are doing good. Doing a good job. Um, if we actually start pushing them back though, I better stop the mortars, otherwise we're gonna mortar ourselves. Yeah, this is good. Got mortars firing for effect. fire for effect means so it's like uh, i guess it's like they do a ranging shot and then once they get a ranging shot then they'll be like fire for effect means i'm full send blow the shit out of everything now that you know now that you've got your range yeah the motors are doing a good job and uh, now we're hitting like eight units at once or whatever with our flock of doom, so it's a lot more efficient. Yeah, these guys can fire like kind of laterally across their line as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so when you get like a big blob like this, it kind of makes like a magnet that pulls the um, pulls the AI pulls the AI in as well. Yeah, we can just sit here and chew up their whole army, I reckon. No. Oh. Alright, we're out of wins. <clears throat> oh shit, our front, our front line. They should be pretty close to melting now, I reckon.
Uh, motor shots seem to be getting pretty hard. These tower shots over here aren't too much fun. This guy's just unloading over there. This is just the rework, I go, yeah, you're not allowed to show anything from the DLC until the 23rd, I think it is. So we've got about a week or so to review the um, the rework stuff and then the DLC um, yeah, DLC stuff we can show on the 23rd. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to play on the DLC stuff. Maybe Tamakan or maybe, I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna sack it. I'm gonna actually remember to sack this time. Oh yeah, we got a student, very nice. Protector of the weak. I command here. Ready to serve. All right, so we've we've wiped out um, we've wiped out the excuse me we've wiped out the Barrow Legion we wiped out the Secessionists. So I I'm actually going to follow the I don't normally worry about these you know um, these uh, victory conditions, but I'm actually going to pretty much follow these because I want to initially I want to wipe out the Barrow Legion in Sylvania our two main sort of enemies I guess or two of our main enemies that's going to give us plus three hero capacity for all heroes. So now that you can get heroes, um, hero access to tier two, um, you know, basically it's really good to get the plus three hero um, capacity. And um, yeah, and then I want the long victory as well, right? Because I want to basically control all of these regions, Northland, Ostland, Hockland, Middleland, Telavikland, Ostermark, Reichland, Stirland, Avaland, Wissenland, the Wasteland, Northern Sylvania, Southern Sylvania. That is like the empire, right? So I'm not going to be happy until we've controlled all of the empire and we've got it all under our control. Um, and not because I want this, just because that's like, that's just my own, like, I don't really care about the arbitrary victory conditions that the game tells me, you know what I mean? Unless it gives me a, an interesting reward that I want, but that, but that's my personal goal is to actually do that anyway, you know? So I think that's actually really cool that that's the, you know, just to literally unite the empire is the, is the goal. Um, oh, actually, and we have to do a lot of just unprovoked wars on other random helpless people as well to get 70 total total sackings up. That's okay. We've got to make money somehow. So, All right, cool. So our work here is done. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. I'm going to camp just in Gisro so Onwards. we can still get replenishment. I will marshal the men. Your word is my command. So. This guy. Sigma compels us. Move. Arch Lecter. I'll just click the less damaged guys with him. To the provinces. It is for the best. Ty Laughing Fork can take those guys back to get some heavier replenishment. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I will do anything for Sigmar. Bring me to my men. Protector of the weak. 
Awaiting orders. I live to serve the Emperor. Ever onward. Are there any new regions in the Immortal Empire map? Um. Um. They changed. They changed Wissen Land to be owned by vampires, but I don't think they changed the geography of anything. Um. They've. Drac Cat Cracker Drax still the same, yeah. Um, not that I can think of. No, I think all the regions are pretty much the same still. Unless anyone else has noticed anything. Um, should we get that replenishment maybe? Wouldn't mind getting um wouldn't mind getting some more hero capacity. I want all the technologies, they're all good. 15 armor and 10 missile resistance for infantry is pretty solid. All these infantry things are gonna stack up on our um on our elite um on our elite uh elect account infantry once we get them going as well. Pretty nice. These buffs are all kind of cool as well. Immune to snow, like as well as the 50 um, diplomat. Oh yeah, they took out the empire one. So you can't get plus 50 empire relations from the tech tree anymore. But you can get, um, yeah, all these other ones. And they all have a secondary thing. So immune to snow attrition, um, allegiance points plus 20%. That might be good if we're using a lot of elect account troop units. Um, trade or resources plus 10%. Uh, allied recruitment costs minus 10%. So those two combined will make it, make it good for uh, allied recruitment. Um, trade and diplomatic relations with Cathay and recruit rank and recruitment cost for cavalry reduction if you go with Bretonia and then you've also got these buffs um, against uh, against enemies oh this is cool sea lanes sea lanes journey time minus one was that always like that? I don't, I don't remember that. That's actually pretty cool. Make pirates of us yet. Yeah, I, I kind of like this because it gives you the global plus two control. And we've already got um, hero capacity. We've already got hero um, ability to recruit captains. So... I serve Sigma. Your word is my command. Praise be oh. to Sigma. What a dumbass. Oh, what a dumbass. Like, I knew he was there because he literally just attacked me, but I totally forgot about it. That sucks. Uh, I'll see if I can kill that hero that only had like 5% health left or whatever. Outsmarted, outplayed, I know. Kazrak the mastermind. I was so greedy. I was greedy. I mean, I should have moved him in normal sense first and then switched to um, Force March after I'd moved, you know, the right amount. Look at this bad look at this badass. I love warrior priests, they just look so just, you know, beastly. Where's that hero? Where's the hero? Did he die from attrition or something? Oh man, look at the um Yeah, well. There is still that conclave of light tech with the Elector. What's what's that one do, Jungle Bear? 
Oh, the one that lets you um, increase relations with um, foreign factions. All right, well, that was my first uh, first major goof. Calfran's Calfran, what's going on with this albino, this albi albino uh, wagon driver guy? <laughs> That's not normal, is it? He's, he's missing a texture or something. This is I don't, this is not the build that you guys are going to get. There's going to be a patch before you guys get the final build. No, I didn't put the hero in the army. How I was gonna proceed? move. I was gonna move him separately. Directly. Take them before they get to battle. Yeah. Give him a flogging. And damage some more of his units. Then. All right. Let's. Um. I mean, I wish I could get a noble. Why can't I get a noble lord? It's bogus. Well, I can replace the I can replace the regal lord again with another regal lord. This is better than nothing. True servant of Sigma. All right, I'm spending all of that money on that. Yes, my lord. Oh, here we go. Yeah, nice. So now they took Grung Zin. That means I can sell them Blackstone Post. And they want it real bad. Beautiful. Cool. Um, I could have actually... I could probably actually trade that for something if I wanted to take some of theirs, their land. But, um, but no, I don't really want that. I just want the Alliance. And I don't really want to hold on to this because it's orange. Even though it's got iron. A wise move. Hey, Landola, they still take 10 to 15 turns to recruit a single unit, but if you if you manage your um, if you if you manage to um, free or like take control of all of the empire and free everything, you get 30 percent reduction. So it only takes like 10 turns or whatever instead of 15, and you can use the. Requisition um, decree to um, replenish the replenish it instantly, uh, but you can only do it once every fifteen turns. But but you can also get an upgraded version of this that I think you can do more often, maybe every ten turns or something. So you still only get them slowly, but but yeah. But there's a lot there's a lot of them though. So like to the provinces. Praise be to Sigma. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so if you had all of them, like, yeah, you can only get them once every 15 turns, but you can get 13 of them every 15 turns, you know, and then every, and then once every 10 turns, you can refresh it as well. So you can actually, so that basically doubles it. So instead of being able to get 13 every 15 turns, you get 23 of them every 15 turns. So by the time you get to turn 100, you know, you'd have... You know, two hundred regiment, two hundred regiments of uh, electric count stuff, but yeah, trying to get a full stack of one type is going to take you a while. Protector of the weak. I will marshal the men. Raise Sigma. Mm. Minor comet. Yes, to unite the provinces. What? Who calls? Ready to serve. Hey, Andy Warren. Oh, thanks, buddy. How's the uh, how's the videos doing? I'll check my uh, check my analytics. Oh yeah, 1.8 thousand people have watched the Empire Rework video, and 1.6 thousand people have watched the Gelt video. That's pretty good. View views are up for today. 
Mercy is a true hero of the Empire. Thanks, Andy Warren. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, yeah, I want to recruit some more troops. Uh, all right, let's. I guess we can give this guy another chance, even though his predecessor uh, suicided my brand new crossbowman. Oh yeah, halberdiers now are available just in the normal barracks, which is cool. Like, so yeah, you can get halberdiers in here without needing the without needing. Oh, actually, that was did they change that a while ago? Yeah, so you don't need a um, you don't need a smithy to get great swords and halberdiers, but I think maybe they changed that a while ago actually. Um, But yeah, I generally like it. The only thing I'm... Yeah, I just wish Free Company were more um, available. I look like an Empire Captain with a beard. Nice. What does the Emperor bid? Hmm. I serve Sigma. So if he was in Force what March... Yeah, no, you can't make it. All right, we'll respec him out. And um, Carl Franz will use the scribe to give him some extra campaign movement range. Actually, he can use his scribe. Items wise, uh, city and trinkets we'll get rid of. Don't usually worry about spell resistance. And we'll equip him with the Dawnstone. And the armor of meteoric iron. <clears throat> You like all the gunpowder units being in the same building? Yeah, I think the new buildings are alright. Did you try using the sea lanes for your armies to keep them in Cathay? What? Which arm? What armies? Oh, you mean put put your army in the sea lane so they can't be teleported? No, I didn't. That's clever. Summon the elector counts. Yeah, it's a clever idea, Silver. Yeah, no, I hadn't thought of that. Um, there isn't really a sea lane that's very close, though. You'd have to, um, yeah, it's kind of, it'd be kind of a, no, nah, yeah, it's not, probably not worth it, though. Because, like, you can get the dilemma by turn eight and teleport back to the Empire or whatever you want to do. But if you wanted to, like, hide an army that was worth anything in a sea lane, it would take you a bunch of turns to get there. And then you'd have to have more army to actually do the fight that you need to do to get the dilemma. Um, you know what I mean? It would just be a massive fuck around. No, nah, I think that I think you're better off, like I said, either using diplomacy to borrow armies and then retake a settlement back in Cathay after you go, or stay in Cathay and use diplomacy to confederate your way back to the Empire. Uh, I, I don't know if Carl got any new voice lines, but we're playing Carl now, so if he does have any new ones, you might um you might get to hear him. So. Huntsman General, for now, no further. Oh yeah, I wonder if um this so experienced hunter, range plus twelve percent for huntsmen and archers, bonus versus large ammo for huntsmen and archers. Yeah, so normally their range is one hundred and twenty, so twelve percent should be another like fourteen, so I'd make it like one hundred and thirty four. But I think somebody was saying that um, they, it's, it was bugged in the live version where it was actually giving them. Um, what does the emperor beat to the provinces? <laughs> um, it was actually giving them like um, more like 160 range or something like that. Huntsman general. Oh, you've got our plus two recruitment now. Oh, 
Um, yeah, I might, I might actually build an outpost in Karun. Um, and we can, um, so we can potentially get some Grail Knights later on. I think that'd be really cool to have some like visiting Grail Knights, you know, hanging out with our, um, with our foot slogger armies. That sick amethyst mage, Elspeth von Draken. It seems. Kislev. Protector of the realm. These lands are ours. I never. And add to. All right. Yes. Hail to Leon Core. How can the Empire aid you in that's such a yeah, that's a really clever um yeah, that's a really clever idea though, Silver. But yeah, I don't think it yeah, I don't think it would be really be pra of a much practical value to do it, but it's cool uh, it's a cool idea. We're strength rank 151 now. I was strength rank like 60 or something at one point, I think. I've fallen behind the curve. Because I would have resolved. Yeah, null nine sites have handguns. They don't have not repeater, not repeater guns. Um, I, I don't know what their deal is. I uh, yeah, um, I can look up the wiki. Null Ironsides are one of those most numerous of the famed iron companies of Nuln. Clad in heavy plate armor and armed with master wrought black, black powder firearms, the Nuln Ironsides are amongst the most widely respected and well equipped handgunner regiments within the Empire. Yeah, so they're just handgunners, but they've got um, heavy, heavy plate armor. And their guns are extra good. So I'm guessing they, yeah, they might have slightly better range stats and better armor, but probably Probably not very good melee stats or anything. Hey, satisfy the grudge. Uh, yeah, I have played the new dwarfs, um, but I can't talk about the DLC. I can only talk about the free LC stuff. Bring me to my men. It is time. <laughs> Uh, these guys have the not left. Who calls in the name of Magnus? Um. Praise be to Sigma, champion of the faith. Um, Champion of the Faith. Hmm. I will go. The nation calls. Drucken. I will obey. Praise Sigma. Drucken, we'll be able to take this. Waste my time with petty talk. Make without too much trouble. Doesn't look like they got any artillery, the unless they've got some in this army. Which they might. True servant of Sigma. Moving out. The Empire. Yes, my lord. Hey, Dijon. How's the stream guy? I don't know. Well, I guess that's up to you. You're the you're the audience. I'm just here to I'm just the humble bard. I'm here to perform. It's up to you to decide how worthy I am. Ready. Um I mean I don't know if I really want to fight this army here, but I feel like our plan like requires that we fight this army, now. so I have to fight this army. Why won't that let me attack? Seems weird. On. 
on march do i know where daniel is now daniel's still in the same place isn't he i didn't think he'd moved the nation calls yeah i feel like this is going to be rough but Don't waste my time with petty talk. it is Make what it is stinking humans so you piece of get out agree all right let's rock let's rock these marion burgers we'll teach them to secede to the empire secede from the empire i mean they need to get spanked protector of the weak your word is my command i am prince into battle servant of the faith Daniel's somewhere next to village. Oh, really? My journey begins. Huntsman General. Quicker, man. Oh, crap. I forgot about Fort Berbera's. I will marshal the band. Track and track. Um, shite. I no, can't move out of troops through. Uh, whoops. It's just because uh, he's because he was standing there. I just kind of like thought, oh yeah, Britannia's got it or something. I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, what have we got? It's not a super impressive army. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Fight for our nation. Men, we must attack. Might be gal time. Yeah, it's like, alright guys, well now we're gonna get on with the totally scheduled gelt set of gelt stuff. Praise be to Sigma. Cast evil out! I see no other option. Sigma compels us onward. I am the blood of Sheen. Who calls? Huntsman General. Received. Keep the pace. Yes. It is for the best. Ready. Hmm. All right. Summon the Elector Counts. The nation calls. What does the Emperor bid? It's up to, uh... Sigma. Into the wild! Into the... This is what we've trained for! The Empire. Moving off. Oh, what? Oh, what? They, oh, they, what the fuck? Oh, apparently you can just. What? Apparently you can just. Um, yes. I am prince and emperor. Apparently you can just walk through. They can walk through the um, fortresses now. Close in and kill. That's weird. Normally, so normally, sorry yeah, for anyone who's not familiar with fortresses. Normally, um, if it's a normal settlement, you can siege lock it. That gets rid of its um, that gets rid of this red um area around here where the you know its zone of control. Um, but um, but with fortresses, even if you siege it, if you walk through their zone of control, they basically attack you. But for some reason, we it didn't attack it me. Time? So all good, I guess. My orders are to move.
to the provinces. To battle, let us move. I will marshal the men. Move! Oh, he does have a he does have a mortar. What does the Emperor bid? Yes. Battle positions! Strike first! Strike fast! They still attack you if they know they can't win. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Fate shields us. Um this doesn't look very good, but I feel as though Sigmar is with hmm. us. Vigilant. I will not balk. I will do anything for Sigma. How much, um... Borg for the... Sigma's... All right. Man, we still don't have vision on the... I am the blood. Yes. We need vision on Cathay so that we can... One rug. Get heaps of cash from them. <laughs> what? Oh no! Before who call? So. Sigma's will. I will listen, but my time is short. As you say, sir. Sell some wars right. to anyone yes. that we think what? we can get away with. Who calls? Amethyst guardian. Uh, do you know? Protect valiant. I don't really want to start a war with Grom yet. No, I don't want to start a war with any like major factions that are likely to be in contact with me in the short term. What? Doctor on call. The the blog. Yeah, yeah. We looked at the blog for briefly earlier. See as it sees it. Silver. Um. Servant of the faith. I go where I am needed. Protector of the weak. Hey, we got a noble. Arch lector. Well, I kind of need him back here, but that's all right. Let the supplicant come forward. Servant of Sigma. I need a little bit more cash. Just a chintzy bit. This is what we've trained for. Welcome. How fares the Emperor in these dark times? Close in and kill. <laughs> the Empire. To battle! By Sigma! Should, uh, should I try and... Should I try and win this battle, or... I don't know. I mean, I, I just feel like it's... Here. We're kind of pretty heavily Burns outgunned. Yeah, um... Champion of the faith. I don't know, minus 25. What are these guys going to give me another 38? 
Yeah, so we should be still not broke, right? I think the Witch Hunters are, are better. I'm not sure if they're super good. Try and win, yeah. I'm pr I mean, it might it might be possible, but... Yes. Let Sigma's will. Uh, I could go to war with the scaling, but I don't know. They could be a pain in the butt. No, they probably won't be, though. Greetings, my countrymen. It's a bit of a calculated risk, but I, don't, I really don't want to be taking attrition from. Um, I really don't want to be taking attrition, so. Sir? Bring me to battle! I kind of want to raise another lord here as well, but. Not sure if that would be. Six hundred. Ah, oh, fucking yeah. This will bolster the nation. Get him in there. I will marshal the men. All right. Uh, oh no, I think I've broken. I've made myself broke again. Um. Fuck. All right. Let's see. We'll sell one more. Yes. So, one more. Will. Who else are we gonna go to war with? All right. Already war with him. The Empire. Dryker. Yes. Could maybe get a war with Dryker. I feel like that's a be a bad idea though. Armor. Uh, Lord, do you know who I am? I'll go Armor with those uh, minor beastmen. Yeah. For Northman, I, I thirst. This night, the first. Who's those minor beastmen of Stirland or something? So, yeah, there we go. Ridhorn tribe, all right. I will listen, but my time is short. Sigma's right. will. I think we're good now. Started with Merenberg on turn eight. Well, I, I intended to finish it on turn eight as well, but we, uh, we ran into some difficulties. I was honestly hoping that I'd get away with it because they wouldn't. Um, I was hoping I'd get away with it because they wouldn't. Um, they, I was hoping they wouldn't be there. And we could just um, sneak it, sneak attack it. All uh, right, what are we doing here? Support Wissenland in Nuln's argument. Uh, I think I'm going to support Wissenland just because I don't want to get them to it. I don't want them to run the risk of attacking me. All righty. Raise Sigma. Arch Lecter. All right, let's try this one more time. I am France. They will obey. Attack. Ready. Sigmarite Arch Lecter, guided by Sigma. Now, we march! I serve the Heldenhammer! Yes, my lord. This will bolster the nation. Praise be to Sigma! Get training! To the provinces. True servant of Sigma. I live to serve the Emperor. Going forth. Champion of the faith. Sigma lightens my steps. Men. 
Then. Okay. Now, surely this should be enough to get it done. Hopefully. Um, yeah, we could we could use an ambush lord as bait, um, but um, I don't want to wait another turn. I didn't have enough movement to do it last turn. I think. <clears throat> yeah, although I don't know if I want to face those like six units of cavalry on the on the field anyway. It might be easier to deal with it if it's in a settlement. Let's see if the AI knows how to use six cavalry units versus ten shooters. Yeah, well, if we were, if we were, um, if it was a um, a field battle, then yeah, it would be pretty nasty, I think. It's actually pretty close, I guess. It's pretty good. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Um <clears throat> I'm not sure if we can if we can waste the ammo on their artillery, um, then that would be pretty good. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible or not, though. With haste. Quickly, Fleet. Waste their ammo on their guns. Swiftly. Apparently. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's working too well because I think we're I think we're taking more damage than the. I think they're still getting their ammo's worth out of it. Yeah, I can't see their artillery, so I think they must be still ranging it. They must be ranging inside the walls. Wild heart. Mm. Take the ground. Ready. No battle. To battle. All right, so we'll climb the walls. We'll kill their two heroes. Quick march, moving. Oh, crap! Thanks, Anthony Caputo. Yeah, they turned the default. Fuck yeah! No, they turned off. 
So they there's a new another new thing I forgot to tell you guys about, which I'd completely forgotten about. Um, they've now made the normal legendary autosave a special mode called like Iron Man mode or hardcore mode or something like that. Um, and the def they've changed the default um, thing to like uh, normal auto saves. So it auto saves at the end of every turn. Um, yeah, it's, that's actually a big deal because if um, we get a crash or something, I can't automatically, um, you know, I can't automatically um, go back to the start of the battle. I'd, I'd lose the whole turn. So yeah, that's actually really shit. Um, it doesn't like, it doesn't like matter too much to my campaign because I can just, you know, I, I can control myself. <laughs> I can play Iron Man even if it wasn't on Legendary, you know. Um, but, uh, well, you know, only because you guys are watching. But, um, but yeah, but having to redo the whole turn if it crashes is pretty shit. Yeah, there's no real Legendary anymore. Like, you have to make your own Legendary out of all of the, um, out of all the other, so yeah, so if you want to play Legendary now, it's Legendary, it's Legendary Strategy, Very Hard Battle, Max AI Cheats, Iron Man Mode, which that's, all that stuff I just said then is what they used to just call Legendary. Now Legendary Campaign Difficulty is still there, but I'm saying in terms of, get, in terms of playing Legendary, you have to do all that stuff I just said. You have to just... Well, it's not... That, that's, it sounds like... Oh my god, you must be playing, like, some ultra hardcore mode. It's like, no, that's just normal legendary. They just split up... They just split up legendary into, like, eight parts now. They have to activate all of them. But yeah, I had intended to put it on hardcore, but... Oh, no, I wasn't... He went up by himself, and he wasn't... Wasn't ready... Yeah, Carl Franz is gonna get fucked up. Trying to get him out of there, but. They're killing there with their own mortars. That's good. We are That's now this guy's gonna. That's an order. I think Carl's gonna get killed. So this is problematic. Oh, my Empire Captain got wrecked as well. Yeah, Carl's screwed.
Yeah, Carl's fucked. Um, I don't know if we're gonna win this one, eh? Yes, General. Understood. The Amber Order, the Empire, pray for glory. Rip and tear. Carl's dead. Kill that prick, that'd be good. No, they got him. Trying to let them use their own artillery to kill him. Hopefully. This um, Empire Captain, we need to shoot him. But, um. Now, the towers are too good. The towers are killing our guys. I need that mortar. Ready to serve. As you say, in the now, yeah, if we're going to have them inside, we need to fight over here so the towers are blocked. Eager for battle. Sigma exultant. At once, battle ready. Quickly now, immediately. With speed. It is an order. At once. Sigmar is with me! For the Empire! For the Empire! Bastille strength! Hmm. Um. Fighting range, sir! Yes, my lord! He's gonna kill both of them, isn't he? Probably. Awaiting orders without delay. Quickly now, with haste, at speed, quick march, as you say. Double time. I have my orders. Yeah, they've still got mortars. I want to. I want to put the handgunners in the walls, but yeah, they've still got their mortars up, so. Not sure if it's a good idea. With haste. By the twin tailed comet. Ready 
Yeah, we can't. Can't handle that guy. The archers are wrecking him, but he's ev he's evading us a little bit. Withdraw. Yeah, maybe. I'll wait till I use my ammo first. Oh, did they actually hit him? No, I don't think so. I think he just he evaded. Yeah, he's doing a good job of wasting all of our ammo. Very well. Hey, Atta, how you going, buddy? Where's their mortar? We've got ammo left, hasn't it? I don't know where it is. Awaiting your command. As you say. Missiles ready. Conditions acceptable. We are Sigma's heirs. Taking aim. Quick march. Keep him alive so we can use his buff later on, that'd be good. Our weapons are yours. If we can get these guys in the doorway, if we get the door open and get them in the doorway later on, that'd be good. Seems to be missing him mostly, but I'll try and hide him behind a building so he can survive. Carl, um, Carl is tired. He's had a little sleep. He's having a rest. Right, 
Oh, pro. Uh, I tried to. I was trying to attack the door on the outside, obviously. And this, he, yeah, he fucking went inside. And I've got all sorts of problems occurring. Fuck. This is bad. This is bad. No, both our generals are dead. Um, I really want to try and win this, but the both those two generals are both on like five percent health, and if I leave now, they'll live, I think. But if I don't, if I don't leave now, they'll probably die. So yeah, I think I just took, so because these guys are both level six or seven, so I feel like it's actually worthwhile trying to save them. Um, hopefully they won't die in the auto resolve or whatever. Yeah, Carl Franz, Carl Franz uh, bought the farm. Oh, they stole my armor of meteoric armor. Uh, my armor of meteoric iron. Oh, uh, Emil von Corden fucking was executed as well. We killed the foul, the foul miscreant Emil. We actually did more damage to them than they did to us. Tactician? Uh, Tactician's really crap. I don't really want any of these huntsmen though. Aggressive, I don't really want. Although that guy has got a sweet beard. Actually, this guy's cunning. We've already we've already paid for him. He doesn't cost us anything, so might as well take him. Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, they've got their artillery again still, unfortunately, which is annoying. Strike first! Fast. Um, luckily we still yeah we still have enough movement to go back and have another try. Sigma. What level is this guy? Level three. Oh, he gets his horse at ring four. Crap. This is what we trained for. The definition of insanity. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What does the emperor bid? It is the definition of insanity, isn't it? Sigma compels us. Weapons at the ready. All right, Ty. Um, Ty Laughing Fall is gonna is gonna have to have a rest because otherwise he's gonna die. 
so we'll respec him out. Look at this hat. Look at that magnificent hat he's got. Look how pen Let's just have a moment to enjoy the panache of Ty laughing for. Look at him. Glorious. All right. Yeah, the um the Nurgle free LC Lord is not part of the DLC. He's free LC for everybody. Ooh, another noble. Jamotheus. To strengthen the Empire. The noble doesn't this was one of my this is one of my favorite characters actually. Yes, one of my favorite models, sorry, with the um the sweet lamb chops mustache and the um floppy hat and everything. So good. Um I live to serve the Emperor. Hey Danny Stranger again, buddy. How those, um, how those, um, wild pigs treating you? I serve Sigma. Yeah, this guy Champion was already, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this guy was on the edge of his range already. Where's he used to get attrition? Oh, without supplies here, right? Arch Lecter. Here to serve. Protector of the weak. I serve the Heldenhammer. Um. More wild pigs in the freezer. Very good. Very good. Honestly, I'm more excited for reworks. It looks like a brand new game. This is how Total War Warhammer 3 should have been released. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm. I love. Re I love reworks, man. Because because the thing with re like with the thing with reworks is like the reworks are like your old favorite factions getting like better, whereas the new DLC is always like some new lord that you probably don't care about. You know, like that they're gonna try to make you want. You know, whereas Fr Franz is like you know the OG. All right. Um, I know we already scraped the bottom of the barrel. Oh, actually, we could sell some. Let's sell some ancillaries. <laughs> I haven't done this for a while. Let's sell sell some ancillaries. Zealots. Yeah, I can afford, I can afford to sell a few zealots. Two hundred gold. Tollkeeper. When am I going to use that? Honestly. Seaman. High attrition. Higher seas attrition. Yeah. When are we going to use that? Never going to get any use. Uh, militiamen. Yeah, well, that's useless. Fuck it. Uh, burger. I like burgers. They're pretty good. Agitators are pretty good. All right. We got 1,100. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. All right. What do you reckon? Another archer? Like a bowman lord? Or a melee lord? Oh, disciplined. Nice. Oleg Toddbringer. Ever vigilant. Arch Lecter. Honored to serve. Combat awaits! We can still, um, I actually, we can sell Castle Artois as well once we, once, uh, we can get a heap of cash from that. East, to deign to visit. Uh, I hope so you bring glad tight. What about Baston? What do Sigmar's sorry gets need from the valiant knights of Prince? Or Lannis. Honor bef bow before the rightful lords of this land, and I'll hear your demands. Yeah, so we can sell it to one of them. Yeah, there's skill changes for the lords and heroes. They, uh, I like all the updates, they're pretty cool. 
Hey, Danny Strange, welcome, welcome back to the Patrons of the Sciences. Please enjoy your veteran crew ahead. We have them now. Yeah, I'm interested in trying out the new plague stuff, but um. So. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna. I might wait till Tamakan's available to play. Oh, these knights are a pain in the balls, aren't they? See, that might have that first battle might have gone all right if we had of um. If I had have waited for my all my lords to get together and sent them all up onto the wall together, like sending Franz up so early so that he got killed was like yeah it was pretty bad. Um, if he had have if I had have sent him up last and sent out the tankier ones first and you know he could have buffed for longer and you know he probably still would have died but if he'd taken longer to die it would have taken the other two longer to die and you know longer to get wrecked. But you know live and learn. Um... Should we just do the same thing? I'm not really sure what to do about the knights. So we can do the same thing to hopefully clear some of their infantry. But then once the knights... Um, once the knights come out to play, what do we do then? Hey Deno, uh, this is 5.0, this is the new patch. This is the patch that's coming out with Thrones of Decay. Uh, I'm not allowed to show the Thrones of Decay DLC stuff yet, but this is the rework of the new Empire. There's a link in the there's a link in the chat. Um, it's like a 10 minute video where I cover like everything about the rework and pretty much that I can think of showing in there. I think I think I pretty much covered everything in there. It's uh, if it's not everything, it's at least a pretty quick primer on like a lot of the coolest and most important stuff. But yeah, Carl Franz is cool now. Well, he was cool before, but now he's like, mm, yeah, better. Um, I don't know if I should try to. Yeah, I think this corner is the best place to attack. I think I'm gonna waste their ammo a bit while we wait for our allies to come. Yeah, Gotrick and Felix are heroes now, so if we can get Carl Franz up to rank 17, then we can do the quest battle to get Gotrick and Felix. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, get it done today, maybe. Yeah, I did one video for Gelt and one video for Carl Franz. Um, and yeah, they both pretty much have got everything in there that I could think of. Hey, Dominic. You'll make it this time. Never give up. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for that vote of confidence. I'll check out how successful of an ammo wasted this guy is. These guys love him. They like he's like a bullet magnet. They can't help themselves. They're like we know we can't hit him, but I just love shooting at him so much. I gotta keep shooting. When those reinforcements came on, they ruined it. <laughs> Godtrick and Felix are proper heroes, permanent, with skill trees. Um, they have really pretty cool skills as well. They do have skill trees, yep. And they have pretty cool skills. Godtrick's got a skill kind of like the Witch Hunter one, where when he's if he's within um, 10 meter radius or something of a creature that causes um, terror, he gets extra bonuses. So it's like when he's got like a worthy foe, you know, like a like a giant or um, something, then he actually gets more souped up, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, I think we... Yeah, I think they stopped shooting. All right. Let's, um... Should we put these melee lords? Oh, they haven't got any lords left. They haven't got any heroes left. We killed them all. That's cool. You, you, you wait. Till the other guys come on. We're not going to make that mistake this time. Don't have any buffs this time, unfortunately. Yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, I think they just did... Um, I think they've done a really good job on this, on this free LC update. And I'm so happy about it. I was, yeah, the the lack of um, free LC updates was the thing that has disturbing me the most about the recent stuff that's been going on with CA. Um, it just felt bad, you know? Whereas now, like, yeah, this, given these factions, like, really good updates like this just makes it feel like, I don't know, like they really care, I guess, and like they're really making a really good effort and stuff. What the? Uh, this guy's been shooting the whole time. Crap. He's been wasting his ammo. He could have, um... We could have had him shoot the, um... Could have had him shoot the cavalry. And check these um, these archers. Are they archers? Like they seem like they're shooting machine guns or something. Not sure what's going on there. These guys have stalk. Is he invisible? There he is now. All right, yeah, their mortars, their mortars are shooting their own guys. So that's good. Um, hey, you dangerous, Dave. Is their mortar still shooting? I don't like their leadership being like down at half like that, but it's all right, I guess. Is their mortar? Oh, yeah, their mortar's down to a third of a third ammo. It's good. And these guys are taking damage though. How long is this last for? Oh, yeah. Pretty long time. Ah, this new lord's getting fucked up. Yeah, right. We'll kick this door in, and then we'll put our guns over there. Hopefully, we can take out some. Right, they they're gone. Wait. 
waiting orders. No. Now I'm gonna try and put these two guys here. So then they won't be able to get shot by the towers. And hopefully they can kind of get those. Hopefully they can kind of get those cavalry. Yeah, they're because they're infantry, they're going to keep getting knocked over and punted everywhere and stuff. Um, remember, this is not going to do too much to these cavalry, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Him. Yeah, these cavalry are not sticking around. What has it still got? Climb over and commit. Commit to this. Uh... <laughs> just neat. Just got away before those knights got me. Now this uh, this mortar attack that's coming in now it's going to be pretty brutal. I don't know if we're wasting our ammo again. Maybe I should hold off. They're nearly out of ammo. We might get it. The Empire is perfect now. It's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel as well. Just, yeah, I feel like they just fixed, they fixed the Empire, yeah. And it's just really cool. Alright, we're at the walls, um, but... But, um, but yeah, their towers are going to shoot us, so we need to, um, yeah, we need to get, to get some shit happening. Is our artillery done now? Nearly. Gates are open here. Amber wizard. The mortars got one ammo left. Yeah. All right, we're gonna shoot one more time. Do you know if Kalida can hire Gotrig and Felix now? No, nah, no idea if I do. Um, I don't. I wouldn't think so though. Why would Kalida get Gotrig and Felix? Did they have an adventure where they met up with her or something? Yeah, they've still got a bit of stuff in here, you know. We've got one artillery left on the mortar still. No, mortar's out. All right. Um, yes. All right. Maybe we'll just try and try and blob away. Yes. Oh, here we go. We're getting some gunshots going. That's what we want. Yes, 
The Empire! Standing by! Like, oh, there's some ladders at the other end of the settlement. We gotta go and find those ladders. We can climb them. It's like, do you really? Couldn't you just... Yeah, this is what we want. Guns shooting the cavalry. That'll act. I wonder if that'll be accurate. Yeah, I think this is happening, maybe. Maybe. Should I try and... I kind of want to blow up one of these barricades, but I feel like it's going to take ages and really suck. Kalita hides them. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I like the idea of Kalita being kind of like a good guy. That's right. Fucking easy. Fucking pussies. I don't even know why they even bothered to put up a fight. They should just open the gate straight away. There's never. They never had a chance. <laughs> well, the cost in men was great, but the glory was greater. The glory. I haven't done a, I haven't done a, um, I haven't done a, um, what do you call it, a retreat and retreat in ammo replenish victory like that for a long time. I did it, Dominic. I know it was, it was thanks to your encouragement, no doubt. Um, so yeah, we've got another 362 prestige. Very nice. If I read Gotrick and Felix books, will I be able to find some inspiration for D&D &D campaigns? Um, yeah, 
Yeah, pretty much. I feel like the first few books of Got Trick and Felix just are, they basically are like D&D adventures. Yeah, I feel like Troll Slayer is pretty much just like a Dungeons and Dragons type adventure. They meet, it's like, it's classic, it's like they meet in a tavern, they're on a, they're on the, you know, they're on a trip. There's a lot of taverns in, involved. They hear some rumors there, you know. Update's going live in a couple of weeks. So yeah, but yeah, so you might want to play something else apart from Dwarfs or Empire for the next couple of weeks. All right. Um, so yeah, so the reason the reason I was so intent on taking Marienburg, although it is good to take Marienburg anyway or whatever, the real reason I wanted to take Marienburg was just to show it off what, based on the same thing that I showed in the... Uh, same thing that I showed in the video that you can once you take a settlement you can um, you can uh, appoint one of your characters to be the elector of that province so we'll we'll um, we'll appoint Ty Laughing Laughing Fall he's the only true noble in our nice. in our um, in our posse so he's now the he's now my elector of the wasteland but um and as long as he doesn't die or and I don't make him the elector of a different province, the game will sort of consider him to always be the elector of Wasteland. So I can actually sell this. I can sell Marienburg back to Marienburg, and then the normal elector of Marienburg will take over again. But at the same time, it'll still rate me as being the elector. So now I've got um, the ability to recruit um, the ability to recruit the Borderman Outriders. And uh, yeah, and even once I sell Marienburg back to Marienburg, I'll still keep that. So, I mean, it, you can argue it'd be a good idea to just keep Marienburg for myself because it's quite a rich, um, quite a rich province. But yeah, I'm playing this kind of like no confederation, no conquering of the empire kind of thing. So basically, all of the all of the empire factions, even Marienburg, even though Marienburg are technically rebels that should really be crushed under the Karl Franz's boot heels, um, in my like law friendly version of Warhammer, you know, for various reasons he's unable to do it because of their powerful uh, their powerful merchant backing or whatever or whatever. Um, but um, but yeah, my objective in this campaign is for basically every province to have their native lands that they should normally have. So Stirland be Stirland, Avaland is all Avaland, Wissenland and Soland all be under um, Elspeth. Um, but we can take back, like we could take back Drakenhof we could claim that for ourselves or we could give it to or we could give it to Stirland because as far as the game's concerned these are native Stirland lands that belong to the Elector of Stirland um, and then there's all these other little places like the Griffin Wood we could take that for ourselves um, you know the Brass Keep um, uh, the Black Pit Laurel on Forest Wrecker's Point you know, we could take all these for ourselves if we wanted to, um, or we can give them back to the electors or, or whatever. But um, but yeah, my objective is to try to keep all these guys as allies and try to manipulate them to help me and stuff like that. But you guys are probably know that trying to play with allies is pretty frustrating because they're not very good generally and stuff. But um, but yeah, that's sort of like going to be just, it's an extra level of difficulty basically to the campaign, I guess. Um, it's sort of like a combination of, it's sort of like if you're playing like single settlement, like where you can only have one settlement, you can't conquer anything else. It's kind of like that, but not quite as bad because we can't actually conquer stuff, but we just can't conquer any of the lands that would be the easiest and most convenient for us to conquer, which is all the empire lands. So it's kind of like a semi-challenge campaign, but the point of it is not really to be a challenge campaign. It's just because I like... I just, I just like, I like the, I like to be the emperor, you know. I don't want to be like some weird tyrant that conquers everything. What does the emperor bid? I'm prince and emperor. True servant of Sigma. Where next? You yeah, so Marienburg is Sigma's. already willing to peace out with us, even without us even selling the Marienburg back. So we'll do As that. You say, sir. Um, I'm not sure with Marienburg, I'm not sure if they count as a elect account. So I'm not sure if we can bring them back to life like we can with the other factions. Um, yeah, I'm not, yeah, if you could before, then I'm, you probably still can, but I, yeah, I can't remember whether you could or not. You dare come at 
me making demands? Call yourself men of the Empire? Yeah, so we can trade this to them to make them our make them our ally. But we could also wait till they get more money. Is forbidden. So I wanted, I sort of wanted to sell um, Castle Artois to Bretonia. But they don't have enough money. We can still, we can get 2,000 out of them, but... Um, Uh, maybe I will sell it to Britannia because I feel like it's there's almost not really much point selling anything to the minor factions because they're just going to die anyway. Welcome. How fares the Emperor in these dark times? Yeah, so he's, he hasn't enough money to give me um, what I want for it. So, but what I can do is trade it for some money and Grung's Zint. And then I can sell Grung's Zint to him as well. Um, actually, can we trade some Grung, Grung Zint as well? Yeah, and then we can sell him Grung's Zint for Blackstone Post, plus we tax him another 2,000 gold. And we can just keep doing this probably indefinitely. A wise move. But uh, I won't, though. No, 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 not indefinitely, but yeah, that was that was about it, really. Uh, we got a good few thousand gold out of it, anyway. And also yeah. pumped up his relations hugely, so he loves us now. Do we know anything about the Nemesis crowd, Dors Crown Dawson? Did they did they um, say anything about it in the blog post or anything? I don't think I saw anything about it in the blog post when I looked at it before. Nah, they haven't said anything about it yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not going to be in this update. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's now or never. They hinted it last week. Oh, okay. So it is going to be. Maybe they're just not going to give it to us until they've like... Maybe it's going to be one of the things later in the in the hype train, you know? The Emperor will be pleased. Um, oh, actually, I want. I think I want Fort Berberas. Fort Berberas. To untamed lands. Yeah, I think I'll sell them. I think I'll sell the Marienburg in exchange for Fort Berberas. I don't know. Maybe I'll let him keep it. Warrior of Sigma. All right, let's um, we'll respec out a bunch of these lords. By the comet, Sigmarite Archlector, the Empire, Tracker of Distinction, Huntsman General. We'll trim down our armies a little bit. Scout Leader, the Nation Court. Protector of the weak. I will marshal the men. Ready. <clears throat> I wonder if we should recruit some halberds this time around. I do like me some halberds. When does he get early access? Um, this is early access right now. This is the new up. This is the um the new patch five point zero. Um, but I'm just under NDA at the moment, so I can't talk about any of the DLC stuff. Only the rework stuff. 
But uh, but yeah, this is the this is the new content. Uh, I really want this stuff so I can get the kettles cool, but we can't unlock that until level twelve. Oh, we're nearly level twelve now, actually. I might just re I might save the rest of my points. Yeah, they revamped the Imperial Authority mechanic. I've linked I've linked the video in the chat there that kind of goes through and explains pretty much everything about it, um, and a few a few little tips and tricks and stuff. So we're we're up to three thousand three hundred eighty six prestige. Um, yeah, I'm being I'm being pretty conservative with it. Um, we do have a fair bit of money now though, so if we want, we could pump it up to tier four once we get. A bit closer. Like I could maybe drop. Um, yeah, maybe wait two turns till it gets to two growth. Then I'll pop another one to get it to three growth. Oh. Uh, hmm. Or maybe it'd be better to drop pop it now. And then by the time the cooldown's up. Do you reckon I should brush for tier four or don't worry about it? I don't know. Since we're kind of, we kind of have to go tall because we can't go wide that much, I guess. Yeah, I'll just pump, um, we'll push, push, put the growth up to two and then in five turns, it'll go to three. And then by the time that five turns is up, the cooldown will be off and then we can pop it to four instantly and save another eight turns of growth. Is Calfron's a good beginner faction now? Um, oh, the link should just be in the chat there, Paranoic. The, it's pinned in the Twitch chat. Uh, if you just go to my YouTube channel, it's like the latest two videos that I published there's one that's about Gelt and the other one's about the Empire Rework and Kalf Runs. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. Sorry if the link didn't work. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Silva. Appreciate it, buddy. You are, you are moderating. You're a moderator after all. Um... Praise be to Sigma, warrior of Sigma. Yeah, so I'll keep all these guys low level for now, I think, just to save, just because to avoid risk. I'm going to keep Gisaru for now, just to give us some extra trade income. I don't trust anybody except you as well. Burning Weed Nomads. These are the guys who, um, these are the guys where, who Gelt, where Gelt lives. In the name of the Dragon Emperor. Oh yeah, if we could, oh, if we can get an alliance with these, oh no. Uh, actually, no, I don't, uh, actually I didn't really want to do that because that'll make Gelt not like me, right? What? Oh, actually, I could declare war via them on Gelt. And then eventually peace out with Gelt and become Gelt's friend. That might work. All right. Or just maybe Gelt will always hate me. That should also work. Celestial ancestors. It is my sacred duty to welcome you to Cathay. Unity, harmony... The Empire. Your traitor Count's mewlings are as pitiful as those of a kitten. <laughs> he's not he's not very impressed with me, by apparently. Um
Hmm. Can we... Yeah, no, I don't really want to declare war on them. I didn't really want to declare war on Gel either. I just was trying to make contact with him so we can potentially confederate him later. Can we... Um... Right, so Gelt doesn't count as one of our electors at the moment, but if we... Um... But if we get the technology that allows us to do foreign... Foreign... Um... Yeah, if we get Conclave of Light that allows us to do um, all Empire, High Elf, etc, 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 then um, then we better use influence to to make um, Gelt love us. Yeah, exactly right. That's right, Kempers. I'll use Prestige to fix it. But um, the only thing is I am trying to save up 7,500 so I can get this one as well. Yeah, it's a good technology. I really like... I mean, I love the, I love the technology rework. I love... I love everything about Carl Franz pretty much so far. Uh, I haven't really found anything about it that I don't like. Yeah, the, the update's just good in every way pretty much, I think. So far. So far, so good. Alright, there's a chance that this guy's going to get ambushed and ganked by Kazrak, but hopefully what? not. Tracker of distinction. Oh yeah, he's saving his points. This guy is... The great outdoors. I feel like Marienburg should really only control Marienburg and the rest of the wasteland should belong to Nor Norland. Peacing out right after declaring war doesn't do anything to your reliability now. It's only if you peace out and then you declare war that it ruins your reliability. Hey Algol, what changed the start position so? What do you mean? You're talking about Balthazar Gelt? Balthazar Gelt's in a different starting position. And yeah, hi buddy, how you going? Alrighty, um... <clears throat> okay, so the next mission is to retake Karaburg and all of, basically all of Midland. Um... To untamed lands. Oh, I got another noble. The nobles are everywhere when you don't need them. The Empire. Arch Lector. Hmm. In order to take Karaberg, we're going to have to declare war on them, so we may as well. Champion of the Faith. Awaiting orders. All right, let's do to the provinces. I serve Sigma. Step to it. Servant of the faith. Now by Sigma. All right, let's do a bit of this. Guided by Sigma. This cheese. Now they'll see. Well, it's going to be a lot of. Uh, it's going to be a lot of prestige. So you got to think of it that way. Praise Sigma. This will bolster the nation. We march! Order to serve. Ever onward. <laughs> All right. Looks okay. Is it time? Yes. We got one out of ten, Sir. eighteen. Yes, my lord. 
We got space. Yeah, that's space. All right. Um. I will marshal the band. All right. This guy can get out, and he can uh, do the mount cheese to get his health back. Then this bad boy move. can move like that. Huntsman General, get a move on. Move out. True servant of Sigma. All right, it's all looking pretty solid. Weapon practice. How to proceed? Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Arch Lecter. I will do anything for Sigma. Protector of the weak. Hey, Merkel. Yeah, I think that in Geltz campaign, wizards got spellmaster at turn one without a landmark. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh, really? Um, I, mm, I don't. I don't remember there being. Yeah, I don't remember him getting spellmaster automatically or anything like that. He, there is a landmark that you get um, from the settlement that you take on turn one, but you need to have it at tier three to build a landmark. So yeah, I didn't get it until about, I don't know, turn 15 or 18 or something. I probably could have got it a lot earlier if I'd concentrated. But yeah, if on the first dilemma, if you choose to take the settlement at tier two, instead of otherwise you just get it at tier one, that's a good um, that's a good head start. And then, yeah, you need two growth to be able to get it from that to three, and then you got to build the building. And so yeah, it takes a while, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know of it, no. Did you see, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't I didn't notice having any spell mastery without it. But I wasn't paying attention, I guess. For the Emperor! Ah! Um What does the Emperor bid? Huntsman General! Oh, I stole their mortars. Fuck yeah, I didn't even notice that. From the video turn one, there's a symbol of spell mastery and attributes. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't even notice. Um, yeah. Store manual saves on cloud incremental auto saves. Yeah, so we've got this incremental auto saves thing going on. Um, and yeah, you can't change it. The so Iron Man mode is what you would want to play proper to play play proper um, legendary. Um, but um, yeah, you won't really activate it once the game started. So it doesn't say you can't do it, but then. You can't do it. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe it's because people think that Iron Man mode is like a... Like, if, yeah, it's weird. I feel like if you have Iron Man mode on, then you, maybe you shouldn't be able to take it off. But you should be able to put it on if you want. But I guess, yeah, whatever. Screwed up. But, um... Sorry, I just have a quick, quick little pause for a second. I've saved... I've saved our campaign there. Let's save it again to be sure. I'm not familiar with this. Uh, I'm not familiar with this saving business. Let's make sure it's done right. Yeah, you start off with Helmgard at the start of the at the start of the um, campaign. You don't need to take it. As I hold empires, the nation calls. Um, in the um, 
in the Gelt campaign, oh no, no, no. In the Gelt campaign, at the, like in the Gelt video, at the start of the video, I'm, it's not turn one. It's like turn 20 or something. But I'll just check it at turn one and see. That was the biggest reason. Um, yeah, they, that's right. They changed Legendary to not have the save restriction. So you can choose to have Iron Man on if you want, or you can play Legendary, but just have normal saves. You summon me. Yes, General. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so we don't have any we don't have any wizards yet. So does the other Gelt have it? Hey, Gelt's got spell mastery. There you go. Oh wait up! Unit attributes spell mastery hundred percent. So does that mean he just doesn't have it? That's weird. The Empire, Ulrich's will. Let us begin. Um, yeah, you can't get a new wizard until you take over a settlement, so we've got to take this first. And then we're going to get a Dilemma. And then... Um, none of this stuff gives you mastery. So we take Temple of Elemental Winds up tier 2. And now we've got a settlement. We can summon a wizard. Gold wizard. I think uh, gold wizards are new. I think they just came with the patch. Um, and no, they don't have mastery of the elemental winds. They have this thing called sp unit attributes spell mastery 100%. I think it's just a new way, a new thing that they put in. So it shows that you don't have mastery. Yeah, you know, so you, you're just that normal spell mastery 100%. Yeah. So yeah, it's not, not mastery of the elemental winds. That's right, as interesting little uh, thing to check out. Um, oh, actually, while we're here, I'll quickly... We'll have a little... Let's have a little intermission for a second. Gold Wizard looks dope. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I covered all that in the video, um, so I'm, I'm not going to go over it again right now. But I was going to just... Uh, quickly have a look at some dwarf action. I am Prince and this, this is a little bit of scouting as well, in case we want to do a dwarf campaign um, tomorrow or whatever. Uh, you have my axe. The gold wizard, he's just metal. Yeah, yeah. All of the new skills, I, like I went through every, every single skill. Um, on the um, on the video, but yeah, all of the wizards have a unique skill now, like the, not a, yeah, like a unique skill for their particular school of magic, and they're really powerful. Um, uh, yeah, like the 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 beast wizard, the one that we've got in the friends campaign, he gets two free hawk summons. Um, the shadow wizard gets like um, the ability to they they get like plus ambush chance for the for the army and stuff. Um, yeah, no, they all have like cool, cool ones. Yeah. This is a day to strike many grudges. What are you saying? I I showed the skills of each wizard in my Gelt video. <laughs> my Gelt video is my. Well, actually, I don't know if my Gelt video is good. Maybe my Gelt video is shit. I don't know. I'll see it done. Um, but yeah, so there's this, this is the, the dwarf thing, right? They've got now this age of reckoning, um, and it kind of goes through a certain number of turns and it tallies up how many grudges that you've like tallied up, you've accrued during that time, basically. And, um, 
And every time you kill a, every time you kill kill an enemy, that's the, that's how many grudges there were, three hundred and nine. So we go, we look up our book and we identify every character in this army and all the grudges they've done on, they've done against the dwarfs in the past and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then uh, yeah whatever. So basically that's how grudges works now. Every time you kill something, it's worth about a certain amount of grudges. It tallies up how many grudges you get, and then you get whichever like level of grudgeness that you achieve you get certain rewards from it um and the grudge book now so it shows you all this stuff so there's legendary lords so you can spend your grudge settled grudge points to confederate lords um and there's also grudge settlers that you can get as rewards if you do particularly well in this you get grudge settlers from these last Oh, from I guess from all of these you get some grudge settlers. They're kind of like um, they're kind of like regiments of renown, or no, they're, they're kind of like um, mercenaries, kind of like uh, elected count state units. They're kind of a little bit different from the standard units with their little extra bonuses. And then you got these legendary grudges, and each one of the legendary grudges is like a special kind of quest that you got to do. Um, and um, yeah, some of the notable things in here is the underway travel. Restores underway network between Azkalak and Karak Azorn. So it allows you to basically teleport to those regions. Um, but it's like the, it's sort of like the, um, yeah, underway restoration is, bog yeah, it's kind of like the tr the world roots thing. You can only, it gives you a cooldown and stuff. But there's another one that you can do. This one reduces the cooldown of the underway network travel by three turns. It's pretty cool. Um, this one I was wondering about. Unique Dwarf Lord is added to your recruitment pool. Who's the who's the unique Dwarf Lord? I don't know if anyone's... Um, yeah, it's like the World Roots, exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I, like I, I haven't really gotten deep into the Dwarf, so I'm not an expert on it. Um, but, um, but yeah, this I guess this just gives you an idea of, yeah, how much there's a lot... Like the Dwarfs have got a lot of cool stuff now. Um, yeah um really good update for the dwarfs i think maybe maybe not as i don't know which one's as awesome as the other one but yeah is it cooldown five turns normally i don't know i, I assume it would be like 10 or 10 or more turns but yeah maybe it's maybe it's less i don't know all right yeah i just did show it um but yeah but i'm um but yeah i want to play uh Carl Franz tonight but i just yeah thought if anyone was interested and they haven't checked it out yet just to give you an idea of like yes the dwarfs are also cool I haven't um, I haven't even looked slightly at the um, Nurgle stuff though, so I don't know much about that at all. I only what I've seen on the on the um, Creative Assembly blogs and stuff. These new updates are giving me the Warhammer Two vibes of when they did cool stuff. Yeah, I feel like it's just a bit. I don't know. Yeah, it feels better this time for sure. Are you going to summon the Elect accounts? I probably am, but not right now. Not at this exact moment. What does the Emperor bid? All right, I think I want to replace some more of these lords, but we are born to hunt. I will marshal the band. Huntsman general. Tracker What's this guy? Cunning. What's Jamuthius? What does the emperor bid? Noble. Um. Yeah, I might. S to the might. Yes, my lord. Respec out Jamuthius because he's a noble lord. Get him. Get someone fresh in. Oh yeah, Peter Gorse is ready to come back in. What's an what's a title that's sort of like a count, but like not as good as a count? Champion of the faith. What's a Viscount? Is a Viscount the same as a count, or is a Viscount like a lesser count or a better count or a What's the relate? What's the difference between a viscount and a not viscount? Marquis. 
A, a Viscount, there's a Viscount Celeste account? Okay, cool. Because I was thinking we're gonna, we might, we might make, um, Ty, um, we might make Ty a Viscount. The Viscount is immediately below account. Okay, that's perfect then. Warrior of Sigma. Cast evil out by Sigma. Protector of the weak. Uh, I might just borrow the dragon tooth since Carl Franz is having a sleep at the moment. Not using it. No, this is early access. To battle. Decisive victory low. I've heard numerous people um, saying that it was the 30th. I don't think it's been officially re officially announced yet, though. Uh, I'll, I'll leave him up here so we can see. Make sure they can see us, because I don't want them to start doing search parties. Yeah, if they can't see you, then it activates them, doesn't it? And they start doing search parties. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I... But, yeah, it's alright. Um, yeah, sorry, Jerry and Michael, if you wouldn't mind, could you just keep it to English in the chat? Just because, you know, not everyone speaks other languages and stuff. Especially the Australian people. We don't know any languages. We barely even know English. a bit of a uh i do i do quite like a few uh a few german words tossed around in there but i need a i need some kind of english words around it to, for context otherwise i'll have no idea what you're talking about now it's check nice Yeah, I don't mind it a little bit. I just, I was just letting you know, so you don't have like massive conversations, so that the chat's just filled up with, you know, stuff that no one can read. All right. Well, I feel like we are we are ready, but uh, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to entice them. We're gonna have to uh, 
Hey there, Hans Gruber. Thanks for all the streams and videos. Getting hyped for Thrones of Decay. Oh, awesome, buddy. I'm really glad that you are. I um, I am also hyped. All right, somebody's going to have to go over there and drop some spells on them to piss them off a bit. J uh, does Jury not speak English? Oh, what happened then? Did I just get zapped? Oh, fuck. Um... I feel like we're going to get shot so much that we're going to die. Alright, that pissed him off. Uh, can anyone speak the language that Jury is speaking and tell him to stop speaking it? Ask him if politely if he could stick to English. Tanking arrows for Sigma. Yeah. Oh, did I just? Oh, I think I just missed. <laughs> so, oh shit! Sorry, Jen. I think I missed the chat moved and I hit the wrong person. Shit. See, this is why I shouldn't moderate in my own channel because I'm fucking shit at it. Sorry, Jan. I just fucking banned the wrong person by accident. You can't like undo it either. And now, like, not only did I not see your message, Jan, but it deleted every message that you've done in the entire chat. So now I don't know anything that you've done. Sorry, Jan. I killed Jan. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't offended. It was just, it's just like, a, it's just, it's just like rude. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, a, yeah, it's just a bit antisocial. Um, I'm sure he didn't mean to be rude. He probably didn't realize, but whatever. But yeah. It's just a... Well, if it, if it makes him feel any better, I fucked up this battle quite badly. Hey Jan, sorry buddy. I just, I fucking, I tried to drop the banhammer on somebody else and it hit you instead. Oh shit, we got backdoored by the cavalry. Yeah, I'm trying to like moderate and like fight battles at the same time and all my shit's getting fucking ruined. Shoot, everyone shoot stuff. Can you guys just... Oh, that's shit. Let me just kill them. You. Um. Oh, fuck. Artillery. Ready for war. Launch. Oh fuck. Courageous. Oh, this is just turning into a complete fucking nightmare. It's all going bad.
Where's their leader? Where's their lord? Go and kill him. Put an end to this madness. I should have taken the order resolve. We got fucking violated. Oh, these spiders are getting into my artillery as well. Is this if my mage dies, I'm gonna be crapped off. I mean, I kind of, it kind of looked bad, like, even when I was going into the battle, I was like, oh, this doesn't actually look that good. And, uh, yeah, when I got in there, it was definitely not good. Must moderate chat during every battle. I don't know. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I think it was just a, it was actually a rougher battle than I was like I was expecting it to be a chill battle, but it was actually not a chill battle, and I should have been treating it like a serious battle. Um, it was it's like they didn't have it wasn't like they, it wasn't a really scary army, but they just had too many units, and I couldn't handle it. Like I didn't have enough stuff to cover everything. Like too, I've got too much range, and I haven't got any infantry, and I haven't got any cavalry and stuff. Um, we do have one unit of cavalry that they're quite fucked up now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, that was uh, that was a good little fight, though. It definitely, it definitely was a lot more exciting than I was expecting it to be initially. But yeah, it's just, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, sorry, guys, they're just, yeah, um, it's just like a standard rule, basically, that if you're going to chat, then you have to chat in English, so, yeah, sorry, I don't mind if there's occasional comment in a language or something like that, but if there's just, like, constant, lang constant non-English chat, then I can't read it, so I can't moderate it, and, you know, that's, yeah, so I can't really let it go on, so, sorry to be, you know, sorry to be that guy. Hey, Cedar Rebirth. Oh yeah. Here we go. I haven't heard about any visual reworks to any laws of magic. Um, I don't think, but I mean, I don't remember hearing of any, but yeah, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. Return to Elector, yeah. So yeah, but if I return to Elector, it returns it to, um, it returns it to, um, Nordland, but I think I want to keep 
I think I want to keep Marienburg alive because I like the idea of Marienburg being this weird little rebel state that the Empire hates and they hate the Empire and, you know. Um, so, yeah, so I think I want to I think I want to keep them as an independent faction that we kind of like trade with or whatever. That's kind of my plan. Yeah, apparently, Nord apparently it, it all belongs to um, to Nordland. You dare come at me making demands? Call yourself men of the Empire? Very well. So every time I get a defensive alliance with somebody, it gives me, um, it gives me, um, what do you call it? Um, plus five growth because of our faction mechanic. So, um, yeah, I don't know where it says it, but somewhere around here. Um, these guys don't, um, don't have fealty though. So they don't give me, um, free prestige per turn, unfortunately. But, uh, but yeah, still got my five growth for having a defensive ally, and we can also build an outpost in uh, in there, which I think I will do. Sigma's will. Because that'll give him a bit of extra garrison as well. Might help him hold on to it for a little while. Mission accomplished. Has the game's challenge been increased while playing on Legendary in 5.0? Um, oh, honestly, I haven't really played much more than this, so I don't really know. Um, I feel like you have to play a good long campaign up to like turn 100 to really evaluate that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Seems about the same to me, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say in the early campaign because there's not really much time for much to happen. You got to like kind of give it a little while for things to develop, I think. But yeah, no, I don't, I haven't really noticed it being, you know, more difficult or anything. We always had the upper hand. The Amber Order. Tracker of distinction. All right, let's head over towards advancing towards Kariburg. Uh Oh, we can like almost make it, but not quite. That's fucking bullshit. That will surely Excuse me. Sorry. No, I'm swearing so much Boy, today. Man. Um, can we replace him with? Missed your super chat. I thought, I thought I did you. I thought I saw your super chat. Didn't I say it? Oh, well, anyway, you can do it once again. I trust in you. Thanks, Dominic. <laughs> I did. I did read it, and I um, I felt the spirit. I felt the spirit of your support. That was what helped me win. But um, but I must have forgot to say it out loud. I must have just seen it, seen it in my head. But yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, Mercy, do we get Metal Wizards or is Gelt still the only one? No, I'm pretty sure everyone gets Gelt Metal Wizards. Yep. <laughs> hey, Dominic. Keep it up, says Dominic. Thanks, Scott, Dominic. I will have to. I'll have to. If you can keep dropping Super Chats on me, I'll have to keep it up. Um... Yeah, all right. We'll respec him out. We'll get another lord in again. And what do we go for? Tough. It's good. Tactician's no good. Monster hunter's no good. Imperious no. Uh, I don't really like. I don't really like huntsman generals that much. What about this aggressive, aggressive general of the empire? Let's, look at that sweet haircut, glorious beard, man after my own heart. And we'll give him. We'll give him a scribe. 
So he's got a bit of extra movement. And then hopefully next turn. The Empire. By Sigma, no. Hmm. Did that other guy have like, keeps more movement than this guy or what? Umber Wizard. Their treasures are mine. What orders? Praise be to Sigma. Warrior of Sigma, ever vigilant. Servant of the faith. I serve Sigma. Could merge these spearmen, but I'll let them replenish a bit so they can get a few extra dudes. I've got plenty of money, so I may as well just let them. May as well just let them replenish separately. So? Yeah, same here. Yeah, I think we'll switch, we'll switch Gorsal for for Berbers, maybe. To the provinces. Maybe we, maybe we should get some infantry, eh? I don't. I really like halberds. Like I like the idea of halberds. Um, but yeah, maybe we should go like. Yeah, like maybe like four halberds. No, sorry, like four spearmen and two halberds per army, something like that. Have a solid bit of a melee um, for the flanks. Does Epidemius have a unique faction mechanic? Uh, I don't know which king really. I, I haven't really looked at uh, Epidemius. I was saving all the Nurgle stuff for when the DLC drops. When the, or when the DLC. Um... Swordsmen are good though. Yeah, Swordsmen are good too. But I feel like Swordsmen are better early game. Whereas halberds are like not as good as swordsmen, but they're, you know, they're, they're useful late game. You know, they're not as good as, they're not as good as swordsmen are early game, but late game, you know, yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? I will marshal the men. They've got, armor, they've got armor piercing basically and anti-large is what I'm saying. <clears throat> Spearing with shields are good, yeah. Especially once you get a few buffs on him. The Emperor bid? How long till Carl's back? Four turns. Fuck. All right. I think I've recovered now from the strain. Should we? Should we pump some more influence into relationships? Amethyst made. All right. True, sir. I stand apart. Um, Oh, yeah, Send A is pretty cool as well. You can spawn an army. So you can spawn an army, and it also gives the target plus two fealty. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And you can do it every five turns. So, but it's in terms of getting more um, prestige, it's not really very good because it costs you a thousand prestige, and it gives the target plus two fealty, which means that 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 faction will give you two extra prestige per turn so it'll take 500 turns for them to pay you back basically the prestige that you spent on it so yeah it's only, like you only really need to want to do it if they're about if they're getting towards zero prestige zero um fealty sorry so yeah it doesn't look like anybody's really close to um rebelling or anything conscription um instantly does one turn of ongoing local and global recruitment and the upgraded version does two turns 
So you can put like, you can do like, you can globally recruit like three units that would normally take two turns and you can queue up two turns of normal recruitment. So you can have like, you know, six units or whatever. So you'd have like nine total units over two turns and then you just do that, bam, and then you get nine turns and nine units instantly, you know, which is pretty cool. Plus, uh, plus you can stack up all your uh, other recruitment with your um, allied recruitment and all that as well. So many I'm not sure if that gets... That, uh, I'm not sure if that gets um, boosted by it or not, though. Yeah, it's like the UNBO thing, exactly. It's kind of like a mixture of UNBO stuff and, like, uh, it's Empire Raised Dead, exactly. Oak scum! You dare to presume by coming before me! Always, we want a words with ya. All right, these orcs want a thousand gold to not declare war on me. He's strength rank fifteen. I'm strength rank one hundred and twenty. Um, I think I'm gonna pay it. I used to be all uh, really. I used to just always de deny, but um, after if, I've had a few experiences now where it's clearly been like it would have saved me a lot of money to just pay the money, you know. Where it's like, oh, I'm not gonna pay eleven. I'm not gonna pay eleven hundred gold, and then I'm gonna end up spending like forty-seven thousand gold, like raising armies and fighting him for the next ten turns or whatever, you know. So it's like, yeah, sometimes it's better just to pay the money. Um, and I've used. Uh, I find when you do pay the money, they usually leave you alone for a good few turns. Like I've never had any. I don't think I remember ever like any faction that I've paid off like turn around and attack me straight away. And they've always waited at least five or ten turns before they attack me. Yeah, has anyone has anyone ever paid um has anyone ever paid them off and then gotten attacked like gotten screwed over and gotten attacked in the next couple of turns? I don't think it's ever happened to me. I don't know if that means it never can happen, but yeah. Uh, no worries, Dominic. You've been so generous, tonight, man. Thank you, thank you so much for your super chats and stuff. It's really um yeah, it really helps a lot. Appreciate it. And um, yeah, have a good night, man. And hope you enjoyed. Sounds like something the Skaven would do, yeah. All right. It is time. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to force march over there, but I clearly can't. I might just leave it actually for now. I might just come back through here. Moving off. Awaiting orders. Get some get some sweet, sweet replenishment. To serve the Emperor. What? Champion of the faith. Dragon. To the provinces. I never paid anyone. This game's not called Total Peace Peace Hammer. That's true. It's almost like a temporary non aggression pact for a certain number of turns. It seems like it. Yeah, it seems pretty reliable as well. No, no worries. Next one will be tomorrow, um, Dominic. I'm going to be streaming every day. Um, try to cover as much of this stuff as we can. To strengthen the empire. Now, this will bolster the nation. I feel like fucking. Hmm. Yes, my lord. I feel like um, Kazrak is right here somewhere. I will marshal the men. About to um, yeah, about to take us on. What does the emperor bid? Um, great swords. Hmm. Two hundred gold. That's fifteen turns it'll take to pay itself off. Um, 
Praise Sigma. Yes, my lord. The nation calls. I might, I might get some more heroes, I reckon. We could get witch hunters. We should get more magic, actually. There'll be more wizards. This is what the next three years are going to be like. I'm super happy. Hassar for the DLC team. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Just watched your Gelt vid. Super excited. I love Wizard Factions. Yeah, that's it. That's what that's what I love about. I think they did such a great job with the with the Gelt update. Um, and thanks for watching the video as well, Bob. So much appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's like Gelt's faction is like this crazy Wizard faction. Like I feel like you're actually playing as um like the you're actually playing as the the wizards college now you know or a faction of the wizards college and yeah it'd be cool if they had time to like make more stuff like about like nefarious things going on duels between different wizard factions and shit like that but yeah yeah you you get a bit of a feeling of that vibe and yeah it's really it's cool i think it's got a really cool theme to Geltz faction now uh, um yeah, I feel like we're gonna get we're gonna get ganked by Kazrak. Why can't somebody else take him on? Why do I have to deal with everything? <laughs> I'm just gonna whine. I'm gonna whine about it. To Leon Kor. How can the Empire aid you in such evil times? Military access? Uh, sure. Welcome your knights in my lands. If you could kill Kazrak for me, that'd be sweet. Man, it's like every t every freaking turn, it's like ambush are discovered, and then, oh, he's there. Okay, so that means we should be able to get we should be able to get through on this side, right? Ready. Empire's blessings, yes. On march. Step to it. Oh, cool. We found him. Okay. Okay. Who calls? By the comet. Yes, a sound plan. The war. It is for the best. I serve the Heldenhammer. Oh, okay. I probably want Peter Gersa to get the experience, don't I? Monster Tracker. Yeah, I like Monster Tracker. I like that 5% campaign move range. Attack! What's this guy's deal? Weapon Master. Uh... Hmm. 
disciplined. Another disciplined. Both good. All right. Um, let's replace this guy with Ty. Is he? The Empire. Except he shall henceforth be known as Viscount Ty Laughingfall. Because he's now a he's now an elect account of the Empire. Empire's blessings, yes. Here to serve. And we still have access to the Borderman, which I should have actually recruited, shouldn't I? Because they're um they're a pretty good unit. Your dude still lives, he sure does. Epic epic name, epic story, by the way, I'm sure I really liked it. Can I ask if we can showcase the research? Does it have any differences? Uh, yeah, I... Sure. Um, I sort of covered a little bit already, but... Um, actually, that's one thing I didn't cover in my video at all, actually. Um, Bob Savage said, Oh, they fixed the Beastman ambush bug. That's huge. For several patches, they weren't being revealed when they were discovered. Oh yeah, it seems like they actually get rid. They actually get discovered now. So um, I'm pretty sure all these all these texts have been changed. I think like this. I think this one had this one only had two things on it before. Now it's got recruit rank, leadership, and speed. Yeah, I don't think recruit rank was there before. So you get two recruit rank there instead of having the separate recruit rank down here. Um, melee attack and melee defense for melee infantry. I'm pretty sure that wasn't as powerful before. Um, plus 15 armor and missile resistance, 10% for infantry units. Pretty sure that was no, there was no missile resistance and the armor was less before. Um, yeah, weapon strength. Look, what I might do actually, um, if you don't mind, Caesar, is I'll just, I'll just mouse over everything quickly. And then if you want to go back and like read everything, then you can just go back to the stream and pause it or whatever. I like recruit rank bonuses as well. But yeah, so um, all of these have been slightly enhanced, I'd say. Um, yeah, it's basically like, it's still kind of the same-ish, the same sort of vibe, but everything is like um, a bit more powerful and a bit more improved, you know, improved now. Oh yeah, also there's a separate thing for war machines now, as well as artillery. Um, then yeah the hero stuff's been reorganized so there's recruit there's control and capacity for heroes there's corruption and capacity for warrior priests there's uh hero action success chance and capacity for witch hunters research rate and perhaps something else is going to come there in the engineers guild um then we've got the wizard stuff over here you've got experience for spellcasters construction time etc you got down here you got capacity and winds of magic reserve uh, increase per turn. Um, spell resistance for all armies and ward save for battle wizards. Um, uh, magic power reserve, etc. Um, then, yeah, this over here, this has all been reorganized as well. So you got movement, trade tariffs, construction, income from ports, and high sea attrition immunity, and minus one sea lanes journey duration. You got growth and replenishment, construction cost, income construction cost a construction time sorry and more income and um yeah and down here you've got each one of these has got 50 relations with a particular faction and it's got a bonus that you get as well and then you've got these four that um give you bonuses versus a particular enemy i don't think that any of these are really worth it though um I mean, if you had like infinite money, then I guess, but if you, you know, if money is not no object, then yeah, I wouldn't really spend them. And these ones are really important. This one gives you, allows you to use diplomatic talks on any of the um, order factions, not just your own empire electors. And um, this one basically increases the strength of all of your decrees. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the, um, I'm really enjoying the updates. They're really awesome. And um, yeah, no, glad you enjoyed the videos. 
All right. What? Warrior of Sigma. Sigma lightens my steps. To the provinces. Pick up the pace. I cannot comply. Onwards. Um. To war. I will marshal the men. This will bolster the nation. Praise be to Sigma. Sigmarite Arch Lector, protector of the weak, for the purge the heretics. All right, so Peter, so hmm. so Peter Gosser is gonna take this settlement. So Viscount Ty Laughing Fall is gonna Step to it. cruise over here. Ready. To battle. What does the Emperor do? Oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> it's like so close. Um, fuck me. All right, that's Death okay. Um, yeah. I will marshal the men. The Empire. By the comet. Fight this one. Um, they, oh, I, are you? Uh, are you not in the? Um, do you not have access to this, Susava? Gelt's Lord and Faction effects? Um, no, he's pretty sure his Lord and Faction effects are different now. Yeah, we'll just um just be a bit cautious here so that we can conserve ammo for when um conserve ammo for Kazrak. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to hmm.
away, Ulrich's wrath! Faster! Uh, it won't be Zeech, because Zeech was Century had their update. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't. I would think it'd be like Corn or Slanish next. It, oh, it's just I had just had a thought. Um, what What do you reckon if they did? Um, if they did a Carl Franz style, like a rework like this for Tyrion, how cool would that be? I mean, I don't know, I can't even imagine how cool it would be, but I, yeah, I imagine it would be cool. At your service for Heldenhammer. Show us the Fire! Yeah, I, I, it's like Tyrion's pretty cool as he is. Like, I don't mind him not really, not really having much of a mechanic. He's like just a cool faction anyway. But yeah, imagine if he got a rework like this, like basically just keeping him, keeping him like the same. That's what I, that's one of the things I really like about Carl Franz. It's like they they like kept him like the same, um, the same vibe, you know, but just better. They didn't like mess with his um, theme or anything. Look at this Jenkin. They can't they can't get a lock on me. They can't get a lock on me. Boom. Too bad. You now you're dead. Fucking super elite Reichsguard. Look at that, look at that charge. Fucking it's only like a third of a squad. Just annihilating those goblin archers. Punishing the grubby scum for the wickedness. Mortar's not very accurate, but it's alright, no one died this time. Those drunk, those drunk mortar crews at it again. Yeah, it's pretty cool we got a seat of rebirth. We chucked that seat of rebirth on Carl Franz on, on Deathclaw. We're cruising around, rege re regenerating. Plus, once we deal with Kazrak and we retake Middenland, we'll have um, we'll have the Middenland Runefang so we can get um, replenishment. I think they would do elves when they do Slanesh. Yeah, that's what that's what made me um, bring it up. Yeah, I was thinking if the next one is Slanesh, then yeah, we might get a we might get a high elf update. And I was thinking if we do get a high elf update, like what would they even update? Like high elves are already pretty good. Um, but um, but yeah. Are mortars worth using now? I I always love mortars. The thing I love about mortars is they have like a massively high arc of fire, so you can always fire them from anywhere on the map. They can hit anything, um, and they're also like really accurate. Like once you, once you especially once you level them up, they get more accurate. And also the closer that they are to the front line, the more accurate they are. And because they've got such a high arc of fire, you can sit them like immediately behind your front line and just pinpoint accuracy, shoot stuff like here. So if you can get a good, if you have like a, like just say they had a massive horde of greenskins and I had like a big thick front line and they had just like massive amounts of greenskins, I could just, you know, rake that with my mortars. The mortars don't do a huge amount of damage, but I just like how accurate they are. And also not even for damage, like just for um, morale damage as well. You know, if you're trying to break a unit, um, you know, if you shoot archers at it, they get an extra leadership debuff for taking range fire. And if you shoot artillery, they get a separate leadership debuff for taking artillery fire. So if you just have like one archer and one and one mortar, and you just target that on into, on any unit that looks like it's getting low leadership, that's a big chunk of leadership that it takes off. So yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I, I really like mortars. Um, but yeah, they they are like pretty ineffective sometimes against like heavy armored units, especially like heavy armored like cavalry and stuff, monstrous units and stuff. They don't do anything. But but you know, on the other hand, I feel like like cannons and stuff that do go, do good against cavalry and large monsters. They kind of they're hard to use, and a lot of times you can't really get much out of them. You know, whereas mortars. 
at, at least you can always shoot them, you know? It's kind of like quarrelers. Quarrelers don't, they're not as um, terrifying as handgunners, but, you know, quarrelers are always shooting pretty much, you know, whereas handgunners, a lot of time they don't really get to get their shots off. I've not played Tyrion, he always looks so boring. I think if you want to play like World Conquest style, like if you want to play a big campaign where you're taking a lot of territory and stuff like that, like Tyrion's like a war leader, like a general. Um, so he works good as that. Yeah, both the Empire Captain and the Witch Hunters have both got um, their skills updated. I covered it all in the video um, that's in the, that's linked in the chat there. I just uh, I think at the towards the end of the video, if you skip through to the end, goes through all of those skill changes. All right, Midland rides again. Reinstated elect account. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. So if an elect account gets wiped out, they come back instantly with plus five fealty. And once we give him his capital back, he'll be he'll be probably ten fealty. So that's good. Champion of the faith. <laughs> What orders? Your word is my command. My journey begins. Uh, so hmm. I will marshal the bed. Carl's having a rest. Fucking stop bringing up Carl. No one needs to talk about Carl right now. He's just having a sleep, that's all. He, nothing bad happened to Carl. I serve Sigma. <laughs> Basically, like we assaulted the walls, we assaulted the walls of this uh, of Marienburg, and Carl was like, "Follow me, men!" And he was like, first up the ladder," but everybody else was like way behind him, and so then he just got killed by himself on the on the uh, on the battlements. Sigma Pretty much how it went down. Carl slipped. Yep. I forgot to put his skill line on. His army looks pretty pathetically weak. I'm terrified. I'm so I'm so terrified of this army. I've got everyone in camp stands. I'm, gonna, like, I'm worried this army is going to get ambushed and everyone's going to die. But his army looks shit, right? He's not even recruiting, so I think we're good. My plan is to sort of race him to Midden Middenheim. Um, rather than try to like be safe, just run there, run there as fast as we can. Carl fell in the stairs. Yep, pretty much. When do we do the first noble back again? Um, noble three turns. One turn. All right. Well, we may as well build the buildings next turn then, because that way we can. It'll be one turn less if we do it next turn with the noble. So. Should I recruit more troops? I've probably got enough troops at the moment, have I? Yes. Oh, Telebook land. By Sigma's will, come in. Yes. Of course. Yeah, I want to get all of. Um, I want to have all of the um, elect accounts be my allies. That'd be really cool. Or trues. Child amethyst mage. Whistle land's not bad. Not far. The dead are. Um, who are they war with? Welcome. Should I get it with Skull Takers? That would get us to the Defensive Alliance. Yeah, I think I will. It seems all this. I feel like the Skull Takers are going to get wiped out oh, either by, by them, or otherwise we can take them when they come. So the Empire. 
Who call? Natural authority. Uh, I didn't know if it's a bug exactly, um, Jungle Bear. It's just an exploit. For the Empire! Uh, but yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't think they're planning on fixing it or anything. I hope they're not planning on fixing it. <laughs> um, if they, I don't mind if they fix that as long as they give us a legit way to actually get the elected, elected count state troops without, um, conquering. But until they, until they give us a legit way to get the elected troops without conquering, then I feel like they should. Now, to the provinces. Oh. How come he's got. Move! Hmm. How did he get that extra movement? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's cool. Um, all right, let's put all the valuable stuff in Viscount Ty's army. Yeah, this army's not in. Here to serve. Servant of the faith. His ambush failed. Suck it. And noob. Noob beast man. Um, 1 minute 13, 148. Oh man, these guys might kill us all before we... Um, before our allies come on. ABC, always be recruiting. I know. I should have, uh, I felt bad as soon as I pressed the end turn and I didn't recruit, I was like, feel bad. Should have been recruiting. I could have, I could have used, you know, you can always use a, a couple more uh, shielders, Spearman. Are the elect account buffs the same as the before? What, elect, what which elect account buffs? Hide, you reckon? Um, yeah, maybe. With haste. In the name of Sigma, the Empire endures. Quick march. Probably a bit late to hide now, isn't it? I think they know we're here. At speed. Double time. Faith in the comet. At once. Quickly now. Missile infantry. Oh, the elect account seat buffs. Right, right. Yeah, I, I don't know if they've changed. I didn't, I had assumed they were still the same, but I don't know, actually. I haven't checked. As you say. With pleasure. Sir. 
for the twin tail puppet. The Amber Order running by Ulrich's wrath. Go! Ready for orders. Death to the faceless. Seems to be getting a bit hectic in here. We need some helms of Discord. Cal's not wounded again, it's the same wound. It's only been one turn. I can hear the tone of criticism in your voice, Ellen. It's just the one wound, goddammit. He's not an invalid. thing route or what was it like Great unbreakable or, there we go Missiles will fly to battle. Ready, General. Show us the foe. No lingering. Take the ground. Unleash the beast. Yeah, see, what I'm, see how accurate that is? It's like just pinpoint accurate. You just put it exactly where you want it to go. It's just, yeah, it's cool. We killed the killed Kazrak, so we should get a good amount of um oh shit. We should get a good amount of prestige out of that. Sigma by Ulrich's wrath. Awaiting orders by the twin tails comet. I'll have a quick look at the electors and see if the buffs are changed or if they seem to be changed. I haven't actually, although we haven't got to actually recruit any of the elect count units yet, 
Um, although I did have one, I have got one available, I just keep forgetting. Um, there's a goodly amount of prestige. 12% replenishment is pretty solid, I'm going to take that. So even though it's only displaying on the main army, we'll actually get that replenishment down here as well. to sell this to Marienburg, I forgot. That's okay. I mean, if I'd get sold it to Marienburg, they probably would have attacked it and taken it off Marienburg anyway, so... But uh, I could have stolen a heap of their cash. Come to light that Theodoric Gorser of Nordland has discovered an insurrectionist plot against him, led by a powerful rival noble in his state. He wants imperial assistance in quashing the plot, but fears his claims will not be acted upon without the backing of another elector. Using your political clout, you could offer your support up to Nordland to get them to get the get them the backing needed to investigate the plot fully and bring those responsible to justice. Um, or they could just sort their own shit out. I mean, I'm not here to babysit them. God damn it! I got my own. I got my own province to run. Alrighty. So I serve the Heldenhammer. What does the Emperor bid? Protector of the weak. We need somebody to go over and kill this guy. Um True servant of Sigma. I serve Sigma. Moving out. Champion of the faith. Do you reckon that Sigma can kill that? Yeah, easy. So, praise be to Sigma. Empire AI is still useless. Yeah, I don't think they've changed the Empire AI. The Empire. Uh, it's not so much the Empire AI, it's just minor set on, like minor factions. Like True the minor factions are designed to just all get wiped out. If the minor factions were all intelligent, like the Empire campaign would be so easy. Like you just don't have to do anything. Your AI, all your AI factions Champion would just kill everyone for you. But I mean, I'm interested to see if um, I can actually make, like, I'm interested to see if this is actually going to be viable to actually try and keep all of the Elector Council alive. So, so yeah, so for anyone who's joining the stream late, I'm playing Empire, but I'm playing with no Confederations, um, which is my preferred way to play Empire. Um, and I try to use, you know, my diplomacy and all that, you know, and all the other tools that we've got available to us to try and get the most out of our allies. Death to the faith! Mm, yeah, see, I could have got way more empire. I could have got way more enemies captured. The um, I got the full amount of prestige from killing everything, but we could have got way more enemies captured if we'd fought it manually, um, which would have we could have then traded in for um, for replenishment. But not to worry. Nice. All right. Um. So. One eighty-six. Do you reckon he's got like no armies? 
Because I want to... I want to... I want to not do in camp. I want to force march. Yes. But... Sound plan. Vi... Viscount Ty... Viscount Ty might get wrecked. It is for the best. Moving off! Alright. It's pretty good. But I don't... I think we can't risk Viscount Ty. He's too important. We're going to have to switch him out. This will bolster the nation. We'll get in there. Jamotheus, maybe? Or... Stig? We'll get Stig. What does the Emperor bid? Is it time? Yeah, so these these are the same for every um, wizard, um, except for instead of being Lore of the Beasts, it'll be Lore of Fire or whatever. But essentially, these skills are all the same for every every faction. But then this one's different depending on which um, lore you've got. But yeah, so once we get that, we're going to get two summons, which will be pretty good. And if we can get another 10 levels, we get an Imperial Griffin, which will also be solid. Another fleet footed. Mm, it's not really my favorite trait, but I, I kind of like to take them. I just kind of like to take them as they come sometimes, just so that you can have a bit of variety rather than just only having 26 disciplined, you know, disciplined or noble ones. Direct me. Yes, my lord. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I don't know if I should split up. Maybe we should send back something back to defend them. I live to serve the Emperor. I will do anything for Sigma. My journey begins. I serve Sigma. We got have we got a better lord coming in next turn? Oh yeah, yeah Calf Ryan's. Alright, I'll just put this this guy here for now. Protector. Just so they're not on force march, and then we can um, we'll switch in Carl Franz. Huntsman General. Empire Sir. captains uh, do not get demigriff mounts now. I, don't, I mean, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if they did, but I kind of like it that they not can't always. in a way. Like, I kind of like it that they not not all the Empire characters can get monstrous, monstrous. Um, Mounts and stuff. Oleg Todbringer. Alright. Um, we'll chuck in a noble lord. Champion of the faith. I will go. And look at me investing in economy. Empire captains do not get demigriff mounts, no. Just saying it'd be cool if they did. Um, 
Clergy of Sigma. Yeah, we'll go for Clergy of Sigma because we're going to get Warrior Priests soon. It'd be nice to have a few of them. Praise be to Sigma. Oh shit, I didn't recruit anything. ABC, always be recruiting. I should have sold my um sold my grandmother's teeth or something. Get some more recruits. Did that add new heroes? This is not the DLC, so we're not allowed to show anything from the DLC yet, so um, yeah, but I, I think there's a free LC, a free LC hero, the, um, the Golden Wizard. Demand Wurzbad's return. Oh yeah, we've, we're starting to lose regions as well. We're, aren't, we were at 51 to 75, now we're down to 47. But if we could get two, if we capture two new regions back, which we should soon, then we can hopefully get it back to 51 because currently we're rocking uh, minus two control, minus 10 growth, etc., etc. So if we can get it, if we can just get two more settlements back, then we can get back in the green again. Where next? Mm. Heads up! Move out! Orders heeded! This is what we train for. Arch Lector. Yes, General. So, all right, let's, um, there they are. Take them out. Positions. We want to switch around some lords. We got strong, yeah, perceptive. Um, yeah, let's get Carl Franz back in we control of the main trained. army. He is going to occupy. Occupy that. So yeah, so same thing as before because we've just now occupied Middenheim. That means that we can. Um, that means that we can now uh, set our own elector to be in charge of Middenheim. Um, Awaiting orders. Brother, Viscount. Would it be Brother Viscount or Viscount Brother? All right. I don't know if Dominic's going to watch the watch the VOD later, but maybe he'll appreciate having a character named after him. Um, uh, actually, no, not this guy. This guy can just be... What was he called? I don't know. Just rename it back to something else. I'm gonna get rid of him. I'm gonna put in the strong guy. Warrior of Sigma. There we go. He's going to be called Elector Count. So, Midland gets attrition reduction, frenzy for himself, minus 3% upkeep, minus 1 wound recovery, 
Mm, I don't know. Seems similar to... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Seems... Seems similar to what it was like before. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really, I can't really notice any differences. I, yeah, I'd say they're pretty much similar. And we got leg biter, which gives us gives you uh, re regeneration. It's pretty sweet. Protector of the weak. Sigma lightens my steps. I command here. Is it time? Um, should we wait? I need, hang on, I said I need money. Uh, let's just get, let's just get some money. At your service, you have been granted access to the halls of Athol Lauren. Should I be friends with these elves? I kind of feel like we should kill them, but I don't know. What do you think about what? Are, what do we think about Laurel and Forest? Does the, does the Empire like Laurel and Forest in the law? Laurel and Forest lies at the north. You're all these pro-violence, yeah. Um, most people call them Wood Elves. They're quite different from the Azrae of Athol Loren. Kingdom of Laurel is older than Athelorain and retains elements of Asso culture from the original Ulthuan colony. Uh, uh, however, humans do not consider Ianir alien in the same way that Azrae are perceived as fey spirits in Britonia. The interspecies understanding has enabled Laurel to establish stronger ties with the Empire than with Ulthuan or Athelorain. Oh, okay. So, oh, wow. Well, I never even, I never even knew anything about any of this. Elven scouts, spies, and diplomats from Laurelon are frequently encountered in Nordland, Middenland, and the Wasteland. Nordland's nobility have negotiated multiple treaties with the Queen of Laurelon, and the Gra and Graf Baron of Boris of Middenland employs two Eonir in his court. Okay, cool. So apparently we're friendly with them. I'm a bit annoyed that we don't get plus two fealty. We don't get plus two imperial authority for um for having them there because they don't count as Bretonia. They don't count as Empire probably. But yeah, yeah. Story time. Apparently, uh, yeah. Um, that's really cool. Uh, that's really cool. Um, it's great. Like, it's great learning more about the Warhammer world. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know about Laurelon. Like, uh, about yeah, I didn't know that. That, but it sort of makes sense. Like, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Like, that some of the big cities of the Empire. You know, they'll have they'll have like a dwarven quarter, and they'll be you know mostly dwarfs that live there and they're artisans or whatever and you know and uh yeah apparently there's that kind of thing goes on in around in midland and nordland as well with elves i like it all right cool um i will do anything for sigma fuck. um The elected Count of Midland claims Laurel on as part of his territory, and the elves have dared him to try and enforce his claim. <laughs> well, I don't know, according to this map, it's part of Nordland. Natural authority. I guess the Nordlanders aren't foolish enough to try to enforce their claim. Come then. Only One Sigma's gold gone. piece. So That's not very good. Child of yes? Um. Sigma bring death. What? All right, who can we go to war with? Yes. Anybody left that we haven't already warred with? None shall question me. Celestial ancestors. Oh, here we go. Finally, we've met up with the uh, met up with Cathay, so we can go to war with all their um, distant factions that we are never going to meet. Agreed. Our ancient empire has not survived until now without friends. Natural authority. Attention. Good day. 
I warn you, I cannot make large decisions. Only operational matters. I understand this. Ready to defend. The forces of Nangao cannot all abandon their posts, but will assist you when... General! Child of the Nine. Well, we got recasting um, pretty well on that. Cathay's just paid me a crap ton of money. Um, tree hammers, eh? The Empire. I, will I would have liked to have had a, like a neutral... Would have liked to have had some neutral um, ogres in our territory that we could recruit, but no. I'm in a war with Gelt. Yeah, I'm in a war with Gelt. I'm trying to. Um, I was trying to meet Gelt so that I could um, make him join my faction. Essentially, I might actually just. Uh, yeah, I might actually just. Um, Actually, how 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 much of a hundred? Oh, yeah, it's down. It's back. It's reset back down again because it's over been over ten turns. So yeah, I might just quickly um, research this, and that way we'll be able to spend influence to um, make Gelt love us again, even though we went to went to war with him. Um, and then it should all be good. Sigmarite Arch Lector, true servant of Sigma, awaiting orders. Ever onward. Come then, only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Very well. Yeah, so it would have actually been ch cheaper to actually just give it to them. Ever vigilant, protector. Oh, he was meant to go to that one. I went to the wrong settlement as well. My journey begins. I live to serve the Emperor. What orders? Ready to serve. So? So is Minland already... No. Yeah, we'll build a barracks in here and then we'll trade it to Minland for... Um... The nation calls. I'll trade it to Midland in exchange for um, an alliance. Summon the elector counts. At once, sir. All right, so back to fifty-two because we took two settlements, so that's good. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if we should go after if we should wipe out these green skins so that Marienburg can stop getting wrecked. Or if we should push in to go after um Festus. I sort of think we should go after the green skins because that way this area will be kind of done and we can just keep going east. Because we've got to get down and start dealing with Vlad soon as well. Vlad's actually not expanding as too quickly so far but i feel like this is a pretty common thing like he sort of expands slowly slowly and then around now he just starts to go gangbusters so it might it might be you know worse than it seems tough and disciplined nice what do you require? Okay, let's build a let's build a better temple. We see a snowball if left. Yeah, I feel like they will. Kisaro is still giving us trade goods. It's pretty good. You're only getting 40 gold per turn from the settlement, so I'm just going to forego that 40 gold so we can keep the public order down. What? 
The nation calls! Bring me to battle! Yeah. Yeah, look, turn 20 is when I usually... Around turn 20 years when I try and go after him or before that. But yeah, if we kind of... Yeah, it's a bit annoying having to backtrack, but yeah, if we can take out the green skins and then come back, take out Festus. Probably go like, yeah, green skins, Festus, then down into Vlad, and then back up into Draka. Who calls? Sel what? And I'm, um, Ulrika Magdova. So we hit level 12 with Karl Franz. Oh, yeah. So now we've just got to get another five levels and then we can get Gotrick and Felix. Oh, Gotrick and Felix permanently, forever. How cool is that? By the comet. Legendary heroes. Ah, oh, man, Festus is, wanting, is asking for it. Um, hmm, all right. We'll, we'll, um, to serve. By Sigma. yeah, return to Elector. It's just a ruins. Yeah, that's fair enough. Champion of the faith. Um, I kind of want to take, I don't want to take this out while we've got him, but I don't know how close these other armies are. Servant of the faith. Is my duty. I serve the Heldenhammer. Ah, oh, yeah, he's got a full stack in here. No, he doesn't. Military presence four. Cease. Never. Hmm. Where's his seventy-one? Then revive. Hmm. I feel like there's an army around here somewhere that we Your can't see. My command. See bad news. I'll poke out your eyes. Hmm. All right. Plan B. Super new plan. New plan is that we. Um, new plan is that we. Go off to Festus. Bring me to my men. Warrior of Sigma. Yeah, sorry, Mathis. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know it kind of sucks like when like all the streamers and YouTubers get early access and it feels like everyone's fucking got it except you and shit. I have definitely have felt like that in the past. Um, if it makes you feel any better, they got rid of like most of the most of the um, most of the partner program. Like I think previously there was about four or five hundred people with early access and they got rid of like 300 of them. There's, uh, I think there's only about yeah, I think there's only about 80 left now or something like that. And there was previously like three or 400. And so it was like, it was literally like every fucking dickhead had, had, had early access before, you know? Um, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I don't mean, I, that, I didn't mean anyone specifically. I just meant, you know, just generally every Tom, Dick and Harry had a, had a copy of it, you know? Whereas now it's a bit more, um, now it's a bit more, uh, yeah, it's not that many people that get early access anymore.
Here to serve. Hmm. I fucking can't resist this fucking settlement. It wants me to kill it. But I know that he's got a full stack somewhere and I don't think I can really handle his full stack. Um... But I can't, but I can't not attack this settlement. I can't help myself. Ah. What? Let's just sneak. Over. Let's just. Let's just sneak over here a little yes. bit. Pick up the pace. Yeah, no, I, well, I just thought, I just realized it came across as if I was calling people dickheads, but I wasn't calling people dickheads. I was just, I was just using the word dickhead to mean like, you know, an, an average dude. Um, he's, he's sleep deprived. He's the better version of himself. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not yes. feeling that Do tired like because I'm excited, but uh, my brain is like not, you know, I'm not, I'm making, I'm doing dumb things and I'm forgetting, I'm, mainly I'm just forgetting to do stuff all the time, like in the game. It's lucky I've played this campaign so many times that it's always like autopilot. The average person is a dickhead. Yeah, you know, like just like as in like just some dickhead like me, you know, just an average, an average dickhead. That kind of, that's what I meant. Did the elect account seats get their traits buffed? No, I don't think so. We had a look at that before, bros. I, I don't really remember what they were like, but it didn't seem didn't seem buffed. Seems like it was just the same. All right, let's see if we can uh, if we can handle this shit. I don't even know if I don't even know if I'm gonna do well in this battle. It doesn't look like fun, really. No peace, just war. Men, I will fight with you. Step to it. Men, we must attack. Men, we must attack. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Fight for our nation. Should I bring this army up? I feel like I should. I will do anything for Sigma. Forward in his name. Going for this way. If I think this way, even if we get counterattacked, if we get counterattacked by, raise your weapons. Um, is that? Yeah. yeah. Um, if we get counterattacked by, um, what's his name? Right. At least we'll have a bit more stuff here. By Sigma, champion of the faith. I serve Sigma. Doing seven hours on turn fifteen. Yeah, well, people are excited about the new content and they've been asking questions and stuff. So um, we haven't been um, we haven't been playing in, in a super high pace. Also, we fought every battle except for two have been manual battles. I don't think I think there's only two battles of order results so far. Also, you know, I'm probably having like micro sleeps in between sentences because I'm really tired. But apologies. But if it is any consolation, I'm having a pretty good time. Hope you guys are too. Yeah, I'm having to like pause and just think if I'm doing the right thing all the time. The Siege of Marienburg was epic. That was pretty epic, wasn't it?
I was thinking I need to try to get into the habit of like recording sections of the streams when they, when like there's like a good a good part. Um, but um, but yeah, I don't know. I can never really know it's going to be a good part beforehand. Hey, Mark. No worries, buddy. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, dwarfs is going to be fun. I'm loving these. I'm loving these mortars. So wrapped that I caught it. I captured. Yeah, that, that, that was the coolest thing too about that Marienburg siege. We actually captured their mortar. So that mortar that was blowing us up the whole time. That's it there. Maybe we should name it. These guys are just gonna bum rush me straight away, aren't they? I feel like this side's not too bad. Yeah, I feel like we could maybe get some. It's a, it's a bit uphill, but. Oh, maybe even here. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like we could get away with that maybe. Doris Todbringer, did he get his unique skills? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to, um, I'm not planning on confederating him, so we won't get to look at his skill tree during this campaign. But, um, but, um, if we see him on, we can check out his unit card, see if he's got anything interesting on there. But yeah, I wouldn't, I would assume he did not get any update or anything. Um, oh, he, he, might have gotten the generic Empire General skills, but I reckon probably not, because even though he's based off the generic Empire General, um, I'm guessing he's got his own separate, he's his own separate unit. So, with, yeah, like they probably, um, yeah, when they updated the Empire General, he probably didn't get the update. Yeah, no, I like I like that it's level seventeen because you already got Ulrika at level four, or level twelve, um, and I feel like yeah, just I don't know. I feel like it's kind of cool to have it staggered a little bit. <laughs> DPS says Toddbringer is too amazing to get a simple FLC update. He needs his entire own DLC with Daniel's gear system, but for different helmets, eye patches, and mustaches. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he should just have three slots: one for helmets with different like castles on them, that each one's bigger than the one before, and different eye patches. Like some of them like gold, some of them like you know plain black, some of them with little pictures of like little portraits of Kazrak on there. Different, yeah, different mustaches, some like waxed and like wide like this, some bushy. I, I dig it. All right, it looks like they're going to wait for our reinforcements, so I will fast forward a bit so we can get them in. There is a slight slope here, but it's not really... Yeah, where the hell's he gone?
All right, here we go. Where's the artillery, is it? Set up the wrong direction. Move out! Seeking enemy! Shit, they've got magic. They're defending themselves somehow. I forgot about the gun. I forgot about the guns. For the twin tailed comet, the Empire. Untamed power. Halberdiers. By Ulrich's wrath. By Ulrich's wrath. Right scarred. Formation march. Fucking, where is that prick? Somebody shoot him. To battle, Sigma calls. Quick march. Load it, sir. Show us the foe. Ready for war. Eager. Bestial strength. <laughs> that bastard keeps fucking shooting my shit. Uh, CRZ, are you still, uh, Silver, are you still in there? Do you know how to um, time people out on Twitch? Or like ban them or whatever? This would be a perfect opportunity for you to practice your skills. Because I don't know how to do it. Yeah, they're very, they're good with, um, they're good with artillery. Ah, right, we don't really need to try and kill every single thing, I guess. <clears throat> hey, Silver. Good work. Excellent ban hammering. 27,000 seconds. How long is 27,000 seconds? Is that like half an hour? No, it's a bit longer than that, wouldn't it? No, would it? No. Yeah, I'd say most of the damage that he did was with his ready caster. Yeah, my handgun is my handgun is see a, a, a disturbing amount of melee combat, unfortunately. 
Um, yeah, he did uh, 9,000... No, he did 698 damage, 9.4k damage dealt. Yeah, he did the most damage out of anything. 9.4k damage, 698 damage gold value. With all the changes, the Carl campaign feels the same to me. Well, I haven't really been using much of the stuff. Um, I haven't really been using much of the stuff yet. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, that's, it does feel the same, but in, that, in a good way <laughs> to me anyway. Um, it does feel the same. It's just because I, because this is the way I always play Carl Franz. It's just that normally it sucks a lot more, <laughs> you know, whereas now I can actually ally with the faction. So see, now I've actually got alliances with Telebeck land, Wissen land, um, Marienburg, and I'm working on getting alliances with all the rest, you know, um, before you just have no alliance, even though you definitely should have an alliance because they love you and they've got 10 fealty and everything, but it's like, nope doesn't count as an alliance you know now you can actually get an alliance you know so it's just like not broken anymore basically um but also i've got allied recruitment with all those factions um and um and uh yeah and then and yeah we've got all these uh sort of like um we've got all these kind of um oh i was supposed to do growth last turn but i missed it um do it now yeah we've got these things we can do which i forgot to do last turn but yeah now we just um pop that growth up to four so if i can manage to find seven thousand gold somewhere we can be working on our um tier four settlement on turn 15 which normally that would take you know 23 turns or something or longer than that probably like 25 26 turns um Yeah, for me, it's like, yeah, for me, the main thing about it is like, everything's a little bit polished up. Like all the techs are better now. They're more effective. They're more interesting, you know. Um, all the skill trees are like better now, just slightly fixed and better, you know. The um, diplomacy actually works properly now. It isn't broken. Um, you know, so it's sort of like, it's sort of more like the removal of... Like before I had to like kind of pretend not to notice all these things that were fucked up about the Empire campaign, whereas now it's just kind of like how it should be. You know, that's kind of how I'd kind of characterize it. But yeah, it's it's not so much like it's fresh, it's more like it's fixed. It's kind of like more like how I'd feel. What? Where the hell is Pestus? Like he's I feel like he's right here somewhere. But I don't know where he is. Praise be to Sigma. Be good if there was somewhere around here that we could go where we would not take attrition as well. I could force myself over there. You can only confederate through the elect account system, yet. Yeah. yeah, through decrees. I actually kind of like that as well, because if you if you don't have the technology unlocked, then when you do it, you get um, minus two fealty with all of the other elect accounts. So you have to sort of, you know, I don't know, do a balancing act, I guess, of diplomacy or whatever. But I think, uh, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool, but I think you just get rid of it once you get the technology. So you probably just would try not to use it until you got the technology. Yeah, Belt Girl got moved to Cathay. Ready. Mm. Okay, move him back here, get replenishment. We can encamp him where this he is. is. My right by Sigmar's crown. Yeah, that's. Moving off. I guess that's what we want to do, isn't it? We're just going to encamp him where he is. This guy is pretty busted up. Sir, 
servant of the faith. I serve Sigma. Awaiting orders. Ready to serve. Archlector! Protector of the weak. Summon the Elector Counts. Now, what orders? Get training! They'll be marching all right. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know where he is. Soland, um, yeah, Soland still does exist, actually. Which it shouldn't, really. I know, I'm actually, does Soland, does Soland, um, does Soland the region still exist within Wissenland? Um, even though Soland the province doesn't exist because it got merged with Wissenland. Um, like in the Empire world, in the Warhammer world, I mean. Um, I'm not sure whether like the part of the part of Wissenland that was previously Soland. I'm not sure if it's still called Soland or if it's just you know called Steingart and filed off and whatever Southern Wissenland or whatever. But anyway, in this in this map, um, Soland is a separate region, but it's still part of Wissenland. Restart. <laughs> Why am I restarting? Because Soland's part of Wissenland. What Not more friendly. Yes, son of Sigma. For Sigma. The Empire General does get a buff. Yeah, he's got new skills now. Yes. Uh, actually, I, I I actually just got rid of a bunch of um, I just got rid of a bunch of like anti-corruption followers. That would have been good to have right now. Alright, Kalfranz needs to get geared up. He needs a messenger, he needs a scribe. He needs a valet. He needs a... Princess Wizard. Yeah, that'll do him. And he also needs to melt down these silver steel armors. Don't need those. Other tricks to shard, that's a pretty good item. Um... Tricks to shards, don't use those. Another rune fang. Everything else is good. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't have those ones, Spanner. He, um, um Carl Franz gets them by, um, confederating the elector counts or, or by, by placing one of his, um, Placing one of his generals on the seat. Bring me to my men. We could get some knights errant. Just some mounted yeoman archers. Gelt doesn't use the elector system, no. More fleet footed. I keep just getting fleet footed. I've got two fleet footed already. Um, I've got a spare slot. I'm going to wait, see if we can farm a better uh, trait. Uh, I don't know where their army is. They moved. I wonder if their army, they're going to go for that first or if they're going to just go straight for Marienburg.
All right, now we should be able to now use our um, electoral machinations to have diplomatic talks with Gelt. Yep. So even though we're at war with Gelt currently, um, I'm going to drop... All right, let's head into it's plus 62. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to... Does Voltmar have the state troop 75k gold text? They just select account buffs. Um, no, Gelt, Gelt still... So... Boltmar still gets his elect account. He Boltmar still gets his state troops through his books. I'm pretty sure. Um, I assume I haven't checked, but Wolfheart I assume still gets his state troops through his uh, gifts and whatever. Um, but uh, but yeah, Gelt and um, yeah, Gelt gets his through text. Yeah. Mrs. Mercy forgot my drop my Sigurai eye drops. Sir? So now I've got so now I've got sore eyes. True servant of Sigma. I live to serve the Emperor. Uh Electric Count Dominic is in Force March. Which is pretty dangerous, so we might have to respect him out. And we'll put in Otto the aggressive. Praise Sigma to strengthen the empire. But I'll give him Dragon Tooth, but we'll give him Seed of Rebirth and our Fortune and Chanted Item. Trickster Shard, yeah, probably Trickster Shard. Uh, we have Terra or Extra Magic Resistance Reduction. Oh, of course, Terra. Better. How easy was it to get early access? Um, uh, I don't know. It took me about three years, I guess, two and a half years or something. Uh, it took me about a year to get um, norm the f like first level early access, and then to get partner level, it took me another year, I think. Something like that. Finds Trickster Shard to be really good on Arch Selectors with Soulstorms. Yeah, I like to have at least one um, Trickster Shard, other Trickster Shard on uh, whenever I've got a heal, like a hero um, blob that I'm going to drop spells on. But uh, you know, it's not, it's not like I like, I like to have it, but you don't really need it most of the time because, um, because most most uh, enemies don't have any spell resistance, so it doesn't do anything. It's not spell weakness or anything, so it doesn't reduce their, you know, doesn't reduce their weak their resistance below zero. So if they don't if they don't have any spell resistance, it doesn't do anything. But it's nice to know that if they did have any spell resistance, you could, you know, strip it away. 
Let's hear. All right. The dragon blooded. Ice queen of. Ki what? Von Drachard. Or tribesmen. Celestia. Um. Oh, do we end up selling? Oh no, I didn't. I forgot to sell that region in time, so we got we lost it. Uh, we can sell. Um, we can sell Midnight now, though. It is good to see fellows. So yeah, we've got Lecter Count Dominic in charge of Middenheim. And we can oh and now we have to go over and do the same thing with Talapheim as well. Uh Talapheim? Yeah, Talapheim. And also with Sterland. So we'll be able to get their Lecter Count troops as well. Um Middenland. Welcome, my country. Giving back Middenheim. Military Alliance, all their money, or not all their money. Oh, they've got 8k. I wouldn't mind their, I wouldn't mind all of the entirety of their 8k. Um, hmm. Wait up. Have they started building Minstag? Minstag. They have not started building. Okay, cool. So we'll... Yeah, this is cool. So we'll... We'll trade for... We're going to kind of screw over mid and lane a little bit here, but that's alright. Um, yeah, so we'll take all their money plus Minstag. Fine. Then we'll give them Minstag back again. Plus defensive alliance. Indeed. All right, cool. So that yeah, so we, we put them in a tiny bit in debt, uh, like a hundred. Oh yeah, like a hundred gold or something. So they'll be fine. Uh, with the introduction of known iron sides, does this make handgunners irrelevant? Do they fulfill a different role? I guess just a higher tier. Um, uh, I don't know. Sorry, Cred. Um, I haven't played with the DLC yet, really. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about the DLC anyway, sorry. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The Nolan Ironsides, I think, would have heavy armor. Maybe, better, maybe a bit of melee defense or something. Um... But yeah, I think the heavy armor and maybe they've got slightly better guns as well. Yeah. Guess yeah, maybe they're really expensive. I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't really looked over their stats or anything. But I do like the idea of having some non iron sides. Alright, so up to 54. Got in ourselves scrolled ourselves back into the um, yellow region. Be great if we could get over 76, but I feel like that's a long way off. Mm. All right, so we got five turns on that. We'll pop a noble lord here before we, before we do it. So it takes only four turns. Yes, my lord. Now we'll uh, respec him out so he'll be back in three turns. Use him again to be a noble elsewhere. And yeah, I think we're looking uh, pretty healthy. The only thing is we need to always be recruiting. Should I get some great swords? Oh wow, the great swords are more expensive. Oh, that's crazy. So the great swords are actually more expensive than the um, caribou great swords. They're 203 here right now. And these guys are 225. Yeah, cool. Um, I just re I realized I keep forgetting to um, recruit the the Marienburg um, units. Let us forge our faith. Uh, 
fuck, I'll have, yeah, I'll have to wait until next turn again now. All right, hopefully this is going to be all right. Are the are they normally the same price without the upkeep reduction? They're just the same price as normal. The love to see the Hockland flag. I wish that the um I wish that the normal Hockland symbol was red and green rather than um bright bright green like that. Who calls? The nation calls. Are the electric troops available in multiplayer? Mm, no, I wouldn't think so, Spen. I don't think so. I think they're under the special units or whatever, so you have to, like, specially allow them to be played. To, uh, you have to, like, yeah. I don't think they'd be allowed in, in standard multiplayer. They'd be, um... You'd have to have like a friendly match or whatever. Summon the elector counts. They're um yeah, extended roster. So yeah, all of the um Yeah, Cobra, yeah, they're in the extended roster, so I don't think they can be um I don't think they can be um used in normal multiplayer. Alright. Oh, there he is. Vestus. Vestus the Lich Lord. By the comet. He's not a Lich Lord, he's a Leech Lord, but yeah. Alright. War calls. My Sigma's right. I command here. Right. Um Yes, General. Weapon practice. Fight for our nation. Who calls? In the name of Magnus. My orders are to move. Right. Heldon Hammer. Is it time? Raise your weapon. Yeah, so we're going to take this and uh, occupy it. Yes. It is war. Fight this one again. Just to get a bit of extra practice. Well, I don't know. It's like fighting every battle manually. I know it's I know it's a waste of time, but it's like you know, the game's there to be enjoyed, and I like I like watching my little dudes blow stuff up. Uh, I'm a bit nervous about this um, Festus battle that's coming up. Um, hopefully it's going to be a, a total letdown and not dangerous at all. <clears throat> yes, where is are no joke. Yeah. Shields. Oh, I got a raid. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks heaps, great book grudges. Is, is the, just called the great book of. Oh, cool. It works like that. Yeah, that worked. Um, yeah, thanks so much, uh, Nathan. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, and, um, welcome everyone who's come over from, um, from Nathan's stream. That's awesome. 
We're um, just about to have a fairly mild battle. This is, this is just a precursor to uh, to the big Festus battle, which is about to kick off probably next turn. This is just a this is a test ride, test drive. Who calls? Nathan. Indeed. Um, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope uh, Nathan was having a good time uh, with the new content. Um, is Nathan an Empire fan? I feel like Nathan's just an everything fan. Like, is there any faction that Nathan's not a fan of? I feel like he's just a fan of every faction. Can you cast Cataclysm spells? No, you can cast the Cataclysm spells now, but you have to be playing Balthazar Gelt. Franz doesn't have access to him. Was, um, was Nathan playing Gelt? He hates lizards? Yeah, I kind of hate lizards as well. Thorgrim's pretty, Thorgrim's pretty cool. I like, I like Thorgrim. I don't hate lizards, I just... I don't know, I just don't get into them, you know, like they just don't, they don't speak to my soul the way that, you know, the Empire and Chaos and the Dowie, the Dowie do. Man, this battle lines are all effed up. Did he get his summon off? Oh, yeah. No, we were at those. <laughs> you thought you were done for, but then the music changed. I love this new summon that you get with the um with the beast um new summon that we get with the beast um mate wizard. Summon a flock of giant eagles. All right, cool. I think our work here is done. How's the new Carl? The new Carl is fantastic. Um, yeah, I feel like they just completely fixed everything that they needed to fix with the Empire. Um, their new Carl Franz is really good. It's just, yeah, like you can now they've got, he's upgraded it with Warhammer 3 Diplomacy. They've got um, tech tree updated, skill trees updated. Some, I think even some traits got updated. Um, yeah, just pretty much just everything that I wanted for the Empire has all been updated now. So I can finally play the Carl Franz campaign I always wanted to play. Not needing the armory building anymore is great. Yeah, that's right. They changed, changed the building trees, split, um, split artillery and gunpowder. I actually made a video about the Empire rework, kind of going through like pretty much everything I could think of to say about it. Uh, I've got those linked in the chat. If anyone wants to check out those videos, I'd be very appreciative of the views and any feedback that you've got. Um, also, I haven't got it linked, but I also did a video about um, about the Gel rework and um, his 19 wizard army. Yeah, I went through the hero skills. I went through the hero skills on the wizard hero skills on the Gel video, and I went through all the other hero skills and general skills on the Carl Franz video. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to give it to the Elector, we're going to loot and occupy. 
Because you got to do this. You got to do this work around in order to get the uh, elect count state troops. So we've got to nominate another one of our mighty warriors to be an elect count. Summon the elect counts. Mm. Viscount Ty Laughing Fall. What a legend. Um, Peter Gorsa. Yeah, that's pretty good. The old hero's got the new skills. Yeah, Witch Hunter's got new skills. Empire Captain's got new skills. Um, Wizard's got new skills. I think a Warrior Priest is still pretty much the same. Uh, I don't think that there's new graphics. I, I don't know. I haven't noticed anything. Um, Calfriends have more life in his griffin. Yeah, he's got... Yeah, his health would go up if he mounts on his griffin, I'm sure. Um, all right. I think Peter Gorser is probably next in line. Who's... um. Um... Uh, Danny Strange hasn't. Has, yeah, let's make Danny Strange a noble. All right, let's um. Yes, my lord. We'll replace. No, we'll respec him out so he's back in three turns because it's otherwise if you replace he's out for five turns. And we'll put Brock in. Champion of the faith. Strange ke. Uh, Daniel Strengen. That sounds German. All right, beautiful. Uh, and then we want to make him the elect count of Hockland. Um, so yeah, so as long as he doesn't die and I don't or and I don't make him an elect count of any other regions, then the game will just consider us to still be the elect count of Hockland, even after I give back the region. So this is our way of kind of getting access to the you know the um the special troops, the um the um the 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 rune fangs and the uh, and special abilities and stuff like that without actually confederating or conquering any of the empire provinces because I feel like the most law friendly way to play the empire is where you don't confederate any of them because in in the Wormer world you know Kalfranz doesn't confederate any of the other factions they all act as independent princes I mean Kalfranz probably would confederate them if he could but um but yeah that's not the way it is in the in the Wormer world generally so I like to play my empire campaigns with no confederations. Um, and now, uh, and now it's a lot better. It's a lot, there's a lot more tools that you've got at your disposal to play, um, no confederation campaigns. So, well, we'll finally get the Gundam and Shofar, I mean the Borderman. I'm, I'm just going to get everything. Um, and then we'll put all those units into Franz's army once we can. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Summon the elect accounts. It, um, I think it literally teleports all of the elect accounts to your location. One thing I'm interested to know is though, once I, because the game, because I've kind of got the game tricked into thinking that I'm the elect accounts of all these places, even though I'm not. Like I, like even though Boris is listed as the elect account on here, like one of my characters is also an elect account. Of, of midland land <laughs> um so yeah i wonder if i when i do the elect account when i do some of the elect accounts is boris going to turn up or is my guy that i made the elect account of midland land going to turn up be interesting to see what happens but that's a pretty that's a pretty long way off we've got to um we've got to 
Yeah, I think we've got to put one of we've got to institute one of our guys as the elect account of like every single location um, before we'll be able to do it. I think it's going to be hard though because we don't really want to kill Elspeth von Draken, and we won't get an opportunity to take her settlements unless she gets wrecked. How does the new Empire system feel? It's feel it's really good. Really good, Skittle Twister, Skittle Twister. I did a video about it, pretty much with every all my thoughts about it. Um, it's I've linked it in the chat there if you want to check it out. I think it's about 10 minutes. Go, it goes through pretty much like everything I can think of about Carl Franz rework. Bye, Sigma. Um, all right, cool. Actually, since we've just recruited all of the elect account units, um, I might use requisition to reset it. It is going to cost 1,500 gold. Fifteen hundred, sorry, prestige. But that allows us to um, go back in here and just instantly recruit all of them again. Now we still have to wait the 15 turns till we get the next lot. Um, but when we get the next, when we get the 15, so we still have to wait oh, 10 turns, 14 turns. Oh, that's weird. How come these ones are 10 and that one's 14? Not sure. Um, yeah, so we still have to wait that long. But this will also reset um, in 15 turns. So we'll be able to do it, you know, get double recruit again over there. Let the bot spam the links. Oh, I've got it pinned, so it should show up at the top, but I don't know if it does. Um, but yeah, I, I I probably will get Nightbot at some point. I just haven't got it set up yet. Sorry. Is the Empire fixed in a definitive way, in your opinion? Yeah, pretty much. The Empire is like pretty much exactly how I want it to be now. The only thing is I want to be able to legitimately get the elect account, the elect account units. Le yeah, the one thing that I would change or that I would still request is that once you get the fealty um, up to like 9 or 10 or something, then that should unlock the elect account units for you. Because at the moment, the only way to get the elect account units is by um, installing one of your generals as the elect account of the province. Um, and I want to I want to play my empire as you know without conquering them without taking over all the provinces. So yeah, so the, um, there's this exploit that I'm using at the moment where you sort of take it over and then you give it back to them. But um, but yeah, I'd like it to be legit that you can actually do it. Yeah, you can use prestige to influence other fact other provinces now other um, non empire places. You just need to unlock this technology first, and then that allows you to use it with other um, non elect account factions. I don't get summoning elect accounts. You summon 12 whole armies to your location on the map. Yeah, I believe so. I haven't got to try it out yet, but yeah, that's that's how I uh, understood it. True servant of Sigma. Do you reckon they're going to be able to um, siege lock me? Fancy a plague. Oh, we're at war with these fuckers as well. Oh, I didn't even realize. Um... I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is dangerous, but. Ready to serve. Protector of the weak. I serve Sigma. Who calls? Oh yeah, they've got this extra income bonus now here, another 5% on there. So you can get your normal 6% here, plus your 5% there, plus your whatever your base amount is as well. <clears throat> so what's this boost income? Is it 5%? So 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 6 plus 16. Oh, I think they might have reduced that though. Yeah, so the total you can get is 16% now, I guess. I think it was, I think it was lower, I think it was more before without that skill though. Um,
Noble still give you 10%. Oh yeah, so yeah, but no yeah, it'd be cool to get some noble noble uh money giving. Actually, we're probably gonna go for some pretty for some fair bit of hero hammer. Get some life mages to heal up all of our uh, our brood of heroes. Imperious Shadow, tough tough shadow maybe. Mm. I do like Noble Death. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Fleet footed, fleet footed fire is not bad, actually. It's nice to be able to get away from flying enemies and stuff. We tested the gold wizard. Uh, tested it for what? No, um, no, I haven't tested it for anything. I've, I've, I've shown, I've went over the skills in the in the gold video, but I haven't, um, and I've used it in battle and stuff. Like I showed it in the gold video, but um, I mean, yeah, I used it in battle. I mean, I've casted some spells with it, but I didn't test it for anything specific. I heard there's a technology that makes tanks immune to projectiles from the front. Have you tested that? I haven't tested... No, I haven't tested much. I haven't really had a chance to play deeply into it. This is probably going to be my longest... Um, my longest campaign. Aura of Protection. Reinforced Plate Armor. Hmm... This must, maybe this is the thing you call it, talking about. Clad and heavy plates designed specifically to protect against projectiles. This unit is capable of deflecting even direct cannon fire. Hmm. I'm guessing it, I'm guessing it means that it's got, um, it's got like shield, um, yeah, 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 exactly. Not the missile resistance. Missile resistance is just missile resistance. It reduces all missile damage by that percentage. Doesn't matter whether it's artillery, ranged, or whatever. But um, this sounds like it applies to like shield. It's like they've got like shield block that would normally only apply to hand missiles, not to cannons and shit. But it's, it sounds like this is letting them use shield block against cannons and stuff, against artillery that would normally penetrate shield block. I that's what it sounds like to me, but. Um, I don't know why, it, I don't know that it would be 100%, but yeah, maybe it is. That would be pretty powerful. There is power within prayer. On march! Corn duck. All right, we need to... I serve no master. Our paths have crossed. Actually, while we're here, we can probably just for like one turn while these guys are sitting here, they can just No, no, that's not really much. I thought there was might have been something that buffs boost um yes. settlement income or something. Yeah, hedge wizards. Once we have um, more wizards in our um, more wizards in our army, we should be able to get more hedge wizards, so we can um, boost our magic. If we can get to next turn, we can sell Hockla sell Hergi back to Hockland. We might need to scam some money from somewhere in the meantime just to get us through. King Lewin Von Draken. Yes. What? Born to child of Miao Ying. Yes. 
Lady of the Earth. Instrument of the. An ad. I still haven't managed to get myself strong enough to. Should we go to war with Skarsnik? Oh, fuck it. May as well. Hail to your emperor. I reaffirm my. I, I reaffirm my you. bonds of friendship with the dwarfs. I ask this. Fighting your wars for you. You won't even give me a Fun. decent wage. Bloody stingy Amen. dwarfs. Who calls? The dra storm dragon. You need me? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, does village actually use? Uh, if you go to war, war with village, does he actually use so. changing the ways and stuff on you? <laughs> All right. I'm always too afraid to go to war with village in case he uses, um, you know, stop offer. army on me or something. But I can't even really remember seat. exactly which. Can't actually remember which. Um, which changing the ways that he actually has. Uh, he does have changing the ways, and does he have annoying ones like stop army and stuff? What? No evil doer may receive the blessings. I am Ame. I will go to war with Crooked Moon and his kids. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go to war with um. I'm not gonna go with the Lord of Ica Claw at the moment, just in case he turns out to be a pain in the ass. Alright, that's pretty good. I've had Village spawnify an enemy army, which was infuriating. Ah, uh, really? I've had him spawnify my armies a few times, which is always good fun. I don't like. I don't really like it. Like if I'm playing as like a Lithanar and then I get three chaos spawn in my army, I I feel like it's a, it feels a bit gross. I don't really dig it. Or if you're playing as dwarfs or something, but um, but if you're playing as a warriors of chaos faction, and you get spawn applied. It's pretty cool. Or even if uh, even if you're playing as um like a dark elves or something it's Ready? like yeah you can yes. kind of dig it all right um yeah i might go for i've got i've already got two i've already got two fleet-footed nobles so i'm kind of almost thinking about getting three so i can have a set like just have all of them super fast on pegasus's How many how many fleet how many fleet footed nobles is too many fleet footed nobles? That's the question. He did not think it too many. Don't think village can hold army? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should stop being afraid of village. Maybe he's not that bad. See the Nemesis Crown yet? No. No, I don't know anything about the Nemesis Crown. I haven't seen it. I don't know where it's supposed to be and or anything. We've got uh yeah, no. I'm pretty clueless about the Approach as friend and Empire's blessing. Yes. Oh yeah, actually uh yeah, fuck. If I had if I can get some money, I want to build an outpost in Middenheim to try to protect it, but it might get ganked by the goblins before we even get back there all right let's see what's going to happen ever vigilant warrior of sigma did did um i feel like this used to be easier to access with the arch lectors like did, was there did they used to have like no level requirement on the arch lectors or something i feel like this used to be lower level to get into or something but i don't know maybe i'm misremembering used to be able to get there right off the bat yeah i thought so so i wasn't just imagining it was it the same it's not the same for um warrior priest though is it the warrior priests have to level them up yeah grand soul fire from level four yeah yeah warrior priest uh, i mean arch selectors are pretty sweet Ah, so they didn't have the... They didn't do anything. They didn't do shit. Vistus has no balls. Hmm, alright. Um...
This is no not walled because it's ogres, right? Yeah. All right, I'll get Oleg Toddbringer. Oh, it is walled? Oh, no, so ogres still have the walls on the major settlement. They just, they just, um, they just, uh, it's just, it's only got four, it's only, it's only got four things, but it's still got the wall. Yeah, you can see the crenellations right there. I just didn't, I don't know. Ready. Didn't compute for some reason. I, serve I feel like corruption head. seems to be harder to get rid of in this patch. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Seems, yeah, seems harder. Yeah, yeah, they don't have walls if they're in Empire, if they're in Ogre regions or whatever, or Norsk, Ogre Norska or okay. Wood Elf regions or whatever, yeah. Us. Um. So, make haste, men. Actually. The Empire! What's the level of it? It's level one. Yeah, actually, I'm going to just, um, I'm just going to take it with Franz, that way he can get the experience, because we're trying to get him to level 17 so we can Not unlock Gotrek. Um, and we'll get um, these guys in as well, just so they can get... I go where I am needed. So they can get experience as well. Yes! Righteous fury upon them! Sigma heals us. Attack! Um... Uh, no worries, Krintaris. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for coming over from uh, Nathan's stream, and thanks, uh, thanks to Great Book of Rogers for the host. Um, it's such a fun day for me. Like it's, uh, yeah, it's so exciting. Like having everyone having, you know, showing off all this stuff and just, yeah, I kind of I'm start again the start of that kind of launch day excitement that you get, you know, around new DLCs and stuff. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope Nathan was having fun. But yeah, Nathan's crazy. Like he's so um, prolific with his Warhammer stuff. Like I, I follow him on Twitter, and I just constantly see him um, posting. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. I feel like in I feel like in about three posts, he pretty he he posted like uh, maybe more than that. Yeah, I feel like in a few posts he posted like more miniatures that he's painted that I've painted in my entire life, and like that was you know two years ago and so since like since then he's just keeps posting like more and more pop shit that he's painted like i feel like he must have painted like a hundred times as many miniatures as i've painted you know it's like I don't, I don't i don't know i don't know it's crazy i guess i've never really known um i've never really known like a tournament play like a you know like a hardcore tournament player kind of warhammer person before most like uh, all of the warhammer people i've known have been like kind of hobby more like ho hobby, uh, you know, amateurs, just amateurs, basically. Um, fuck, I hate this reinforcement point on this map. Like, so often, is it, like, is that where you re your reinforcements always come here, don't they? doesn't really matter what angle you come from, they always come from this weird point in the corner. I don't know, maybe not, it just feels like it, though. I'm thinking I might hit this side for this, for today. Usually I like to go over here for some reason, but... I mean, I think I like the wall. I like attacking the walls here because it feels feels like you don't you can just get in here with this one and you don't take too much from those towers. But I don't really like this in here. 
Whereas on this side, it's kind of the same shit, but I feel like this is a nicer area to attack in here. Which plays, which armies do you play in which setting? If that's too many, which is your favorite per setting? Hey, El Snyder, what are you talking about? Are you talking about tabletop Warhammer? Yeah, this um this kind of sucks. I don't know if I'm digging this. Um Yeah, we need everything here. We need everything out here at once. Like having like a half of our army just getting the crap shot out of us by towers does not seem very fun. I could just wait I could just wait up the hill here until everybody else comes out of range of their towers. I guess that's an option. Yeah, Gil got sent on a tour of duty to Nam. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, tabletop. No, nah, um, yeah, no, I was, I was talking about Nathan's tabletop collection. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I don't play, I don't play anything. Um, I, um, I used to play Warhammer Forty K, but, um, but I, um, but yeah, it's been a long time since I've had a game of Warhammer. Um, but, um, but I've always been into the, like collecting the miniatures, but not actually playing really. Um, and, um, and, um, and the novels I've read, like just crap tons of Warhammer 40k novels and Warhammer fantasy novels. Um, but yeah, I, I used to click, I used to collect, um, Harlequins. My first army was Elder Harlequins in 40k. And, um, but, um, then I switched over to, uh, to Space Marines and, for the majority of well ever since then i guess i've been in space marines um and Ready. warhammer fantasy wise um i collected some chaos warriors and some yes, um i didn't really collect much much fantasy stuff actually um, for You're actual miniatures i had I had some chaos warriors kits i had the avenging knights of the cleansing flame one of those really old regiments of renown for the empire regiments of renown which is pretty cool um i love those miniatures um i had some like marauder thugs they were called chaos thugs back in the day before marauders existed uh, but yeah i never actually played a game of women fantasy battles like i collected some miniatures for a while but i never actually played a game of it um, but yeah, I played Warhammer and I played uh, 40k and I played Necromunda and I uh, played a lot of Blood Bowl. But yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much my uh, and yeah, and in Blood Bowl, I'm into uh, humans was my main team, and my second favorite team would be Chaos Dwarfs. I feel like that's pretty much all of my tabletop miniatures collecting stuff. I feel like I've thoroughly answered that question now. Working on the old world Bretonnia and Lizardman armies right now. My first time despite hitting my 40s. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just recently kind of got back into painting and stuff, but I, yeah, I've been finding it really hard to actually do it like yeah, I'll have like a day where I'll do a bit of painting and then I just won't touch it again for like three months and stuff. You know, it's like super slow progress. But yeah, I'm currently trying to paint a squad of... Suddenly trying to paint a squad of Iron Warriors Terminators and I've got a squad of Blood Angels Terminators that I've just undercoated, but I haven't gotten any further than that. I think I need to, I need to buy another can of base coat. All right. The elect accounts are assembled. I reckon... I reckon... I reckon we might just go over here. How, how far do the towers reach? Oh yeah, we're sweet. Yeah, I reckon we go over here. And then... Um, 
Yeah, then we can still come in from my my favorite spot. Yot had some changes. Uh, no, no, I made a whole separate video, Sorterist. There's two, I put out two videos today. One's called um, Gelt, um, Gelt Rework and 19 Mage Army or something like that. Um, so that one's all about Gelt and the Wizard the Hero updates and stuff. And it's also got a, a little, uh, it's also got a battle in it where I show off using all the Cataclysm spells and um, just and yeah, just blowing stuff up with 200% um, spell intensity and stuff. Gundaman's Surefires. I'm looking forward to putting all of these um, electric count units in Karl Franz's army and seeing what they're like when they're fully buffed. I feel like we've, we're, uh, I feel like we're low on ranged units now though. Oh yeah, I just bought. Oh, yeah, I just bought the starter set because I was gonna buy a terminal. I wanted to buy because I wanna. I wanna like recreate the old um, Blood uh, Blood Angels squad from the old um, Space Hulk um, board game. And um, but I, rather than it's out of print at the moment, so I was just gonna like make my own, buy all buy all the miniatures myself, and like make my own Space Hulk set. And um, yeah, so I was gonna buy a Space Hulk, one of the new Terminator kits, because the new Space Marine Terminators look really cool. Um, but it was like eighty eighty dollars from my hobby store to get this Space Marine Terminator squad, and it was like a hundred dollars to get a starter set, which included a Space Marine Terminator squad and a Space Marine captain and a squad of primaris marines and something else and like a whole tyranny army <laughs> so i was like oh well yeah i may as well spend 20 dollars extra to get all this other stuff not that i actually wanted any of that other stuff i literally only want the terminator squad but yeah i don't know i thought i may as well get it so yeah so i've actually got i've actually got the starter set for waymo 40k current edition Apparently you're allowed to fight the DLC units, so is there any chance you could fight Nolan if I ask really nicely? Nope. There is zero chance I will fight Nolan. Because I'm the fucking Emperor dude. Nolan's on, on our side, Spanner. Jesus. How many times do I have to explain this? All of the Empire provinces, they're our friends, and all the people who aren't the Empire, they're our friends too, And but some of them we have to kill. Nolan are friends, not food. That's right. Yeah, nah, I'm not going to attack Nolan, but we could, um, but we could, um, we could, um, we could try and, like, fight with a, in a battle with Nolan as allies. That could be pretty cool. Bro, he's so far away. Is he stuck? Yeah, he gets stuck sometimes. I feel like Carl Franz is just about to handle... Oh, actually, they're not really doing that well, are they? I was going to say, I feel like Carl Franz is about to handle business, but yeah, he's not really handling it. Oh, can the... What the... Can the artillery not outrange the towers? No, that's bullshit. All right, guys, practice your bravery by just getting shot in the face for us there. No, actually, just move right in. Let's do it. Not be 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna do nothing, but. That is nothing, but. Yeah. Is this, if we overcast this, does it an AoE? Chuck some, chuck some buffs down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Flock of Doom is doing nothing to them, but... Some of our cheaper, um, cheaper units of infantry over there. We're trying to kill this. Uh, still trying to kill this lord. Pretty good little goon squad going on now. I'm on the side of cool and I want to see my Hockland lung rifles. Yeah, well, we'll we can hang out and be friends with um, Null. Somehow tower arrows have longer range than most cannons. Yeah, I know, it's weird. It's weird, um, weird thing. But it's just, that's physics. That's how physics works. Have a little simp army follow Elspeth around. Yeah, yeah, I'll just have like one lord, like a solo lord with a unit of, uh, a unit of archers or something. Just follow her around. Try and join into all of her battles. Storming ogre settlements with halberds is pretty Kino. What's Kino mean? Did the Slayer King get reworked? Any Slayer changes, or is it still the same? Hey, crack! I don't. I didn't. I don't know. I had. I did look, but I, I didn't really see anything at first that jumped out at me as being changed, but. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some sort of changes with him, but I didn't, yeah, nothing really jumped out at me, so I wasn't too sure. Kino is French for art. Kino, highest quality film material. Oh, okay. So it's like, so you'd say Kino kind of like in the same way you would say like chef's kiss, like, kind of thing. We've got a cinema in Melbourne called the Kino. The elector counts. The nation calls. All right, so we've taken Talib back land. Uh, we've taken Talibheim. Um, and so... Is there any corruption Ready. here? True no. servant of Sigma. Um, and so now haste, we can man. install one of our electors, one of our generals as the elector of... Talibak land. Who is worthy? Who's the worthy? Who's a worthy uh, general? Honored to serve. Oleg Todbringer. Disciplined beast. He's already proved himself in battle, having slain Kazrak One Eye in single combat. I mean, there's just there was just him and like a thousand dudes that helped him kill him. But you know, he, he says it was single combat. Um, who 
else do we have? Oh, we need a wolf's paw in this campaign, I think. Call him. He's a viscount. We've we've raised him to viscount, so he can be in charge of this province. He's not quite a proper elected count. Is that's right? Um, I always call him Wolf Palin. Brother Viscount Wolf Palin. Um, the reason I'm renaming him is because I've got to remember not to let him die and not to make him the count of any other provinces. And as long as we, as long as he doesn't die, and as long as I don't put him as the province in, into in charge of another province, then he'll keep giving us those elect count bonuses forever, even if we give back the region. Hey, here's Johnny. I linked a video in the um, in the pinned comment there, and it's got all the um, it go go through all the um, skills in there. So it might be easier to check it out. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Spanner's telling you as well. Yeah, I mouse over them all in. I mouse over them all in the in the video, so you can just it'll be easier there. You can just pause it and check them out. Here's a post showing the Nemesis Crown and the decisions. Oh, okay. Is that... Um, thanks, Silver. I'll check it out. Oh. Is it, what does it do? Hmm. Once an elect account, always elect account. That's true. Unless you unless you're dead, then you're not an elect account anymore. You're just just dead, essentially. All right. Um. Champion of the faith, protector of the weak. The Sutsun's guns. I command here. On march! Yes, to unite the provinces. So we basically want to have all the elect account units in Karl Franz's army because he is going to buff them. got three too many units. Uh, I guess we get rid of the amount of German. We get rid of... I guess we could get rid of the old handgunners. Because we've got new handgunners now. Yeah, that makes sense. So... And Emperor. Big 
buffs for our to catch. We gotta um Gotta start leveling up those uh electric units so that they can get their bonuses. Is there there's no electric count crossbowman, is there? No, I don't think so. Bring me to my men. Praise be to Sigma. Alright, these guys. I should have put him into I uh, should have put him in channeling stance before I Sigma switched I over the units. Selector. Now we can't do it. Um the Stir River Patrol. Oh, that was, I was thinking of Stir River Patrol, but then I thought they were halberds or something. Yeah, nice. Um, well, yeah, well, Stir River, I mean, um, Sterling is probably next down our list of electors to reclaim, but I kind of need to get back over here and get rid of those Black Pit greenskins, but... Um, Yeah, I might... Mm, yeah, maybe I'll leave Sterling to its own devices for a little bit. Oh, actually, no, we do need to get down here because if we don't get down here, then these factions are all going to get wrecked and then Elspeth's going to take them and then I'll have to fight her, you know, then I'll have problems getting her back off her. Actually, no, if Elspeth takes them, takes them, I can just tell her to give them back, can't I? Because she's a, she's the same stuff applies to her as everybody else. Sir. Um. Yeah, I wish I I kind of wish I had dug these greenskins out before when I was over there. Now I have to go and backtrack, and it sort of sucks. But at least we get the black pit. So I have a little another little base there. Sigma's will come in peace. Um, yeah, we'll tax, um, of course. The tax uh Telebook land a bit. As you say, sir. Right. Only, only put him a couple of thousand gold in debt, that'll be fine. I can handle it. But yeah, that gives us a little bit of petty cash to work with. Um and we're still um Thank we're still in allied uh territory, so we still got replenishment here. I will do anything which is for great. Sigma. Well if I can't wolf Poland can have a rest. Warrior of Sigma. <sighs> we see we really need to take him out because if we don't wipe him out, he'll probably pop back up again. I guess I could send. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need two armies to take Brass Keep sometimes. Depends whether there's a stack there or not. If there's no stack in there. Yeah, there is a stack in there. I don't know how. It's only got four units or something there, right? It's four, yeah. Yeah, Carl Franz could probably... They will obey. Probably solo. It's just we've only got two archers, so it's like... We've got a pretty good little hero squad, though, I guess. Your orders. Um... You just about start another army as well. You say he's like the plague here. Flaming arrows that reduce speed. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm going to send... What? You're gonna send one army that way and one army that way, essentially. That's the gist of it. Just 
Should I start getting these things up to tier 4, or tier 2, or... Like Grunberg. Grunberg's not really that safe. Oh, I wonder if we can nip in and steal Wordbad. <clears throat> Alright, let's um we'll raise a noble lord here so it's so that it doesn't take so long to build the building. Oh, we've got another noble. Nice to get as many nobles as you can just so you can have them all uh, just have them always um ready to ready to pop out. Arch lector. Excuse me. Um I will go. All right, and we'll give him. What should we go for? We'll go for. Some Empire Crossbowmen. And. We'll go one unit of. Bretonian Knights Errant. And it's some uh that's some good old free company. It's a Marienburg Free Company. Northern Halberdiers are good, they get rowdy for perfect vigor. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I just want to get everything basically. We're doing a pretty good... I'm really happy with how many we've got already. We've got like six different electors we've managed to knock off already, I think. Without confederating anybody. And we've kept almost all the electors alive. Uh, yeah, no, all of them are still alive. Even even, even Ostermark. They're uh, probably going to die next turn or something, but yeah. Um, thanks, um, thanks to, to all the um, moderators and just everybody in chat as well that's been helping with, you know, when explaining stuff to other people when they come into chat and stuff so that I don't have to keep saying the same stuff over and over again. Um, yeah, it's really helpful. Uh, this sucks. Ah, oh. first just saying how none of the factions have been destroyed, and then Avalanche just gets immediately gets destroyed, and still it gets just, two two factions get destroyed straight away in the same turn that I say that no one's got destroyed. All right, well up, until then, no one had been destroyed, but now everyone's been destroyed. It's like a destroy everyone party. All right, <clears throat> have I drunk all my coffee? Oh, well, so is, oh, no, so Festus is still alive, but he lost Kappelberg. Does that mean I don't need to send an army over there to check on it? I might raise an army anyway, just as a. I will marshal the men. This will bolster the nation. I am prince and emperor, true servant of Sigma. Moving out. I serve the Heldenhammer. 
Um, oh, these fuckers took wood bad now. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like we need to deal with um, Vlad at some point. In the name of Magnus. Agreed. Hmm. Yeah, we need to, um, we've got two, uh, like our armies are too good. They're too um, expensive. We kind of need um, more um, cost effectiveness. Praise be to Sigma. Is it time? It's just like this is 7,000 gold worth of army sitting here. Um, yes, I really need to split Lord. them up into two different groups so that. On march! So that they're being more efficient. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promises to my ascent. Of course. All right, got another alliance. So we've got one, two, three, four, there's five, six. So we've got six alliances. So that means we're getting plus 30 growth. Plus 30 growth from all of our um, settlements because of our you need fire? faction, our faction mechanic. Where is our faction mechanic? Uh, oh, if you look on here. Yeah, alliances plus 30 growth. There you go. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, we got a free, um, we got a free witch hunter. Oh, something weird going on with his hand there. His gun's floating. Um, yeah, I like the new Witch Hunter skill set. Um, physical resistance, unbreakable. Uh, they get this temp weird Templar ability that gives enemies minus winds of magic. I wonder if you stack... Oh, I wonder if you stack that. Like if you had an army, like a full Witch Hunter kill squad or something, you have like 18 of them. It gives like minus 90 Winds of Magic per turn to enemy armies. It's pretty cool. And oh yeah, and this Vigor loss reduction, minus 33% against all Chaos, Norska, Demon, and Greenskin factions. So I guess if you get three three of them, that would give you um, perfect Vigor for your whole army. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, they're just overtaken with their zealousness. Uh, outposts new. Uh, outposts are new in Warhammer Three, so I think that well, they came out like a year ago or something. Um, but yeah, the outposts allow you to recruit allied recruitment, so you can get um, get other factions units. Um, which hunters are not recruited from the tab tavern anymore? They're recruited from the gunpowder units now. Um, plus twenty percent am ambush success chance from heroes army. Um, so I'm guessing you, with this one you could stack as well. You could have like three or four of them and have like plus eighty percent. Um, ambush dance or whatever um, but if you do this way of the wolf you, and you get stalk as well but you lock out the other one so there's three different paths that you can take um, armor piercing missile damage etc and snipe remains hidden while firing this is pretty cool isn't it he's like extra speed and um, you can you can have snipe so you can shoot while he's invisible but they've got such short their range is only 90 so they've got such short range that he'd probably be you'd probably get seen um, if you came within 90 of a faction, of an enemy unit. Um, and this one's what, anti-corruption, en enables flaming attacks, assassination, yeah. It's like the purger, the purge, the heretics one. But yeah, this one is pretty cool, it's like general brawler. This one's more like sni um, stalk sniper, and this one's more like your anti-corruption and executioner on map hero. Um, accusation is still the same as it was before, I think. Um, Grim Resolve makes everybody around him immune to psychology in a 55 meter radius. So he can lead the peasants with the pitchforks to take out the uh, evil monsters. 
And the Tools of Judgment gives him plus 12 melee attack and melee defense whenever there's a terror-causing unit within 15 meters of him. So if he's fighting like a Vargulf or a, um, or a you know, Vampire Lord on a, on a, on a um, Zombie Dragon or something like that, then he gets uh, this boost. Well, that's the same. That's the same. Yeah, but yeah, I know. Really, I think they're really cool. Um, really cool skills, like really cool, um, like interesting skills from a gameplay perspective, but also really, um, really, like thematic. You know, like they tell a story. They like it gives you an image of a type of certain type of cool character in your mind. You know, like I think, yeah, I think they did a really good job with it. Forward. All right, heretics. Let's get let's get over here and get busy. I serve no master, Sigmar's will. I heard your orders on the wind. I am gone. All right, I'm going to send him out there where all the heroes are. Oh, I don't, tough or noble? Tough is nice, actually, to be in a little hero squad, but noble is also good. I get the tough one, I guess. And two two more turns till we get more capacity, I think. Yeah, yeah. So we can maybe get the noble one as well. Yes, son of Sigma, a time to heal. Silence. By the comet. Yes. Champion of the faith. What happened to that green skin army? Did they get wiped out, those skull smashes or what are they called? Yeah, I think they got wiped out. Um, what? What? Welcome, men of the Empire. Agreed. General! Win. Attention! Greetings. Pardon my lack of nuance. I am a warrior. I am glad. Natural authority. So the empire. Yes, tyrant. Uh, okay. Um, the tree hammers. They still control. The time of your pitiful emperors. Is yeah, I don't want to be at war with the scaling. That's fine. The tree hammers control. Um, work bad. Um. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to go to war with them. Oh yes, post battle loot. Fuck, you're a genius, Spanner. Yes, I need to test that out. I need to test that. Um, so yeah, as I explained in the um, in the Empire video. Um, you get about uh, whatever your post battle, your instant post battle loot is. Not not for what you choose when you choose your options, but the instant post battle loot that you get straight after the battle. Whatever that is, you get about um, forty percent of that as prestige. That's like your base kind of prestige, um, or you get like two point five times as much gold as you get prestige. Um, but yeah, I haven't tested it with boosting post battle loot um that's really that's a really good point spanner because if yeah if boosting post battle loot also boosts prestige then that's really cool um if it doesn't then you know that's not so cool but at least we know all right so i want to hmm, yeah i want to take this settlement off those guys but i think we need more than this but i'm not sure if i'm i'm not sure if i'm willing to invest more. Well. I live to serve the Emperor. <clears throat> it will be done. Let us forge our faith. Yes. So, I don't know, should I keep the brass keep? 
It's orange, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just give it to Hoagie, but give it to Auckland, but um, then again, we've got like limited regions that we can actually occupy, so We don't have many regions to worry about. That's one good thing, I guess. Oh, cool. Marienburg is actually pushing back. They took that back by themselves. Oh, that's awesome. If they could... Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted them to take that back. I wouldn't mind taking Black Pit and the Wreckers Point for myself. Or maybe I'll give Wreckers Point to Nordland. Let them look after that. And I'll just keep Wreckers Black Pit. That way I've got like a a base of operations to keep an eye on Midland and what have you. Oh, good night, Wills Paul. I don't know if you noticed, but um, we named um, one named one of our mighty warriors in your honor. Brother Viscount Wolf. Brother Viscount Wolf Poland. Now you can die gloriously for the Empire. I'm, I'm sure that was your most fervent wish. All right. Another thing I want to see is if the new mechanic that gives the character 2.5k experience always with a method. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I first did it, I thought that it gave, um, I gave heroes XP, like the way that battle XP, you know, like when the Lord gets battle XP, the heroes get like 50% or whatever. I thought that it was doing that. And I was like, yeah, I was like getting really excited. But then I tested it again. I was like, no, nah, it didn't, it doesn't give it to the heroes. Like I thought, I thought that the heroes were getting it as well as the Lord, but no, they weren't. Um, all right, bro. Why do they keep trying to steal all my, uh, keep trying to steal all my prestige? I'm trying to save it up. All right, I'll, uh, I'll hire. I'll, uh... Oh. If I do nothing and the Beastmen actually take none, then I could actually get it, but I could actually get it. Now, no one was too strong for the poor Beastmen. They got wrecked. Oh yeah, we can build walls now, so we can start getting uh, Ulrika. I should have gotten onto that ages ago, but yeah. By the comet, summon the Elector Counts. They changed the name of the faction to Wissenland and Nuln. Wissenland and Nuln. Yeah. Just like Emanuela wants it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was just thinking, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, I feel like she's gonna. Servant of the mm, she's not at war with. Bring me law and lost wisdom, and I shall treat. Mm. Praise Sigma. Step to it. <laughs> And James James Lehman's all like, I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. They attempt to ambush and then like they're like, oh no, it's not gonna work. And then James just charges into the bushes and slaughters all the ambushes with his superior empire swordsmanship. They can retreat. They can retreat to hell. Um, yeah, you get you always get a nice amount of prestige if there's a lord involved. Even when the, the lord's only got like ten percent health left, it's like the the it's a, the actual killing of the entity is what seems to give you the prestige and the gold. It was a victory, yeah. It was a win for us. Only one. 
Oh, that's their camp. Okay. Um, yeah, if I can knock out... If I can take this settlement off them so they don't have work bad anymore and then just leave the camp there and then peace out with them so we can keep the camp and, and hire mercenaries from them, that would be pretty cool. It is for the best. To battle. The Empire. We will. All right, take this, so hopefully we can take this next turn and then gift that back to Talibak land. Um, it's costing me money to do it, but oh, actually no, we don't have to give it. Don't have to. I can just uh, give it back to them without taking it. Because if I take it, then I have to re. I have to sell it to them, but I'll sell it for like less than what it costs me to actually recolonize it. Because um, I'm just a single lord. No peace. Into battle. What orders? Ever onward. To war. Servant of the faith. What level is this? See at three. Oh, okay. Um. Shit. Maybe I should occupy it. Men, war calls. Oh, why have I got three? Artillery pieces in here. Sigmarite arch lector. Right, let's um, Sigma. let's give you. Wait, which ones? No, you have that one. We're gonna keep the keep the Marienburg firework just as a memento of our glorious victory, and I think we would like some more crossbows. Raise your weapons. Yeah. So we'll um yeah we'll get like the count. For the emperor. I see no other option. Sigma is with us. We're probably able to get replenishment on the way back west. What's the corruption levels here? It's pretty messed up still. Um Purge the heretics. Faith shields us. Alright, let's do let's do an order resolve. Nine hundred and eighty prestige out of that because we had, I guess it was because we had a lord and a hero. Maybe the hero is worth a lot as well. I'm gonna take the loot and occupy. Um, yeah, even though I feel like, even though it says that Bass Keep is like. Part of Hockland. I'm gonna say that you know the Brass Keep was you know too chaos infested, so rather than give it back to the Hockland Elector, we couldn't really trust them to be able to handle it correctly. So I had to send like a you know a, ret a retinue of uh, elite warrior priests and arch electors there to, to purify the ruins so that the foul taint of chaos will not, uh, right will not return. I'd like to get some magic in here. Where's that, um, where's that master? Our paths have crossed. Finding paths, who calls? I should have given him an extra unit. Um, actually, we could probably, I am gone. We could probably split this. Their treasures are mine. Give him, give him that wizard, and um, and then Carl Franz can get the life wizard.
Uh, Monkey Fan Fu says the Countess of Wissenland um, wants to split Nuln off from the rest of Wissenland because she hates the countryside. So changing the name is a reference to that. Yeah, that's right. Um, but von, von Liebowitz, she um, she just loves Nuln, the culture and the you know the um, all the all the wondrous things that Nuln has and uh, so high society and technology and civilization, basically. And uh, yeah, she's been trying to get Carl Franz to let her um, split Nuln off and make it a separate elect account, elector um, province. Awaiting orders. I command here. What's the um winds? What do we got with winds? We got plus five, minus five, plus five. Plus ten. Plus five. Uh, um. Hmm. I am Prince and Emperor. Should I just let's go? Just force march there. Any AI improvements in this patch? Well, we haven't got the patch notes, so I, we don't really know what they've put in it, but um. Yeah, I, I don't know. They didn't. They haven't told me about um, any AI changes, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any. Oh, I need a noble lord here so that we can. Who calls? Ever vigilant. Noble, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your word is my command. Yeah, so put him in Altdorf. And that should go down to three. And then if we can recruit a new noble lord. Yes, my lord. That should go down to two. And <clears throat> Could build a witch hunter. What do you reckon I should build in this last slot? I wouldn't mind building um, Reichsguard. Um, or artillery. I wish that you got extra gold for public order like the high elves do. I feel like you should get some sort of a... Hey, Momshul, man, thank you so much. Your stream kept me entertained for the whole day. Oh, no worries, buddy. Um, I've been uh, I've been really enjoying myself too. I'm starting to get a little bit tired now. But um, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad it was uh, I'm glad it was enjoyable for you. What's the upgraded? What is the upgraded landmark building for the Reichsguard? Um. So the normal one just gives you recruitment. The upgraded one gives you minus 5% upkeep, plus 3 recruit rank, local recruitment duration, minus 1. And, ooh, attribute devastating flanker for Reichsguard units, all armies. Oh, wow. Good call. Good, um, yeah. Good guys. I didn't even notice, notice that one. All right. Well, I feel like we need to get, we need to get it now. Oh, uh, there's 3,000 gold. I'm kind of broke. It was worth it. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think that's going to be cool. I will marshal the bed. Do we need? Um... Ready to serve. Flagellants. I don't mind getting some flagellants, just, you know, just cause. Of the faith. Oh, this fucker's... No this fucker's coming for us. The Empire. 
Sigma heals us! Now! I'll scout the area. Servant of the faith. Ready! What does the Emperor bid? Fine! Alright, let's get... Let's get a couple of units of Fledglings, just because. And... Um... Hmm. Don't really want any of these. How cheap are these guys? They're so cheap. Uh, I guess we'll wait until next turn so we can get some archers. Um, and Marienburg. We just want more guns. Uh, I guess halberds. <laughs> and. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Uh, I think I'm, um, I think I'm fucking nearly done, guys. Sorry. I, um, I, uh, yeah, sorry. I was, I was tr trying to be all like, yeah, I'm going to stream for like 11 hours and shit, <laughs> you know, whatever. but, um, but yeah, I didn't get any sleep. Um, uh, I, I mean, I got like four hours sleep after yesterday's stream, but I didn't, I didn't get any more sleep after that. So yeah, I feel like I, uh, yeah didn't manage to prepare adequately for the stream so i think i'm a bit busted but um but yeah before i go i might just um muse for a few minutes about what we might want to play tomorrow um so those of you who have seen the carl franz um no so the carl franz video was basically just explaining all about the update and everything kind of the stuff that we recapped on today but um but just like every single thing pretty much um I think it's pretty comprehensive on everything, like almost everything anyway. Um, but then there's also the Gelt video. And if you've seen, the, it was going to say, if you've seen the Gelt video, then well, I'll chuck a link to it now. If you've seen the Gelt video, then you know how crazy bullshit Gelt's faction is now. Like, so just so crazy, <laughs> like he, crazy hero hammer, mage hammer, geltness. Um, I'm actually, I, yeah, I wouldn't mind maybe playing that, but um, I'm also thinking maybe dwarfs. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I was, I guess, I, um, I guess, um, I'm, I'm asking if you guys have any ideas about what would be fun. Um, I think, um, I think Gelt would definitely be fun, although I have already checked out Gelt and I've already made that video to sort of show you some of that stuff, whereas I haven't made any content for the dwarfs and um, although I'm sure there's other people playing dwarfs that are doing a great job, but but I, um, I do love me some dwarf. Another thing I want to see is if the new mechanic that gives character 2.5... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I try um yeah. No, well I worked I worked hard yesterday anyway. <laughs> um in playing. So yeah, I was thinking either Grum Brindle or Thorgrim maybe. Um I'll just have a quick look at let's say I'm just gonna have a quick look at some of these dwarf faction starts and see um what's up. So Ungram, I'm thinking with Ungram, I'm not gonna play Ungram until after the DLC drops because then we'll get all the different Slayer units. But um, I just wanted to have a quick look at him and see if there's any changes to his tr skill trees or anything like that. Um, I like the new. Um, I like how the Thanes have got their a new skill tree now for the dwarfs as well, so they're not so useless. Although I still find, I feel like they inc they so they made the Thanes better. Hey Pythax, thank you for the many years of quality Warhammer content, Mercy. You are a fantastic entertainer. Here's a little something for your efforts. Oh wow, that's amazing, um, Pythax. Thanks so much, man. You're a legend. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually full-time YouTube now. I quit my job 
perhaps somewhat unwisely <laughs> a few months ago. Uh, so I'm uh, so I'm a, I'm a full-time bard now. It is time to fulfill your oaths made in Carrick Cadrin. Uh, your votes for Grumbrindle. He's strong and he's got a bit of flavor. I must yeah, no, nah, it's, um, no, nah, it wasn't really unwise. Like, it was definitely the right the decision for me. It's just, it was, it was not really my decision that was bad. It was just, it was a bit unfortunate that, like, immediately after I quit my job to go full-time on YouTube, that was when CA basically just totally shit the bed with Shadows of Change and fucking half the company got fucking made redundant and it was just like, that was unlucky. <laughs> but yeah, it all worked out. Well, it's working out. Oh yeah, worthy foe. This is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> when there's a terror causing unit within 15 meter range, he gets plus 20% weapon damage and plus 12 melee attack. So that's like, yeah, this, that's like the new Slayer thing. They're basically like, um, I think Gotrek has that as well. Whenever they, you know, there's a big bad enemy, like they all get, they get all charged up. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully the, um, hopefully the future is looking a bit brighter for, um, for the Warhammers and for Creative Assembly. Passive ability, Journey's End upgraded for Slayer units. Journey's End upgraded. What's Journey's End upgraded? Why doesn't... What? I mean, tell me what it is. Where is it? Journey's End upgraded. Journey's End upgraded. What is Journey's End upgraded? What is it? So Journey's End is enabled if hit points greater than 75%. I wonder if Journey's End upgrade is old Journey's End, 50%. Because this, so they've got, so he's got normal, he's got Journey's End like normal, 75%. But this says Journey's End upgraded. So I'm guessing that must mean that the, that if you get that, you get the old Journey's End, the 50%. Yeah, it seems like it. You just got to get to level 12. Old 50% would be amazing. Yeah, for sure. Is Journey's Journey's End is just for his army, isn't it? Lord's army, yeah, yeah. Slayers are back, baby. Yeah, that's it. Um, I think that this is I think this is Creative Assembly's new um design philosophy. You know how a while ago it was like everyone was saying like whenever they do an update, it was always to like fix some cheese that was like totally harmless, but it was just people were enjoying it, and then they just like fix you know, they don't fix any of the bugs, they just fix like some cheese that some people were having some fun with, and it was like there was like this kind of meme going around that CA was like anti-fun and shit. Well, I think like basically they've flip-flopped on that now, whereas I feel like they're all about the fun now. And that's what it feels like with this new DLC, especially like they've just made everything fun, you know, like they got rid of, they, they, they had this whole theory that the dwarfs should be like, dimin you know, diminished um, replenishment and everything because they're a dwindling race and whatever. Then they're just like, actually, no, fuck it. That wasn't fun. We'll just get rid of that. We'll just give the dwarfs heaps of replenishment now, have a replenishment coming out their ass. They can have instant replenishment after battles. Give them all their replenishment. Fuck it. Make it, make them fast as well. Make them be able to travel really far. Make them be able to teleport across the other side of the world. You know, like everything that they, like, do you know what I mean? Like everything that they, yeah, they just, I feel like that's their vibe now. They're like, all, all the things that they were sticking, they were sort of sticking to, despite the community complaining about, now they're just like, oh, fuck it. Just give them what they want. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. Uh, that seems good. Hey, old fart. It's always important to have some cheese. Yeah. I mean, I think in a strategy game, like the, the whole point of it is to try to find cheese, you know, um, slayers to me. Casual replenishment rate, see what I mean? More just replenishment, more replenishment. Um, upkeep reduction, that stacks with the follower that you get that reduces upkeep, and that also stacks with the, I think he gets 25% reduced upkeep for Slayers. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so he definitely does have a new skill tree and he's updated, but it's all Slayer stuff. So yeah, I think I'm still going to go with my original plan, which is not to play Ungram until after, after the DLC drops, so on the 23rd. So yeah, maybe we'll play him on the 23rd. Although I feel like everybody's going to play Ungram on the 23rd. So it might be... Um... Oh, actually, no, not everyone will play Ungram on the 23rd because they'll all be playing like Elspeth von Draken and Tamakin and stuff. Yeah, maybe we could play... Maybe we should play Slayers. Play Ungram Slayers. That could be cool, actually. Um... 
but yeah, anyway, so for now, all we need to do is, yeah, we're not going to play Ungram. That's all we need to know. That must be the regular skill tree that Slayer Lord can have. Could be. Could be. Um... Summon the Elector Counts. Um, Dwarfs. Yeah. Vengeance. So yeah, I was basically thinking, I just play. I played Thoric recently, so I don't think I want to play Thoric again um, for a while. And I think before that, I played Belagar. Um, oh, I know. Maybe I played Thorgrim. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah. Um, for the I'm probably tossing up between, mainly between Thorgrim and Grumbrindle. Or tomorrow um like i could do a poll or something but i don't really care about polls mostly like the main reason i whenever i do a poll the main reason i do the poll is so that you guys can for the, to read the comments um and hope to see if hopefully you guys are giving me some ideas <laughs> so it's like yeah that's kind of like what i'm what we're doing right now i'm like i'm kind of poll gauging interest but i'm actually just like looking for ideas as well because I get inspired about campaigns, like, you know, like, when you have some sort of concept about it. Like a goal, like a goal, or you're trying out a particular thing, or... I think these, these little portrait things look heaps cooler now. The shadows or something that they did on them, like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't have shadows before, and now they've got shadows, and it makes them look quite a bit cooler. Did he always... Did, was he always sitting on his throne in here, or was he just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, don't know if these have changed or not. Mm, I think that looks pretty much the same. Oh, here we go. Age of Reckoning Grudge Settler Army Size. Age of Reckoning Grudge Settler Army Size. What's that? Oh, spawns a temporary army of grudge settler units. So if you get, if you max out, if you manage to max out your Age of Reckoning and you spawn the army, then his army will have three extra units in it. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, he was always mounted, but I, I don't know. I don't remember him being mounted in the portrait though. I thought the portrait just was him not mounted. But you're probably right. It probably was always mounted. Um, oh, this is new, isn't it? Missile block chance plus 10%. Physical resistance plus 10%. Mastercrafted weapon or aura of endurance. Plus five melee defense plus five missile resistance, 35 meter radius. I feel like that's a bit... I feel like this aura is a bit... Oh, no, I guess the five melee defense is pretty good. And the five missile resistance is pretty good as well, I guess, if you've got other sources stacked. But you don't really need... Yeah, you don't really have that much missile resistance to, to stack, like, in an aura for dwarfs. Um, replenishment here is still the same. Requiring mind. It's the same. Yeah, I think this is just the new Thane, the new Thane line. Uh, leadership, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, they're just the regular dwarf traits, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, these they have different traits now as well, like wealthy. Um Bibulous. Um Ancestral Blood Thungni. Spell resistance, etc. Um but yeah, so yeah, so the the Thanes of so yeah, this is the thing, right? So the Thanes have now got an extra skill line. They've got this extra skill line up here that gives them this cool stuff. Um, yeah, it's not really that. Yeah, campaign movement range, I guess is okay, whatever. Um, and they've got this, which is the thing that Thorgrim had as well. But so so that that sort of like so my problem before was that i just pretty much always use runesmiths um and like I, yeah i actually made this suggestion oh maybe you should give something special to um 
Thanes because I always go RuneSmith. And then they're like, oh, we've actually already updated that. Just wait till you see the build. So I checked out the build. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, I actually like this now. They've got some new traits and whatever. But the thing is, if you go and check out the RuneSmiths, the RuneSmiths also got new traits. And the new traits that the RuneSmiths got are better than the new traits that the Thanes got. So it's like, we're still at the same problem. Like the Thanes got upgraded, but the Runesmith is actually, I'd say a better army leader, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what the diff, I didn't really know what the Thanes role is. Like I sort of assumed the Thanes role would be to be like a war, uh, like a army leader, you know? Um, but I sort of feel like, yeah, leadership and melee attack for the whole army, um, armor for the whole army, physical resist for the whole army, um casualty replenishment or vigor loss for the whole army um i just yeah i don't know i feel like if i was gonna have an army general i'd probably still go for the rune lord you know um but yeah but i mean i guess maybe the maybe those specialist armies like if you want to go a melee army or something you know i don't know whatever um grum brindle yeah let's check out grum brindle so um yeah, so Thorgrim's thing is that he gets extra additional random rewards for every grudge resolved. See, we don't you don't really have grudge resolved like you used to, do you? I don't think you still get the quests. I'm not sure if you still get the grudge the random grudge quests and stuff. Not random, but you know, like when um somebody when you take when somebody takes one of your settlements or if you lose a battle or whatever. Actually, yeah, if we lose a battle. I'll just see. I'll just lose a battle and see if we get a um, if we get a grudge. I don't think you get the old grudges anymore, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think the dwarf engineer hero might be might have updated skills. <clears throat> Do you have to start the battle? I don't think you do have to start the battle. I think you can just... It didn't give us didn't give us a grudge yeah so there's no those so yeah so we don't have those grudge quests anymore so i don't know how thorgrim's uh, trait that's supposed to give you extra rewards from grudges is going to work unless they changed it so that you get extra rewards um in here maybe maybe th maybe these rewards are higher than the rewards for the others but i don't know it seems sameish to me Uh, the engineer hero. Uh, oh, actually, no, he looks pretty much the same. Yeah, no, I think he's the same, looks the same. Grudge settler units? No, no, I'm allowed to. It's grudge settler units are in the free LC, so everything that's in the free LC, like everything that you can see in this game, I'm allowed to talk about because this game doesn't have the DLC installed. Um, but yeah, so um, the grudge settlers are in here. Um, they're the grudge settlers are like um, they're like the elect account state troops. They're red units, you know, they're mercenary red units. Um, so they're just like different versions of the that have the special extra traits. Uh, these guys got guardian and charge defense. These grudge throwers have monstrous impacts, slows slows their targets. These slayers have extremely daring death blow and sundering attacks. So yeah, they're just like special, like electric count units. But there's only there's only this many of them. Um, 
Yeah, you can confederate lords through here. I think the amount the, the amount of grudges it costs is somehow re related to the difference between how many grudges they have and how many you have. So if they've solved like two thousand grudges and you've solved like five thousand grudges, then I think you'll be able to, you'll be able to confederate them or something like that. Um, and then there's legendary grudges, which are kind of like these big epic quests. And um, there's one there's like ten of them, I guess. Yeah, there's like 10 of them and each one of them has like really important rewards and they're these are like major big campaign achievements oh yeah so extra grudges diplomatic upkeep recruit commandments have more powerful effects yeah so everything would be the same except for the the grudges rewards i don't know if that's actually been updated or if that's just broken now because you don't have the grudge quests anymore um and anyway, we'll have a quick look at grum brindle Probably means the legendary grudges in the book. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, but it's just it has the wording isn't changed since before the patch, so that kind of makes me think that maybe it just hasn't been updated. It's not been fixed, you know what I mean? Um, I vote for Thorgrim because he's centralized, so you can go for all those legendary grudges. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a really good point, Monkey Man Fu. Yeah. Let's just check out Grom and see Bring if he's got I assume his ones are just the same. Just that he's going to be further away, so you won't be able to do them. Melee defense plus 10 for Quarrelers and Iron Drakes. That's weird. Quarrelers and Iron Drakes only. Plus, we could work out the extent of his extra rewards from grudges with a Thorgrim campaign. That's true, but I don't think I don't think he gets any reward extra reward for grudges. I think he used to, but they it's broken now because there is no rewards for grudge. There's no grudge quest anymore. But might be Grom Brindle has a legendary grudge nearby that gives a legendary lord as reward. Yeah, that was the one I was most interested in. I want to find out. It's it's not a legendary lord. It's like a unique a unique lord or something. But it would be pretty trippy if it was like an actual legendary lord. Um, yeah, a unique dwarf lord is added to your recruitment pool. I'm guessing it's like Kazad or Dragon Slayer. You know, like he's just got a unique name and like special trait, but he's just um, like not he's not like an actual legendary lord. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Could you also check to see if they gave the underway mechanic to Skaven and Greenskins? Yeah, no, nah, they didn't give the underway mechanic to Skaven and Greenskins. This is just this is just the dwarfs update. It's not a it's not really yeah, I don't know. Dowry from another hold arrive. Um so what is it? Destroy those factions. Oh, okay, well that's yeah, that's pretty cool. What? What are you talking about? What gives buffs to Longbeard? Oh, the Lord. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. Oh, that sounds yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, so the Blackwater, the South Southern World's Edge Mountains. Mm. so we won't be able to reach any of those destroy the follow factions we could we could um i wonder what this um the unique landmark in vol's anvil is i feel like going to ulthwine and just killing all the elves is pretty is a pretty worthy uh thing yeah so yeah so grombrindle can basically do the kill all the dark elves and kill all the high elves but Actually, a lot of these grudges are pretty epic and hard to do. Well, this one seems pretty lame. All it does is gives you oath gold. If I want oath gold, I could just kill Grumbrit. I could just kill Gotrick over and over again. Um, I 
Yeah, minor summon miners is pretty cool. Two two summons as well. Uh, what are you gonna do? Destroy clan scry and clan molder. Kill all the wood elves. Don't really care about that one. Yeah, this one's really important. Get the underway. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a hard one. Okay, I, I'm like that. Like I was saying, how I just like an idea is kind of what I need to get me inspired about a campaign. Like, yeah, just playing Grumbrindle and killing all the elves. Revengeance of the Vengeance of the Dwarfs. I can kind of dig that. Like, I do kind of hate playing Grumbrindle because I hate being up in this weird non-dwarf area. Like, I want to be. You know, I want to be over here in the dwarf lands. Oh wow! Check out all the underway locations. There's heaps of them. That's so cool. Um, oh wait up! Does that mean that we can just fuck off straight back to um, the old world? Select one that instantly travel. Can we do it now? No. This is where open. Wait. Yeah, I know. That's what I want to find out. Can we underway back? So are any of them unlocked? How do we know what... How do they... What do they look like when they're unlocked? We don't even know. I don't think we've got any unlocked, so we don't even know what they look like. Crap. So do we... Like, do we have to have an entryway as well, or do we just have to have an exit? Like, can we just teleport from anywhere in the world to these to these portals? Unrestored location. Ah, oh, Okay. Oh, either the AI can or we can. Oh, okay, that's cool. And do I need to have an, an entryway or can I just teleport to the exits? Oh yeah, here we go. Restore's underway. Oh, we can't... We can't really do anything about that. Same as sea lanes, it's point to point. Oh, so we can't use it to return because we don't have an entrance. You don't have an entrance and you can't use it, yeah. I'm really into the idea of redoing the underway, um, reclaiming the underways. Um, but yeah, if we're going to play Grombrindle, we need to be able to get home easy. So that one's one I really want to do, which we can't really do with Grombrindle. Um, this, unlocking this uh, unique landmark in Vol's Anvil could be cool, but... Depending on what it is, but... Um, yeah, no, I think it, I think it's two separate ideas. I think it's either Thorgrim and where Thorgrim, where we're like reclaiming the holds, we're rebuilding the glory of the old of an empire. We we're getting all these epic grudges, doing the underways and all that. So that's that's Thorgrim, and we're trying to bring all the um, dwarf factions back to life and all that kind of stuff. And then Grom Brindle's campaign would be doesn't care about any of that stuff. He's just on a quest for vengeance and killing the elves. And he's going to set up a, his own like weird dwarf wor dwarf outlaw workshop on Ulthuan or something. Yeah, this one doesn't... The reward seems crap. Like, I don't really care about the settled grudges and earth gold. This one seems really cool. Cool of the miners. You can always confederate the dwarfs in the book now, even if you don't see them on the map, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure you can just always confederate them from the book, and they don't even have to be alive. You could you could declare war on them, kill them all, and then confederate them from the book. Um. Yeah. Um. I guess well, we could play Belagar as well, I guess. It's out of either Belagar or Thorgrim. But I always feel like if I'm going to confederate, I always feel like I'd rather play as Thorgrim and confederate Belagar because it feels wrong to have Belagar as the leader of the dwarf faction because he's not he's not the high king. Melee defense plus 12 for Iron Drakes. He's already got base minus... He's already got plus 10 melee defense for Iron Drakes. So he'd have plus 20 melee defense for Iron Drakes. But I think I think Iron Drakes have really shit melee defense though. So even with the plus... Even with the plus 22 melee defense, they're still bad. 
Oh, it's, uh, it's 27. Actually, that's not bad. Plus another 12, so that'd be 49 melee defense. 49 melee defense for a unit of infantry is actually pretty good, isn't it? Hmm. I, don't know, I love the idea of like crazy dwarf space marines, like just having a whole army of iron drakes and then they're like having sweet fucking melee defense so they can't get taken down and they just flame everyone and shit. That'd be sweet. It's a weird thing to have since they're low model count and they're depending on shooting. Yeah, well, that's the thing because with your Iron Drakes, like you basically never want them to get into combat um, and you try to always shield them and micro them and all that kind of stuff. But um, at some point they do get wrecked. You know, it might only be one battle out of 10, but there's always going to be that battle where, you know, some unit of um, bloody big, um, big bull bo there. Big, big, Big and bo orc boar boy biggins fucking charges into the back of your uh, iron drakes or whatever. So it could be good, but I find mainly my iron drakes die from getting shot um, rather than getting melee. But it's a bit of both, I guess. <laughs> but orc boar boy biggins. I don't know. It's trouble with that one. The ancestor god thing buffed them. Uh, oh yeah, ancestor gods. Um, yeah, the AI loves shooting them. But although, if you had a whole army of them, then the AI wouldn't know what to shoot, so you'd be sweet. Can Carl 1v1 Archeon now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Rupert as Belagar is the new king. Overcame his grudge, took back Karagay piece, and didn't stop there. So I had to bring Thorgrim into the fold. Yeah, see, if I was going to play Belagar, I'd, I wouldn't, I would, there'd be no confederations because I wouldn't, you know, like I, I feel like I feel okay confederating Belagar, but. Uh, I don't know. I re I love. I just, I really like like not confederating the factions and try to like ally with them and stuff, but it doesn't really work very well. Time. Oh, actually, we can just sit here and press end turn, and then we can check it out. I imagine it's not been changed, but pretty cool. If I could figure out some way of getting back to the old world fast with Grimbrindle, then I would. I'd consider that. But I feel like the whole idea of set, I feel like getting the underways getting going is a little more compelling than the um, gyrocopters have 12 models. Yeah, gyrocopters are little fleets now, yeah. Grimnir's strength, plus 10 melee attack for infantry, melee defense for infantry, reload for missile. Yeah, so just be reload for missile. It'd be cool if you got the melee defense and melee attack on the iron, on the iron drakes as well. Oh, yeah, thanks. I muted myself by accident, sorry. Um, all right, well, I'll just have a quick look at Bellig. Uh Was there anything else to check here? Nothing really, I don't think. Weapon strength plus 20% when fighting against elves, all armies. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you just play Grumbrindle if you want to go on the elf genocide trip. Which is, um, you know, the right thing to do. Uh, wait a second. 
Yeah, I think I think it's I think I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling Thorgrim maybe. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, see Thorgrim you want to confederate. So I would confederate Thorgrim. Yeah, I'm sorry. I would confederate Grumbrindle for sure because I feel like Grumbrindle isn't really a Grumbrindle isn't really like a king like the others are, you know, like Grumbrindle's more like a like a advisor or like a special character or a champion, you know, like I feel like he does. Yeah, I don't feel like Grumbrindle really would have like an established um, like Gr Grumbrindle's kind of like Volkmar the Grim, you know, he's just like this badass that turns up and leads crusades around the place or whatever, you know, he's not really like an established king. Whereas I feel like it'd be kind of weird for like Ungram. Ungram is a, the king of Karakate Peaks, you know, so it'd be weird for him to just be absorbed into somebody else's faction. Like his whole storyline and everything is him being like, you know, having all these responsibilities of being a king and everything. And if you just you can't just take it away from him. And same with Belagar, kind of like Belagar's whole thing is him wanting to reclaim his um, his birthright, you know, his ancestral homeland and everything. And it just feels like yeah, if you just confederate him into your your thing, it's like it's like he just gave up, you know, he gave up on his whole reason for existing. I feel like maybe Thoric. I feel like Thoric is all right because Thoric's not really a king. He's not really the faction leader, you know. Karak, Kar um, Kazad, what dragon? Kazad or Dragon Slayer is the actual faction leader of Karakazul. Um, so, you know, I feel like it's fine for you can just say Thoric went to visit Thorgrim and set up, set up some, some rune smithing uh, forges there or whatever. Look at this. You may you may not like it, but that's what peak performance looks like. Look at that. It's a whole lot of dwarf right there. Um How brutal was it when they they reduced that from plus 40 to plus 15 diplomatic with dwarfs? I think that yeah, I think that was the one that got reduced, yeah. And it looks the same. Oh yeah, now he's got the he's got the Thane stuff though. So he gets an extra ten percent physical resistance and missile block chance on top of what he already had. He's already got a silver shield. So he's got a gold shield. I didn't realize it was gold. He's got seventy five percent missile block chance. Sweet. Um, yeah, I think everything else is pretty much the same. Belagar is a beast, yeah. Can you check the Master Engineer hero skill set? Master Engineer? You mean the normal, en just the Engineer? At least, like, this dude. I the forge fires uh, yeah, we already checked it before. He's just, this is the same as before. Doesn't, nothing changed, I don't think. Uh, Runesmiths, I don't think have changed. I think they're still. Oh, yeah, they've got this new skill line now. This wasn't here before, was it? Mm, yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Just a little cool little extra section. Is there a good way to heal jar bombers, etc.? Um. Oh yeah, we were thinking maybe the engineer would get a heal, hey. But they they I don't think they did. Yes, mm, no. Oh Battle Z has joined. Oh crazy. Oh Battle Z just raided with 176. Um hey, welcome everybody from Battle Z's um Battle Z's um stream. Um yeah, thanks so much for the raid, Battle Z. I'll chuck a host over I'll chuck a shout out to you. Um, um, yeah, thanks so much for the host, um, guys. Although I have already been streaming for like nine hours and I was pretty much about to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, real, real bad timing, 
but um but yeah we're best um we're just um I'll, i won't kick you out immediately but yeah i'm probably uh just pre-warning you we'll, you're gonna get kicked to the curb pretty soon but um but uh yeah we were just looking at um what to play tomorrow so we just finished um just finished a nice uh a nice introduction to carl franz's new campaign which i'm absolutely loving um i've actually pinned a video that i made um covering all the changes to carl franz's campaign and my thoughts about it um if you um if you would like to check it out it's uh, pinned in the in the twitch chat and in the youtube chat and i also made a new video today about all of the gelt changes and the wizard new wizard hero skills and the new wizard um new gelt start position and stuff really cool start position in um in uh if they i'm um, sorry i'm so tired right <laughs> but yeah i'm sure you guys already um covered all that stuff with um battle z but um but yeah if you're interested in checking out another uh, another viewpoint on it or whatever um please do check out my videos um there's probably it's probably gonna yeah every, probably gonna be um yeah fuck i'm tired <laughs> i'm getting confused now i can't talk properly um what did you want to see with Belga? We were, I just finished looking at Belga. Or do you just want to look at his portrait again? Because he's so sexy. I can dig it. Still 50% upkeep. Yeah, yeah. He's still got the 50% um, upkeep until you get Karakate Peaks. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's the Empire rework. And that's the Gelt, re Gelt rework. Yeah. Video. So, yeah. There's the, the Empire one. Basically, just goes through all the Imperial Authority and all that kind of stuff. And... Um, and just some tips for the Empire campaign and stuff. And then the Gelt one is just, um, yeah, going through all the new Gelt stuff and also um, just showing off his 19, 19 wizard army, which I think is the new the new meta for Gelt. That's, maybe we should just play Gelt tomorrow, actually. Like, fuck. I, I am pretty keen to just do the crazy Gelt cheese. But, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know. I mean, we would like to check out the dwarf stuff, though, as well. I'm torn. I'm deeply torn. All right. I don't think we're going to get any further. I don't think we're going to... Um... <sighs> we also tried to get an Ironbreaker parrying a cannonball. Indeed. What sucks, Dominando? Oh, the 50% upkeep. Oh, it's only 50% upkeep until you take um, Karakate Peaks, though. Like, it's pretty easy to get Karakate Peaks with Belagar. Um... You know, I, I'm, uh, I've got another video on my channel about how you can confederate um, the end game scenario if you want to go crazy and get like the end game armies for free and have them as part of your faction instead of the end game, you know. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, with Belgar, it's pretty, usually pretty easy to just build up all of his heroes, get a few more heroes, give them all Iron Borden's tankards, just cruise over to Karagit Peaks and just, you know, be an unstoppable killing machine um pretty early so yeah it, it's it's kind of annoying if you like to kind of slowly expand or whatever you know you have to put up with that upkeep production but if you want to if you want to like blitz over there and just take karakate peaks as fast as you can um you can probably get it done pretty quick all right i guess it does sort of suck <laughs> but it's 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 manageable it's doable Show us the Gelt start card from the campaign select screen. All right. Belgar gets free Age of Reckoning armies. What? What? You, what? Everybody gets free Age of Reckoning armies, don't they? Thought that was the whole point of them. That you just, if you do enough grudges, you just get a free army. Oh, you're just saying that they're free. They're, it's better for Belagar because he normally has to pay so much because they're free. Is that what you mean? Honestly, the dwarfs look insanely OP. Yeah, the dwarfs seem pretty OP. For sure. What are we doing? Do you want to look at the... You want to look at Gelt's start page? As I hold the just one of this thing? Like, this video is different as well. They changed it. So now he's in Cathay. Before I had him out the front of like... Um, at the front of Valtorf or something. Yeah, Gelt's, Gelt's pretty badass. Uh, yeah, ch check out yeah check out that Gelt video. On, uh, it's a new one up I um, put up today. If you guys are interested, um, 
It's, uh, yeah, Galt's pretty crazy now. I love him. He, yeah, like I was saying before, he reminds me of, um, he reminds me of, like, Doctor Strangelove in the Avengers, um, in the, um, Marvel Universe, you know, like, all the other ones are, like, fighting wars and doing all their stuff, and Galt's just doing his own crazy magic shit in other dimensions and stuff, you know? That's kind of, uh, kind of the vibe I feel like he's got now. Yeah, I think I'll, I think we'll probably do dwarfs tomorrow, and then I'll maybe do Galt the day after tomorrow, because I am keen to, like, screw around with the, the new Galt, overpowered Geltness. So the third Lord Empire now useless, right? Which, what are you saying? You mean Wolfheart? Elix, gather. Uh, I don't know if Wolf, I don't know if anything's changed with Wolfheart. I think he's still just doing his same Wolfheart thing that he was doing before. Oh yeah, sorry, Monkey Man. Phil, I forgot about Gelt. Did, yeah, did you see what you wanted to see? Gelt is on Zeech's Zeech tits level now. I feel like, I feel like Gelt's like way more powerful than Zeech now. He's like, he's crazy now. We were starting the stream around the same times today. Uh, yeah, maybe earlier. Maybe earlier. I've been trying to start my streams a bit earlier than um, most of the time, but I um, but I, but I couldn't start any earlier today because that was when the NDA was. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it'll probably be about the same or maybe a couple of hours earlier. I don't know. Maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll do a double. Actually, maybe we'll go double stream. Yeah, maybe we should go double stream. I'll just go to sleep. I'll just wake up, stream, and then sleep again and stream. We'll stream twice a day. <laughs> do like double shift. No, I don't know. Um, I gotta yeah, I gotta go to sleep. I'm retarded now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I can't. I haven't played Wolfheart in so long. I don't remember what these skills are meant to be. I think this is the same as it was before, though. I don't think anything's changed. <laughs> I want to play Fortunate Son whenever you play Gelt nowadays. These porches look cooler now, though, don't you reckon? I reckon they look cooler. Oh, one cool thing about Gelt is he's in a perfect opportunity to farm, um, he's in the perfect spot to farm, um, Yuan Bo. Like, if you want to make a, if you want to do that. Oh, yeah, how could we, oh, how, actually, yeah, if, with the new, actually, that's a good point. If you want to play Gelt, how do you get to Yuan Bo to farm his trait? Oh, actually, it'll be easier now. Because you could use the sea lanes. How far away? The sea lane's not that far away, is it? Yeah. Where is he? Fuck. Yeah, so Gelt starts here now. And if you just go down here, I think there's a sea lane, like, around here somewhere, isn't there? Uh, hmm. Is maybe if you go this way, go this sea lane would be better. Yeah, I think if you went east to here and went to the one, one of the, see this one over here, is it this one? Yeah, that one, you're right next to him. Yeah, that's right, that's right at his start. That's actually pretty perfect, almost, oh, no, sort of perfect. So basically you start off as Gelt, you start off here, you like turn one, you're there, turn two, you're here, turn three, four, five, six, seven, probably turn eight is when you take this, that's when you finish the thing, you do the dilemma, you tell, you tell you, you tell uh, Miao Ying that you're not going to go back to the Empire, then you come over here, oh no, you got to go up there, yeah, it's probably take you another five, probably take another few turns to get over there actually. Use a lighting mod? No, I'm not using a lighting mod, but I might just have like weird settings or something. Ah, oh, man, I um, I'm, uh, yeah, I think I've been really enjoying this stream, and I'm really don't want to go. I'm, I'm like, I'm on like a massive high, just having like checking all this stuff out and having you guys being all excited, and I'm excited, and we're all just. There's so many things to like discover and explore and stuff, but um, but yeah, I'm definitely deteriorating, so um, I'm gonna have to call it. Um, sorry guys, 
I'll see if I can sh chuck, a, chuck a host over to somebody else. Thanks again to Battle Z for the host and to um, One Pitch Man to, for the host and Radiant Ash for the host and Great Book Grudges for the host. I can did something. Anyone else host me? I think I hosted by just about everybody today. Um, <clears throat> uh, we got a uh, slightly obnoxious Kiwi um, is doing something with Grimgore and uh, Astrogoth Iron Hand. I don't know what that is, but check it out. Go say hi to um, go say hi to Kiwi from me. Um, and um, <clears throat> even check a raid on someone on Twitch. Oh yeah, slightly obnoxious Kiwis on Twitch as well. All right, we'll check a raid to we'll check a raid to Kiwi as well. All right, guys. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, thanks so much for uh, for hanging out, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with some more Warhammers. I'm the last man standing. Yeah, that's it. First in, first in, last out. That's me. All right, guys. Uh, have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you check out those videos as well if you uh, if you're interested. Uh, really appreciate it if you can. Um, yeah, watch my videos if you are interested in that kind of con content. That would help me out a lot. All right, catch you later, guys. <clears throat>